Yeah, listen. Y- y'all prove okay, to me one we- thing, bro. The one, the one thing y'all proved to me, man, is that y'all not watching the games, bro. And, and Dub proved that to me last night. Dub said something last night, and I'm ashamed of Dub because normally he will be a better student of the game than that. Uh, we were talking last night. I pulled up on Dub's channel last night because Dub had dropped a video, and he was asking whether or not Miami would be a super team. And we were just going through talking about just, you know, Dame's career in general. And a lot of people think I'm just attacking Dame, attacking Dame. No, I'm keeping all this time. I laid off of Dame because I said, okay, he's trying to go through the grind. He's trying to overcome his adversity. But then when he stopped doing what he preached, that's when I jumped on that ass because I'm a person that when you talk it, you got to damn walk it. You can, I, I, Where I come from, bro, you can't talk it and then say I cancel it in the middle. No, because now, nigga, once you talk that, you got to go all the way. So my whole point my whole point was, Damo, last night we had a conversation. And I'm ashamed of Dub because Dub, he proved to me last night that he, he did not watch the games. He's talking about something that he didn't see. So, for example, we went through Dame's career, right? And we, we, I gave him prime examples of why this excuse that Dame hadn't had help was lame because I, I showed him that in certain series, for example, let's go to the year they went to the Western Conference Finals. They only went because of C.J. McCollum. Dame Lillard did not show up. I disagree with you, C.J. McCollum went crazy on the Denver Nuggets in that second round and carried them to the Western Conference Finals. And then what did Dame – and so Dame played trash in the second round and he played trash in the conference finals against Steph. And everybody says, oh, ticket. Well, that's against Steph. Well, KD wasn't there. So Dame still had CJ and he still had those other guys. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. But here's the here, here's the here's the outliner right here, right? This is where Dub really could kill me right here. The other series, when you look at Jokic, Jokic only won one playoff series without Jamal Murray. And that was against Dame Dollar. Every other series without uh, Murray, he lost. Hold on, hold on one second. And the last thing right here that I told Dub, and I know Dub didn't see this, Damo. Go back to 2016 to the conference semifinals when he played the Golden State Warriors again without Kevin Durant. Do you know who? Do you know what else happened that series? Steph Curry only started one game in that series and only played two games. Dame and them got washed by Klay Thompson and Draymond Green. Meanwhile. He had two of his role players shooting 50% from the three and 50% from the field. The other one was giving you 21 and a half a game in CJ McCullough. Then you had Al Farik Aminu giving you 17 points and eight rebounds off 50 from the three, 50 from the field. And Alan Crabby was giving you 12 and a half points off 60% from the field and 50% from the three that series. But Dame Dollar, Without Steph Curry, and this this is this is this is what really killed it for me, right? Without Steph Curry, for three of those games, he got washed in that series by Klay Thompson. So th- to me, this shows me, and and, th- and this shows me, Dub didn't watch that series because Dub was like, "Oh, well, he balled out this one game, yeah." But Dame's points didn't come in a time where the game was in the balance when the game the game was over with when Dame started getting those buckets. So it looked good on the stat sheet, but if you was actually watching the game, it was the role players that actually got him back in the game, and then Dane came on late when it was too late. But when it was in the time, he was playing like garbage when Clay Thompson and them dudes was washing his ass off the court. Go ahead, Dom. Um, I just wanted to bring up this thing called consistency because it's something that you definitely don't like to do in a lot of instances, and this is one of the Damon Carmelo thing. Because you said you value you, – you hold Melo in higher regards to Dame – because Melo never folded in the playoffs like Dame right. did, right. which is not true. Melo's first five. No, I didn't games. say that. I didn't say he never folded. I never said he never folded. Hold on. Hold on. Ticket, ticket. You went. I never said he never folded. Don't put that in my mouth. I don't put that words in my mouth. I said he didn't fold as much as Dame. Don't put that word in my mouth. Right. You did say that. Don't lie. Don't lie on me. Don't lie on me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now, yesterday we had the conversation about Dame. Did you not bring up some of the early years of Dame's career where he fell short in the playoffs? Right. Okay, cool. So this is my point. With Carmelo, his first five playoff appearances, literally one through five, all drops, all playoff drops, from regular season to playoffs, and the numbers back this, go on on basketball reference and look at this. From from his first to fifth playoff stints, all playoff dropping. He dropped in the playoffs five straight times. What happened? Not to mention, Damo, not, not to mention, Damo, 
Round uno. Exit. Yeah, There's the door. All round, all There's round the door. Round, round one. Round Goodbye. One. Thanks for showing up. Not to, right. not, not to mention, and, and, and you're an advocate of, quote, these are facts. And to say that Steph Curry didn't dominate, didn't dominate Damian Lillard in all four games of that series. No, no, I he say did he not, didn't play. He, he didn't miss one game in that series. Oh, he didn't play. Yes, he did. He did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Lion ass, great big basket. He did. 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 And Steph Curry only played two games. He only started one game that series. Clay Thompson mm -hmm. mopped them dudes. And he mm -hmm. had four dudes in double figures, Dame did. And it was only Clay and, and Draymond Green that mopped him. To me, so, so nobody me, else like, in that series. So nobody else in that in that Golden no, State. No, 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 no. Because no, no, hold on, hold on one second. No, no. So you're telling me that uh, this is what I'm asking you. I'm asking you that that Golden State series in 2016. This is the team that right. won 73 games right that year. Oh, so take no, no. Steph Curry out half of the series because you just said right. he only played half the series. So take right. Steph Curry off the floor, right? So take Steph Curry out of that he series. Only two games. He only played Golden two games. Golden State. Five Golden State as a unit was outplayed by. The Portland Trailblazers only accept Steph Curry um, and Damian Lillard was the one who dropped the ball in that series. That's the logic. Hold on, what do you mean as a unit? Because uh, you, you brought up you brought up Crab, you brought up all of these guys. Yeah, so you're yeah, saying, yeah, 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 no, 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 so, yeah, so you're that's that Portland, out, So you're saying that Portland outplayed that unit minus Steph Curry and Damian Lillard. Yeah, 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 was the one because who dropped hold on, hold on, yeah, 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 because in that series without Cle Steph Curry, it was only Clay Thompson and Draymond Green. The next best player averaged nine point six points per game, and that was uh old boy that plays for the Sacramento Kings now, um Harrison, Harrison Barnes. Barnes. Correct, right? But but in that series, you can't use that. Oh well, Dane didn't have no help because his role players was killing. Al Farika Aminu was killing. Mm -hmm. Alan Crabb, that's how he got paid. He was killing that series. And then CJ McCullum was giving you 21 and a half. You don't have to ask me, ask Mars. Clay Thompson wiped the floor with, with uh uh Dane Dollar in that series. And then like I said, and we don't CJ have to talk about that. So, right. So, boys, by the way. No, no, no. I'm saying, but no, I'm saying Clay Thompson without Steph Curry trash this dude and this is the same clay everybody says that he don't have no individual game where he can break you down and go get it on his own he didn't need that to watch dame dollar them. he watched dame dollar them when dame was supposed to be putting up 28 to 29 also when cj was putting up 21 and a half you had crabby putting up 12 and a half shooting 50 from the three 60 from the field and then you had al farika minu shooting 50 from the field 52 from the three averaging 17 points and eight rebounds and Dame still got washed. And then chill tell. Think about this right here. This is the outliner where everybody says, oh, well, they got to the Western Conference Finals a couple years later. That's true. Dame folded then too. He folded in the he played well in the first round. Uh, outside of that, CJ carried him in the second round. In the game three with the 40, in the game seven, when Dame was a no-show, CJ went and danced all over Denver and, and mm -hmm. took them to the Western Conference Finals that year. Then you go to the Conference Finals again against Steph. What happens? He gets mopped. Steph averaged 36 on this dude. He only put up 22 a game and got outscored, got outplayed by CJ McCullum and those other guys. So D Dame Dollar has always came up short in the biggest moments again. Steph Curry watched him. So the first time, Steph only Carmelo played. got outplayed by Corey Maggette. Hold on, hold on. Hold, hold, hold on. But you're not hearing what I'm saying. Hold, hold on. I, just hold on. Listen to my point to you. My point is this. this. This is my whole point. The only reason why I'm mad is for two reasons. Is because Dame been running his mouth all this time about what he ain't had when he haven't showed up. You can't do that when you haven't been the main piece to show up in all those playoffs. The second reason why I'm mad is is I'm mad because everybody keep pushing this narrative like he didn't have no help. But when you look at the series, C.J. McCollum was outplaying this nigga and carrying the load. When they played the Denver Nuggets and beat them in games in seven games, C.J. McCollum stepped up and took the series. Then when they went to the conference finals, when they went to the Western Conference finals, Dame got smoked by Steph Curry. But here's, here's, here's where the excuse goes out the window about Steph. Because he played him in 2016, and Steph only played two games. And, mm -hmm. and and outside of those two games, Dame got washed by Klay Thompson and Draymond Green. Nobody else in the Warriors played well. 
But Dame right, had three right, other dudes it, in the same boat. Isn't that the same series, if I'm not mistaken, Doug? Oh. Didn't, didn't, didn't Steph average like 35 a game in that series? Watch, in watch this. Watch this, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, Ticket. Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Because this is, this is what I've been trying to tell Ticket ever since last night. I said the main reason why Portland is always losing is because I told him as a team, it's very difficult to overcome when your defense is that bad. You want to talk about Crab and Aminu and shit, like that means something. But when <laughs> they were talking about the Golden State Warriors, their whole starting five in game one had double digits, the whole starting mm -hmm. five. And then the mm -hmm. bench, they had guys like Spates and Barbosa go off. Then in game two, the game in which they lost again, bro, the bench was torching the uh, uh, Portland Trailblazers unit. Bro, you had uh, 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 Andrew Iggy have like 15 off the bench. Draymond Green almost have a triple-double with like four blocks. Sean Livingston, they had like five guys on double figures. I think Azili even have a good game that series. Right. Then the game three, which they won. These are all games that Steph didn't play. Right, right, right. Dame overcame Draymond and Clay dropping 35-plus. He overcame that by dropping 40. Then you're talking about the game where Steph came off the bench. He came off the bench dropping 40 tickets. <laughs> right, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're right, come on. You're right, hold on, you're right, hold on. You're right. And that's why I didn't, hold on. What are we that's doing? That's why I didn't interrupt that, you. Is that the game where Steph broke the Hold on, hold on. Hold on Mars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mars, don't say that, Mars. Don't say that, Mars. Don't say that, Mars. Mars. Hey, hey, put me back yeah. on the big screen, Ron. Don't say that, Mars. That's why I'm Mars. That's why I'm annihilate this nigga right now. Come on, come on. That's why I'm going to annihilate this nigga right now. So here's my, that's my point. Y'all niggas, this is my point to everybody listening to this video right now. If LeBron James were going to the Miami Heat right now, what are we all saying? <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Listen, hold on, hold on. Keep going, Keep going, Do not laugh, Doug. Doug, do not laugh. If LeBron James goes to the Heat, we're saying, damn, they're going to win the chip. If KD goes to the Heat right now, we're saying, damn, they're going to win the chip. No, we're not. Yes, oh, yes, we are. If they go to hold on. If you put, hold on, hold on. I'm going to say this again. If you put KD or LeBron James on a team that was in the NBA Finals a year before, two out of the four years, I'm betting that they're going to win the chip. Because I'm betting that LeBron they're the guy. To get no you over the, hold on. So here's, no hold on. Here's my point. Hold on. Hold on. Here, I, no, no. I'm talking about, no, I'm, I'm talking about a LeBron James in his prime. Like, I'm talking about LeBron, a 32 year old LeBron James, 32 year old KD. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on. Hold on. Listen to what I'm saying. Hold on. But listen to what I'm saying, Damo. Listen to what I'm saying. Everybody keep talking about Dane didn't have enough help. This is my only point to y'all. When has Dame ever played championship level defense? When has he ever played championship level offensive basketball? Hold on, <laughs> hold on, because that's important. Hold on, that's yes, important yes, because yes, here's, yes. here's why I'm saying this, chill. All these niggas is talking this shit to me right now. Mm -hmm. Hold my hand to God, chill town. This nigga go over to a contender where he ain't gonna have no excuses about having no help, and he fold again. What they gonna say? Same thing that they was gonna say about Clyde Drexler, the Houston hey, Rockets. Oh, right, 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 right. Chill down. What these niggas gonna say since they same don't talk thing. all this shit to me about how Dame may have no help? So mm -hmm. Dame going over here coming off his best season. Hold on, he's going off his best season to a team that just went to two finals in four years. So now, if he goes over here and drops the ball and plays like trash in the biggest moments, what y'all niggas gonna say? The same thing we say about Kevin Durant. The same thing people said when Kevin Durant left the, uh, the Warriors because no one gave him his fair props with winning a championship with the Warriors. And the criticism was, can you actually go on a team where it's built around you or you build it and win? And he didn't. The Nets failed. So everyone says Kevin Durant's a loser. Everyone says his rings don't matter. They're about as meaningful as segregation rings. No, no, everyone but he went to the... He's a loser. So that's but he went to the... About games. No, 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 I'm saying, but he went... Loser. No, no, homie, homie, homie. But hold on, hold on one second, homie. Damo, 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 right quick. You said segregation rings? He did say segregation rings. Hey, you crazy. Hey, Damo, but listen to where I'm coming from. Damo, I want to hear where I'm coming from. I'm saying this. We all know what KD did was wrong. He went to the Warriors when they lost the they lost the finals, but he still went over to a team that beat him, right? Jimmy Butler's going to a team that just lost the finals too. And he's mean, going to a mean team. Dame. That was, mean Dame. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, chill. You mean he's Dame, going to you said a Jimmy team. Butler. Hold on, chill, chill, chill. Here's my problem. <laughs> we all down Carmelo and all this other stuff, right? But bro, but we everybody always put these dudes over guys like Jimmy when Jimmy's his style of play is more conducive to winning than is Carmelo and some of these other guys that we praise in NBA history. T Mac and these guys that we praise. Jimmy Butler, hold on. Jimmy Butler's style on both ends, offensively and defensively. We can't take that away from him. We can't take that away. So if you put, if you take a dude like Dame Dollar, who's supposed mm -hmm. to be a superstar, who's supposed to be Dame time, who's supposed to be able to get you over the hunt, who's supposed to be the clutchest nigga in the game, this is what he say. He said, I'm the clutchest nigga in the game. 
if he go over there and don't deliver the goods, then all this lame ass shit y'all been running for all this time about he didn't have enough help. It means nothing, bro, because that means he didn't do what he was supposed to do. And all I'm saying is based off what I seen, based off what my tag team champion of the world Mars have seen. He don't play the championship level of defense. He don't play the championship style of offense that's going to go take any of those teams. And I'm talking about Boston, if you trade him for Jalen Brown, Miami, or Philly, he don't put none of those teams over the hump to win the chip. Do y'all think he do? When you say championship championship level defense, I'm I'm always curious when people say that because technically it's only if you win a championship. But isn't it the team as well? Because Dame, we just talked about, and Dub said it really well, he never had the team around him that played really good defense. When has one individual played championship-level defense with a bunch of guys around him who can't play defense? That's probably part of the problem with Dame when you say it's championship defense. Look at, look at the Warriors when KD goes there. No one gave KD any props for his defense. He goes to the Warriors who play really, really good team defense. All mm-hmm. of a sudden, oh, He's a better defender. Yeah, shockingly, because when you have better defenders around you, which he had Clay and Draymond, your level of defense steps up because your level of responsibility on the defensive end goes down because there's other good defenders. So I don't, I don't think that's a fair assessment of Dave. All right, well, well, ask my that's tag my team, only issue, yeah, ask my tag my team partner. I let my tag team partner, Mars, mop the floor with your ass. Go ahead and get him, Mars. Go ahead, Mars. Well, well, I, I, ain't, I ain't even paying attention, but I will say Come this. On <laughs> Dam- Damian Lillard is one of the worst defenders I've ever seen play basketball. I mean, let's that, keep that, cooking, that. Mars. Keep cooking with your tag team. So if, you wanna, if you want to, if you want to, <laughs> if you, if you want to say Portland's have had bad defenses, that's fine. I agree. Like guys like Ennis Cantor on the team playing defense, so sure. But Damian Lillard himself, I mean, he's worse than Steph Curry defensively. I'm, I'm not asking for much to be just as good as Steph Curry. He's worse than Kyrie. He's worse than down there. Any point guard defender you can name. Is he worse than Luca? Is he worse than Luca? Yes, he's worse than Luca. When you say he's worse, when you say he's worse than Steph, hold on. When you say he's worse than Steph, and I'm not disagreeing whether he's better or worse than Steph. When you say he's worse than Steph, has he ever Mm -hmm. had a supporting cast as good defensively as Steph? No. That's that's my point. His defense. I I agree. Your supporting cast can make him look better defensively. That's that's all I'm saying. But he's still one of the worst defenders I've ever seen. Can can yeah. I ask his tag team partner a question as well? Um, do you believe um Alpha as, as your as your partner said, Alpha Rico? Am I gonna vow and no, Alan Crab? Do you feel Crabbe. wait, hold on? Do you feel like those are actual liable role players to help you win a championship? No, no. Oh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't think Portland's could have won a championship. Okay. Do I think they could have done better in a series without Steph Curry? Sure. Mars, let me cross examine you though. Was they what did they do their job in the series that let Lane Dollar didn't show up against the Warriors? Did they do their job? Uh, from what I remember, yeah. They, Pickett, why they you keep did, saying they, that? I don't understand the whole logic job. of him. I'm I sorry, don't. Mark. I don't. No. I don't think. De- I don't think they didn't show up. As as he did. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Chill town. Chill town. So That's David Robinson like didn't show LeBron. up in the '95 Western Conference Finals chill against Olajuwon. Right? That's just like with LeBron. Hold on. Chill town. Against Michael Jordan. No, 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 Chill, chill. You're not getting it. You're not getting it. Hold on. Chill. You're not getting it. I no, get it. What you, what, this is what you're doing. LeBron. What, you're, what you're doing right now is you're trying to put Damian Lillard in the case. You're trying to put Damian Lillard in that category with all-time great guys like Magic and all of these guys I'm who not. show up, in, not not just show up in the playoffs, but do astronomical things. Sometimes you're just not that good, but that doesn't he mean that this guy. Well, they, no, they, he didn't to say be that to be fair, no, Damian, he didn't say Lillard, that. Damian Lillard, by most fans, is considered the most clutch player in the NBA. Player in the game, he said if, that. He said I'm the clutch player in the, the game. most clutch player in the NBA. We'd expect him to show up in the clutch wait, wait, the and, and and I think that, that. I, I think that we misunderstand what clutch is. That's 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 the thing that I think we misunderstand. Making making a big making a big making a big shot making a big shot in the meat and potatoes of the game. That is con- that does constitute as clutch, but there's so many other things that make you clutch, right? He has done so, none of with, them. so 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 with Damian Lillard, why do you keep saying he did none of them? Ticket, how many how many guys in this decade have have empty have ended team seasons with with shots to end the play to, with shots to end their playoff season? If the talk is about first round performances, yeah, Damian even if, okay, so even if even, even, even round, if that's yeah. true, Mars, let's just say for the sake of argument, it's a first round performance. Is it the playoffs? Yes or no? Yes. Was it clutch that he did that? Yes. 
Right, so he, that, that, that is clutch. So he, that he like I that. said, he's considered the most clutch player in the now, NBA. Let's discuss, so let's we have discuss. to hold you to those sort of standards. If that's why what you, considered why to you, be. Wait, wait, wait. But of course. Why, but why are you putting, talking about... wait, wait, my bad, Joe. Why are you putting other people's opinions on our arguments? Nobody up here is saying that. So don't even Thank bring you. that Nobody. up. Nobody. No, on, this that. on this platform, we spoke about most clutch players and Damian Lillard's always getting mentioned. So that's Thank not Thank you. Thank you, so Mark. That's a lie, Mark. In the, in the that's league, a lie, Mark. Today, cook they ass. Yes, we today? spoke about we spoke about most clutch players in the NBA today, and the names that come up is LeBron James, Damian Lillard, Kyrie Irving. There's no names that come up. So hey, that's not true. On this, this, this platform, it's been said. Okay, hey, 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 I don't think he's clutch. No. Why don't you think he's clutch, clutch Mars? Because oh, I've seen this guy in the playoffs outside the first round, and there's been zero clutch. Well, okay, zero. So, so, so we talked. So we talked about the Denver I'm series. Sorry, regular, se regular season clutch and first okay. round postseason a couple mm -hmm. times clutch is not enough to be considered clutch right. to me. So so we're talking. So we're talking about the Denver series, which Ticket brought up that CJ McCollum, CJ McCollum carry. I'm just having a difficult time with a guy that's averaging. I think that I think they average. I don't think CJ what, carried. I think CJ that's what I'm talking about. He outplayed him. That's what I'm talking about. CJ played better. He, 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 he may be. He may be. But I'm, I'm just having a difficult time with a guy who averaged. I think he averaged like 25 and, and eight in that series, something like that. But he was terrible. And he, he did have a he did have a bad game, I think. And in that game seven, there's a reason why CJ carried them. And I don't know if you watched the game ticket, but the reason why CJ carried them because CJ number was called. Four or five straight trips. You know why? Because he was cooking Jamal Murray ass. So you know what you do as a coach when somebody got it going in the meat and potatoes of the game? You dial their number again. And if oh, I'm not did. mistaken, Jamal Murray was the meat. Jamal Murray was toast out there. That's why they kept calling CJ McCullough's number. Not what because Damian Lillard yeah. didn't have it going, because yeah, yeah, CJ McCullough no, had his ass in the game. Game. He definitely didn't have it going. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You lied, hold on, you lied. Hold on, you dirty What did Dan do that game? CJ McCullough had Jamal Murray ass in a blender. What did Dan do that game? What was that? Hold on, why did he call CJ number over there? Forget what Dan did. There's a reason why he called CJ McCullough's number. Hey, Mars, he want us to forget what Dame didn't no, do. we're not gonna. No, we're not gonna. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold on, hold on. we're not. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It. If there was any other superstar who had a teammate who had like 40 in the game seven, a teammate yeah, who's never those. been an all star, by the way, a teammate mm -hmm. who's never been held in that high regard, a teammate who's never been a top 20 player, mm -hmm. if any other player shot like three for 16 or every shot in a game seven and had mm -hmm. his teammate bail him out and they won, they'd get crucified. But Damian Lillard gets praised for the series. That oh, he mean, does. Oh, you mean? No, oh, he does not. Oh, does not. Oh, you mean? Oh, you mean? No, no, no. no, no, no. If he gets praised for making the conference finals, what would Mark. that mean? That means he gets Mark. praised for Mark. the first two games. Nobody, nobody, nobody praises him for that Denver Nuggets series. I don't know. Nobody. Nobody. Use your brain. Use your brain. He doesn't. If you get praised for making the conference finals, the first two rounds would mean what? You're getting praised for that. You're choosing your words as a unit. You're saying Dame's the one who no, gets praised for it. Stop. You said no one ain't ever gone. Stop. You know what? Rodney Hood praised for making the 2019 stop. conference finals. Stop. No, no one's done that. No, it's Dame. Cut it out. Cut it out. Because you're it's capping. Dame. You're capping. That's Nobody true. goes like, oh my God. Got to the Damian, Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard in that Denver Nuggets series plays so well. No. Anytime That's when you ever. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. I know what you said. Your context bending. So stop fucking context bending. Okay, cool. Go ahead, though. Go ahead, though. Nobody sits here and says, oh yeah, they played so well in that Denver Nuggets series, and that's why they made the Western Conference Finals. Nobody. Do they say? Do they say yeah? They made the Western Conference. Finals, yes, they don't praise him for that series, okay. though. They are just acknowledge it. So done? please cut it out. Are you done? Are you done? What you got, Mars? You know, what you got, Mars? When, I said, when I said Dame when gets praised for making the conference finals, when, when you get praised for making the conference finals, the same way Jimmy Butler got praised for making the finals, despite the fact he wasn't great against Boston and he wasn't great against the Knicks, Jimmy Butler gets the praise for the Heat making the finals. Damian Lillard got praised for the Portland Trailblazers making the conference finals, despite the fact he wasn't the best player in the second round. That's mm. what I said. Jimmy, he's getting he praised the... for the first two rounds, mm -hmm. despite the fact in the second round he wasn't the best player on the team. The same way Jimmy Butler gets praised for making the finals when mm -hmm. he wasn't the best player or wasn't performing at an all-time great level in the mm. second and conference finals this year. That's what but it meant when I said he gets okay. praised for that. But again, That's what I meant. Right. So now you understand what I meant. What you and you can call that right. context bending if you okay. want. But now right. you understand not... what I meant when I said he gets praised. Oh, I know what you said. Okay, okay. Now that makes it possible. Same way, 100%. Hold on, wait, wait. Let's go. Let's go. Mars, that absolutely makes sense. You don't want to get cooked by Mars? Put chill on the big screen with Mars. Let him get cooked by my tag team partner. Put chill on the big screen. But what we're not going to do is we're not going to act like we're not going to act like Damian Lillard was just okay in that series. He did average 25 a game, Mars, and he had a lot to do with them winning 
four of those games. It wasn't like he was not there the entire series. There's a reason why he didn't get praised like he did in, in the first round. He did get praised because they did win four games. Not like they won those four games without him. He did have I mean, a lot to do with them winning that series. Yeah, I mean, and he wasn't completely. A, yes, he, yes. Did, he you, didn't. He didn't completely. He didn't completely that. lay an egg in that series. Yes, he was not very good. I believe he went like four for for, for eighteen in game seven, it, it something like that. It was bad. And again, I'm 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 referencing the point of C.J. McCollum, not just because C.J. McCollum saved him, but the fact that C.J. McCollum had a Jamal Murray on him who couldn't do anything with him. And when you get a guy on you who has it going, you go to him. That's just basketball. And C.J. McCollum had it going. And he absolutely helped them win the series. However, we're talking about the other three games where Damian Lillard was not just – Damian Lillard was good enough for them to win. Because if you take Damian Lillard's production off the board, they do not win that series. So there's a that's reason why he the, does yes, get that, credit for fine. that. So what that's we're not going to do is we're not going to completely when, eliminate from him from that. Using the 25 points a game when you're taking like 20 – Cook, come on, cook this, like, cook yeah, cool. He dude. scored 25, but when you're taking 22 shots a game and like get seven free throws, it's like, <laughs> right, okay, well, you're taking 28 shots to try to get 25. That's so, that's job. not exact, like, just saying 25. So, and now eight we're talking about cool. efficiency now. So, now, yeah, so when, now we're talking bro, about saying 25 so now we're and eight sounds cool. Right? Saying 25 and eight sounds cool. It's like, oh, yeah, right. on paper, 25 and eight. Oh, that's great. Doing this big. But when you're taking that many shots to get the 25 and eight, how valuable really is the 25 and eight? Like it's not Lamar. as high of a level. As so if that's true, sounds. so it's so not. if that's true, Mars, then we got to do that. Especially when you're the worst defensive player on the floor as well. Lamar, so is Lamar, 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 the most shots on the floor and being the worst defender, it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, I don't know how fair. much value you're in. That is, a, that is a fair point, Mars. So if you're going to do that, then you have to do that with everybody that you praise. So you got to do that with the guys I'm that consistent. you think are awesome. Yes, I'm consistent. I do. I just want to make. I, I just yeah. want to make sure. There's no, there's I, I no one that sure I'm that you, praising for putting I, I, I up 25 wanna, and 8. Like, I, I just, just want to make sure that you do that with everybody. Yes. Because again, I'm, we're talking I'm about a guy. Yes. Even though it's so those 25 shots that he took, it's important that he did that. Otherwise, they're not moving on to the Western Conference Finals. And when they move on to the Western Conference Finals, even though, even though they're even though they're up in these games, yo, Steph Curry was just better. Why can't we just accept the fact that sometimes guys are just better? As good as Damian Lillard is, sometimes Steph Curry was just better in that series. No matter what we try to say, no matter what we try to put on Damian, no matter what we try to put on Damian Lillard, Steph Curry was just better than him. Period. And he was better than him in 2016, even though he only played half the series. He still was better. Question. Uh, yeah, this is and this has been irking my nerves since Ticket started the argument. Ticket, I will be a hundred percent on your side with the and I, again, I'm a damn hater, known damn hater. He's a loser. I take plenty of people over him. I would be on your side with the Dame slander if you used context that mattered. Like, I don't know, him getting bounced in the first round by the Pelicans and him getting done dirty by Rondo and uh, Drew Holiday defensively. Them doubling him and forcing him to look nothing like himself and come up Never short in that way. That no. Stuff like that, I would Is he the only? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 If you was going on that type of spiel with why Dame is underperforming, why he's a loser, stuff like that, hey, man. I'm with you. I'm a hey, call me the manager. I'm managing y'all tag team. I'm uh, with you. But if uh, you're gonna go with the fact that oh man, he came up short against a team we could consider a dynasty in this era in the Warriors, stop it. I'm not uh, about uh, to hold on one second. Hold on one never second. Never matched up I mean, that team. Hold on one second. Never, I need everybody to He never had listening. comparable comp he never had comparable teammates. Okay, all right, hold on, hold on one second, Damo. Damo, that's cool. Damo. Never. Hold on one second. I need everybody that's listening right now. This is pay-per-view right here, baby. Y'all need to get that membership right now. So y'all get this chat room. This is pay-per-view. Uh, you must do this right here. This is pay-per-view right here that y'all are seeing. Y'all are seeing this the, the debate at the highest levels with me and Mars whooping some ass today. Now, Damo, you're going to tell me that Dame Dollar is the only superstar that's ever got double team in NBA history and didn't overcome he's it? Or had he's he, the hold, only on, super, hold on, hold on. Most super, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go most ahead. guys call themselves superstars overcome this type of stuff all the time. How many times have we seen Steph Curry double team and him just go through it and pull up from 30 on these dudes because he's the clutchest nigga yeah, in the game? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. But what you can't take away is undisputable facts. Like when Steph Curry wasn't playing and Krabby was shooting 52% from the three and Amit, uh, 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 Al Farouk Amino was shooting 50-something from the three, giving you 17 points and eight rebounds. And C.J. McCollum was giving you 20, 21 and a half points. And you still lose to Clay Thompson and Draymond Green. 
Now oh, you're laughing. Goes out that the that window. Hold on. No, you're it. not hearing me. You're not here. Hold on. Listen, listen. Dame had him, EJ. That's 50 points right there. Plus, you're getting 17 points and eight rebounds from Al Farika Amino on 50 from the field, 50 from the three. Then you're getting 12 and a half from Alan Crabb, and he's shooting 60 from the field and 50 from the three that series. So your lame ass, country ass excuse goes out of the window about Dame being double teamed because those guys knock down their shots. It's proven. All you do is go watch the tape. They oh shot over 50. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. They shot over 50. Hold on, dog. Hold on, dog. Dog. You talking about one game, dog. Dog. You talking about one game, dog. You talking one game. Like these are needle moves to a championship unit. Like these are guys that are going to have I'm not saying the league defenders that that the Golden State Warriors are not supposed to torture. Okay, so does Does Dame Dollar deliver the chip? When Steph came back, deliver the chip. Does Dame Dollar deliver the chip? Does Dame Dollar deliver the chip to Miami? Does Dame Dollar deliver the chip to Miami? I think they could. Yes. What are you talking about? For sure. You got a better. You got a better chance at pissing in the coke bottle. You got a better chance at pissing in the coke bottle, boy. The hell wrong with you? I'm so confused because ticket. I was on your side again in the Pelican series. Yes, I don't know any other superstar who literally goes on camera, goes on interview, and says, "You know what." They just did things I've never seen before, and I just couldn't deal with it. And all they did was double them. No other superstar does that other than Devin Booker in the summertime when he's trying to know about getting double teamed. We're not talking about that. But no other superstar has ever complained publicly about being double teamed and not been able to actually overcome it in our eyes. But again, when we're talking about the Warriors, you're bringing up how great Allen Crabb played for uh, two or three games, how great Allen no, the whole series. Played. No, the whole Hold series. On. The whole series. Again, the whole series. The whole series. Regardless, he ever not. How he had a 12 and a half. Stop lying. He had a 12 and a half on 50 for the three. Again, Stop lying. Again, again. They they played great that, that playoff run. At what point did the Warriors play bad that you should have that you said, yeah, this is the game they should win? Because what play, hold on. Did? Because Steph, hold on. I'm gonna repeat myself again. Because when Steph is out, that's supposed to clear the decks. Hold on. 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 Listen what I'm saying. Listen what I'm saying. When Steph is out, you're Dame Dollar. You the clutchest nigga in the game. That's supposed to clear the decks for you and CJ to ant CJ in the way Alfarika Minu played, who gave you 17 points on 50% from the three that series, and Alan Crabb, who gave you 12 and a half on 50% from the three that series, and shot 60% from the field. That means when Dame was getting doubled, they was knocking their shit down that series. But guess what? So you stop hold on, hold on. Let me finish. 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 My whole point was is this: when Steph was out, Clay leveled up. Clay took his game to a level higher than Mr. Dame Dollar, nigga. And that's not supposed to happen. Because ain't nobody in here gonna tell you that they think that Clay Thompson is better than Dame Dollar, nigga. Yes, people would. You wanna know why? Because ticket on a championship unit, what is Damian Lillard? A one or two or three? Lord have mercy. No, no, he said, the the, 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 one. the, the answer, answer to his one. question would prove to his point right now. The, if you say anything other than a one, you're proving to Thank you. Point. I'm Sit your ass down. Get him on. Get him on. Get him on. If, you, if, you, if you don't think Dame is a number one, and if no one thinks Dame here is a number one, we're all proving Ticket's point. All of us. I think so Dame we have to believe Dame is a number how, one. On how is Dame not no, a number how one? Is that, how is that proving Ticket's point? Because Ticket's whole point here is that Dame Lillard is not good enough to be a number one, but we hold him to number one standards and we act like he's this good. Well, again, again. And he's not that good. Wait, wait, wait. That's again, the whole point. Now, now, now I'm subscribing to Dub's belief of we got to be consistent with what people actually on the panel said. Because I've, I've been saying Dame is a two or a three. I've never yeah, told him he's number one. Yeah, and that's fine. Domo, that's fine. Dub, Dame, where is he? He's number one. So, right, Mars, 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 so that's Mars, like, like I said, Domo, you believe in that you're on ticket side here. Mark, you believe Mark, he's not a number one. You, you know, I just don't believe. I don't believe that you can look at a team like the Warriors, which is a actual. No, that's right. I, I don't agree with and, everything to get saying. And, and, I just, I'm, and, I'm, I'm that's, and that's the point I'm arguing right now. The yeah. whole Dame thing. I think that listen, Dame is a loser. I just need people to understand that. <laughs> I true. know Dame is a loser. I, I'm not sitting here trying to defend Dame being this number one player. I don't think he goes to the Heat. Mm. They become a championship team. I know Dame's a loser. So let's remove that. From yeah, because you because oh. you don't think Dame is as good as Dame. the other people trying to make him be. And there that's you perfectly fine, and I agree with you. I don't hold my, him to the standard. And my only issue, well. my only issue is with Ticket's argument, bro. I would 
I just don't understand how you're looking at the Warriors series and being like, oh, yeah, this is the proof right here. I don't think so. The, I think the, 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 Warriors, the, the, re, on, the reason, the reason, I think okay, the Warriors ahead. club is just better, flat out, with or without Steph. They are better than that Trailblazers team. The, and the if reason, you're gonna, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The reason why I give credence to it is remember 2016, this is the time where Steph and Clay were considered the best backcourt in the league, and then it was oh. Damon CJ. They were the second best backcourt in the league. That's what people considered. Now, half of the Warriors' backcourt is gone. Steph Curry is not there. So now Damon CJ is against Klay Thompson in the backcourt. But Klay Thompson managed to outperform both of them when Damian Lillard is meant to be the best backcourt player in the series. That, to me, is evidence that maybe Damian Lillard is not to the level... But, but the again, that's, that's, that's disingenuous. If that's considered the best backcourt and the second talking, best backcourt, and half of about, the best backcourt is missing... You're talking about Klay Thompson going up against... You're talking about Klay Thompson going up against a terrible shit defense while Dame is going up against probably uh, the best or arguably the best defense in the league. That's it's right. a different scenario. So, of course, that's, you're using, yeah, that's you're using that's, the standard that's that doesn't make sense. It's not just... It's not... You want to say the Warriors defense? You want to say the Warriors defense? Do you give credit for James Harden to making the Western Conference Finals in 2018. Uh, do I give? No, I expected them to be there. You don't get extra credit for that, no. But do you give them credit? Like you be like, oh yeah, they made the Western Conference Finals, get one to Game Seven with the Golden State Warriors. I give them credit for getting to seven with Golden State. Not okay. For, not for being like Utah and stuff. And All right. So with thing. that same train of thought, because James Harden, outside of like the Game One. The same shit you was complaining about Dame, James Harden did the same exact thing. So how are you going to give credit for him? Dame did the, James Lillard? Harden did the exact thing where? What? Shooting a bunch of shots and just putting up 25, 28, 30 points on a bunch of shots. He wasn't shooting well in that series. Okay, and let's let's not act like James Harden isn't a far superior playmaker to Damian Lillard. Let's not do that. So if you want, if you want to talk strictly about the scoring... Sure, James but they Harden were, was they weren't winning. They weren't winning because of their offense. They were winning because of how well a uh, uh, good defense that they were playing. And that's fine. And I'm not giving James Harden all the credit for them going to Game Seven. He but gets give, credit. Give, he yes, gets, he gets credit because so he was the best player on the Houston Rockets, the performing same, like the best player on the Houston Rockets. So the yes. same way, the same way you give performing James like the best player on the Houston Rockets. Did you hear that last James part? Harden, yes. you, you could argue that CP2 is playing better. Uh, yeah, you argue that by yourself, buddy. You I'm, could I'm argue not, that. I'm you not having that conversation with you. But yeah, CP, argue, uh, by yourself. the okay. same, the uh, same uh, credit, the same credit you're giving James, I expect you to give that to Damian Lillard because despite you, whatever no. you believe, James, Damian Lillard was the best player in that Denver Nuggets series because CJ was. You have to, Mars. No, you have yes. to. CJ yes. played better than Dame. He did. Yo, I told you about to say. In, in, in that That's series, what I'm saying. Played. James James Harden played like the best player in Houston, so he didn't right. get the I'll most credit. Damian Lillard didn't play like the best player in Portland. So why would I give them the same amount of credit? That's well, what actually, he, did. he did. He didn't play like that the entire series, but he did have stretches that's where he played like the best. Uh, okay, he did. For, for a couple he, games, he, he oh, yeah, he looked like yeah, the best that's the correct. No, but and, if you're and, the best player on the team, and, the standard and, is you have to be that the whole series. James Harden was the best. Well, well, well wait a minute. So if I, so I, so not I, if series. I, if, if, not the whole series. That's what I'm talking about. At the end of the series, who was the best player in Houston in that series? And then you acting who? Well, CP3 got hurt. Houston after seven games, who was the best player for Houston in that series? CP3 got hurt. So, so in that Denver, so in that Denver Houston, series, I don't remember, at the I don't end of the series, who was the best player? I just want to make sure I'm remembering this. It has to be James because CP. Okay, now let's get let's okay. get it. For Portland in the Denver Nuggets series, who was the best player in the series? <laughs> Dame was still. Dame was still. <laughs> and then I disagree with you. There we go. Dame was still the best player. Yeah, that's you fine. Can, you can perform better, but not be the better player, Mars. Hey, but real quick, I do. I do got an answer. That's what I said. I got a question right quick. We haven't we haven't heard from Ox this whole time. I want to hear Ox's question. And then, fellas, we got guests. Like, do y'all not have common courtesy? No, well, go ahead. Right. We don't. Well, A sturdy. We'll get to you next. Um. Uh. Oh yeah. So I had a, I, a couple things real quick. No, I just want to make sure I'm, I'm understanding everybody. Um. Mars, I, I get I get your point. You saying that um, you know, Clay and Steph was the the, the best duo, and um, Damian CJ was number two. I think I think we were all on board for that around that time. And I think we can still agree on that. But I do feel like it's a little disingenuous to say that since um, since half of the duo was gone, that they were supposed to win when the Warriors were just a far superior oh, team. Yeah, I all think the that's way around. I expected Dame to be the best backcourt player in the series because. Uh, okay, understandable, Under, under, understandable, un understandable, more. I'm, I'm with you on it. Okay, okay, I'm misunderstood. Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. Now, was but, saying. but, 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 Damo, that was wow, bro. Like, so you said you you don't think that last year, last year, what Dame was doing last season, you don't think you put that on that Miami Heat, Miami Heat team that could take down them, the Nuggets? No, 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 yeah, no. no. So, so, so nobody, no. nobody thinks that Damian Lillard on the Miami Heat is a, is a is a championship contending basketball. Uh. 
I think so. I mean, contending, I, I, yes. I, I, contending, I yes. Contending, yes. So. Yeah, contending, can they contend? Yes. But again, when I say a championship, I'm thinking a team I think will win. I don't think and, they will win. I think they okay, will win. And, I think and they make I, the finals. I, they could probably go a six games, but I don't think they could win. No. When I say number one options, though, I'm, uh, when I say number one on the team, I'm talking about who's who your number one option. Not, not even necessarily your best player. Uh, when I say number one, I'm saying who's your number one scoring option on the offensive end, which does not necessarily mean he's your best player. I think Damian Lillard is the number one number one scoring option on the, on this Miami Heat team. And I think Easily. this Miami Heat team is, is more than capable of winning the championship if Damian Lillard is on that team, which hasn't gone through. But if Damian Lillard is on this Miami Heat team, I, I think they're – Easily a, a top four. Can I ask you a question, four, Bob? Bob, four, can, I ask you uh, question Bob? can I ask you a question about that? Are you going to let me answer the question? Makes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I swear I ain't going to cut okay. you off. I'm going to ask you a question. Right. So if you put Dame on that team, what makes them better than the Denver Nuggets right now, the defending champs? Uh, that, uh, that, what makes them better? Don't stutter, nigga. What, what, makes, what, makes, what, makes, what makes Miami, the Miami Heat, a uh, better team? Hey, nigga, don't they stutter. Nigga. Answer the I'm question, not, I'm, not, I'm not stuttering. I want to make sure I'm answer asking. It. I want to make sure I'm asking, answering what you're asking me. I think that that, that obviously adds a whole other di uh, dynamic to the offense. It, it, it opens up everything as opposed to so like like what happened in the, in this series. You you seen them getting stagnant on offense a lot. You seen them not having many options on what they could do. Damian Lillard opens all that up. It's 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 just it just gives them more options. Simple as that. Damian Lillard is a, a, is a, he's almost he's almost unguardable. So it, it makes it to where Jimmy doesn't have as much pressure. You know what I'm saying? He's clearly guardable. Sorry, I'm about to say. Well, I mean, I mean, before. okay, okay. okay I, I mean, I, I didn't say he was unguardable. I said he's almost unguardable on the offensive end. Like he's he's hard he's hard to stop. Like I don't. I, how many times have we really seen Dame get stopped? He's he's had some bad shooting nights. Easily, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not. You know, obviously, he's, you know, he's had a lot of bad shooting nights, but Damian Lillard just changes the whole dynamic of the of the Miami Heat basketball team. I, I don't see how how I'm not the how I'm the only one seeing that. Like, you put you no, put Damian you put Damian there next to next to Jimmy next to Bam. It's not going to be the same uh the same outlook that they had last year or any year before. They have they haven't had this much firepower since what 2013. I'm I'm fine. I'm fine with that. If you think they're contenders, my my question here right now is for Dub. Um, Dub, you spoke about um uh -oh. LeBron. No, this is not me trying to cook Dub. That's not this question. Um, you spoke about LeBron James on the Miami Heat this year. It wouldn't be as good because ball dominance takes away from the role players. Jimmy Butler plays more in the flow of the offense. Does it when it comes to Dame? Does it bother you that he's one of the more ball dominant players in the NBA? Does would that take away from people, or is that what you need? Just uh, because of the shooting that he can provide for our team, I think that's the main reason why it would be better because we need that consistent shooting, consistent scoring where LeBron James, even though he is great in ball dominant and playmaking wise, he doesn't have that shooting that we desperately need. So that's why it's a better fit. I have a question for you as well. Uh, uh oh, for the Damon CJ McCollum series, I'm double checking it right now. Um, Denver, is that what's on? Yeah, 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 the Denver. Um, you're a fan of true shooting and like relative to true shooting on deciding like scoring value, correct? Uh, efficiency plays a factor, yes. Okay, so if CJ if the, CJ McCollum's efficiency is only 0 .002 higher than Damian Lillard, scored mm -hmm. one more point than Damian Lillard, and wasn't the playmaker that Damian Lillard was, mm -hmm. how did CJ play better than him? Um, because if you go go back and watch the series, mm -hmm. you actually you pay attention to who Denver was focusing their offense on and who they were actually trying to abuse defensively every time down the floor with Jokic and Jamal Murray. It was Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard was the player they were trying to abuse. So even though if you want to say he brought extra playmaking value, defensively in that series, Damian Lillard was worse than CJ McCollum. Scoring wise, Damian Lillard was worse than CJ McCollum in that series. Playmaking, oh. I'll give you, Damian Lillard was better. But mm -hmm. for me. I'm going to say yeah. CJ McCollum had a better series than Damian Lillard. So, because because on the like defensive that. side of the basketball is what you're saying. Even though CJ McCollum oh, CJ, was a bad CJ, defender CJ's too. CJ's a yes. terrible defender too. Why are you <laughs> using okay. that's, that's well, there's, 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 le there's, level, there's levels to terribleness, though. you got Trey Young is a terrible defender. Luka Doncic is a terrible so defender. So CJ's a better yes, defender than Dame. So CJ's In that a better series, defender than CJ McCollum was a better Ronnie's defender. He's 5'2". He can't guard anybody. In that series. Keep saying this. What Mars is trying to sell Because the team was focusing their whole offensive attack around Damian Lillard. Every possession was abused Damian Lillard defensively. In right. two-man game, in pick-and-roll game, any sort of offensive scheme they were going for, it was Damian Lillard, get into this action because you are the weak link. 
That's Yo, what they did. Three, what that's and, and, and Damian Lillard was getting abused. Hey, Mars, that's what I'm going to say. CJ McCollum had a better about game seven and game three. The games eight. What happened in game and, three? And, uh, and, and, and when he finished asking him about that, ask make make sure you ask Ticket about game six. Was it which was an elimination game? If Portland mm -hmm. loses that game, ask him about that one after you finish asking him about the first one. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Hey, look, yeah, I that's, that's my reason for CJ old man, but y'all got to ain't nobody hating. Ain't nobody hating. The whole crowd said you got cooked. The and, whole and, crowd and, 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 you got you, Oh my God, all this dude do is talk. He make me sick. Look, 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 look in the crowd. Look in the crowd, man. Look in the crowd, man, G. Look in the crowd, B. Look at him. Anyway, I'm sorry. Focus, bro. chill. Focus, Focus chill. chill. Mars, Mars, as you were saying, Mars, as you were saying, cool. you, talked, you, talked about, you talked about CJ McCollum and, and, and Damian Lillard in terms of defense. So essentially what you're telling me is, is that uh, CJ McCollum was the best looking of the ugly kid, of, of the ugly chicks, because they both were terrible. But we're going to go after you just a little bit more than we go after you. And how does Dame supplement that? Dame supplements that because they weren't focused defensively I'm sorry, Denver, they weren't focused defensively as much on CJ as they were on Damian yeah. Lillard. So because they weren't focused as much on him, that would explain why Damian Lillard from time throughout that series, he wasn't shooting that well, as opposed to CJ McCullough, who had a lot of one-on-one -on -one coverage, which mm -hmm. would explain why he also fried C which also which would explain why he fried Jamal Murray in that game seven. And yeah, basically is, outplayed him in that series. So is, essentially what you're I doing is you... Yeah, Damian so, Lillard gets superstar defensive treatment because he's the best player on the team. Correct. In that series, due to the superstar defensive treatment he got, mm -hmm. CJ McCollum played better than him. That's the standard you get held to when you're meant to be a superstar. You're meant to perform the best on your team, even with the highest defensive coverage. He didn't do that. Like, if Steph Curry gets outperformed by Klay Thompson, even though we all understand Steph Curry's mm -hmm. getting more defensive attention, we're going to say Steph Curry wasn't the best performing warrior in the series, despite the fact we understand... Clay Thompson doesn't get as much defensive attention. Right. Damian Lillard which, gets which more has happened attention. Up, which has happened a few yeah, times. Of course, Clay Thompson has had series like that. But when it's Damian Lillard, we want to give all these little caveats. Well, he gets more defensive attention. Yep. Yes, he does. 100% facts. But if we're holding him to the superstar standard, you're meant don't to you, perform with wait, don't the superstar. You, don't, you do the same thing with, don't you do the same with Stephen KD? With what? About the, the attention that he was getting? The, it, the thing is, when I say Stephen KD, I say KD deserved the finals MVP in 2017, by the way. But when mm -hmm. I talk about Stephen KD, Steph's gravity, the term mm -hmm. people like to use and people, the term I like to use, was creating opportunities for KD. Damian Lillard's gravity was inadvertently not creating as many opportunities for CJ, whereas mm -hmm. CJ was just getting more one-on-one -on -one coverage. Teams were leaving KD open to guard KD. I mean, to guard Steph. With Correct. Damian Lillard, it was Damian CJ was getting one-on-one -on -one coverage, and Damian Lillard would get trapped off pick and rolls, and it would leave guys like Alfred Camini, Seth Curry, those type of guys open. So it's a, it's a little shout bit out Alpha Rope, real, real quick. That, that's why I free. Shout, shout out, out, shout out Alpha you, you just But I will say Steph. Alfred. I will say KD played better than Steph in the 2017 Finals, despite the fact that Steph got more of the defensive attention because he just played better. Yo, Damo, I I can't let you answer your question. Well, I I will, but we got to hear from Ace Thirty first. Uh, Ace Thirty, you you good? What up? You still got a question for ticket? Yeah, salute everybody. Salute chat. Um, appreciate you for coming I think, through. In regards to this to topic, though, um, I think I think we're not taking into account how much how much game how much game um game will game will be helped when playing under air expulsion. Air expulsion is not going to have them as ball dominant. They run pistol. That's going to give them more more motion offense, more easier cuts to the basket, and most importantly, he's not going to be the primary playmaker for that team. Um, y'all, y'all pretty, y'all pretty much hit it ahead. Um, Portland Trailblazers has never had a championship contending team, so I don't know why it's necessary to hold Dame Lillard to a championship standard. But despite him being a superstar, we all know teams win championship, not in just individual players. Second thing is, um, I, I just want to say, like, I just, it's, it's funny to me how, like, Ticket keeps going after Dame and KD about running from the grind, but he's doing it himself. Oh, oh yeah, for those who don't familiar, um, I'm I'm I, I changed my avatar to Sam Cassell because that's who it looked like is. And no worry, it's not disrespect. Sam Cassell is a three-time champion, a great veteran, and one of the best six coach in the league. I just thought looking back for I think ticket is Sam Cassell looks like, but that's not the point. The point is my question my question to ticket is why do you why do you have so much disdain for guys like Damian Little K D <laughs> when you're running from the grind? Hold on, when you're when you are pulling the K D move, cause I watch every single episode. You never beat Mars in the Bay, ever. But now, all of a sudden, y'all the best of buddies. Y'all the world tag team champs. By the way, if y'all were tag team champs, Mars be Booker T, you'll be gold dust. But that's not the point. The point is, my question for you, my question for you, Ticket, is 
Bro, why you got the mic? Hold on. Why you, why you no, got no, no, so no, much? Hold on. Hold on. You literally about to get the mic. You about to get the mic. You about to get the mic. Hold on. Hold on. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Because in real life, I'll smack you, dog. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I doubt it. 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 I really would like to get back to that. So Ma, so so Ma, so Mars, um the issue that I was had, the 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 point that I was trying to make is that even though Damian Lillard does is regarded as a superstar, right? Not only is he regarded as a superstar, he plays at a superstar level. But I think that we're being a little bit disingenuous in terms of that series against Denver because it wasn't that much nah, of a drop. Nah, chill. Chill. The nigga's salty because I went over there and beat their ass. He's so, he emotional. I went over there and beat their ass. Why you being emotional, ticket? So the nigga, hey, hey, look. I, I, this, I, I, why, why you, you, you being emotional, emotional bro? bro? I'm going to say something to y'all. Why you being I, emotional, I never bro? Heard, hold on. I'm going to say something to y'all. Chill was just talking, bro. Not, I ain't never, hold on. I ain't Has never heard this nigga. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to say this to y'all. How's the, and you get your feels get hurt by this nigga. Your feels get hurt by this nigga. No, no, you did it. That's the point. You got your feminine. Like you should. Hey, yo, put this nigga on mute. I let that nigga talk. No, no, I didn't finish talking, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. I never heard you before in life. And you get your feelings hurt by me. Hold on, dog. Hold on, dog. I never heard. All right, look, 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 look. I muted both of y'all. Here's what we going to do. Nah, yeah, nah, you ain't finna let me go up there. Just hold on, right quick, take, hey, yo, it, yo, take it, just chill. I'm gonna I put my dick in your mama's mouth. I'm gonna let one of y'all speak for 30 seconds, and I'm gonna let the yo. next person speak. Ace 30, this is the first platform. Take it going first. Go ahead, take it. Nah, I'm just saying, why the chump, this, this, this chump, I wasn't bothering this nigga. I don't even know who he was. He popped up in the comment section with a wrench, always disrespecting me, and I ain't never said that to the nigga before in life. So I don't know where all this heat coming from. And he talking about me and Mars. Nigga, me and Mars was in the championship round, nigga. Me and Mars, we both was winning rounds. He just ended up winning the last round, you dumbass nigga. So I was always in the finals, and we, we, we went at it, and we battled at it, and we've always went and battled at it on, on, on uh, PC, nigga. You, you just popped up. I ain't never seen you, never heard of you. I don't even know why you coming on here talking about me, nigga. So the bottom line is this, nigga. You don't know me, nigga, and I don't know you, nigga. You niggas be coming on here trying to get a come up off of me, nigga. I don't know nothing about you, nigga. You a funny style ass nigga. Huh. You hang with niggas. You hang with niggas that all did try to disrespect me, nigga. But you would never do that shit in real life, nigga. You'll get your ass beat, nigga. Period, nigga. You pussy, nigga. And I'll put these nuts in your mama's mouth. <laughs> Yo, that. You know what? No comment. Hey, sturdy. Um, can you please reply in a polite way? In, in, in as nice of a way as possible. No, uh, Ron, honestly, you I know, thought I was being, I thought I was being Mars. polite and respectful. No, because I, once not again, continue our no, 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 y'all, y'all will chill, chill, y'all will, y'all will, y'all will. will. No, no, Ron, I thought I was being, I thought I was being respectful. You. All I said was, this dude is Sam Cassell, who's a respected player your and mother, coach nigga. of the league. All I, look at, look at him, look at him, look at him, being emotional again. All, All right, I God, said was, got to chill for a no, second. I just want to, no, like I said, like I said, just like, just like KD. Mar him and Mars was in a tight I was in a tight debate and went down to game seven just like the Western Conference Finals in 2016 and just like KD he tried to ride the coattails but I'll, I'll just ask you, I just want to ask a simple question Ron why does he have so much disdain for KD and Dane when he do the same thing with Mars Mars did his tight team partner right there Mars did just ask simply ask Mars has he ever beat him in debate matter of fact has Mars ever even approved this quote unquote tag team that's all yes. I ask Mars, would you like to speak on the matter? <laughs> I want to get my oh, and by the way, hold on, hold on, Rob. Let me say this real quick. Rob, by the way, by the way, the reason why I got a rich ticket is because I supported this channel since episode six, way before you got here. So, and I ain't got to get disrespectful just by speaking the truth about you, bro. But you got nothing to do but lie about me. But back to the topic at hand, Chill and Mars was right. I, I was the, the championship, the Portland never built a championship caliber team around Dane, ever. You so, gonna let me respond to this clown, uh, Ron? Because I, I can respond. Hey, Don, don't wave your hands. Ron, Ron, Ron. I'm trying to get back to it. I'm trying to get back to it. That's the whole ass shit you be talking about I be doing. Y'all bring these suckers up here. This nigga ain't never debated nobody, nigga. This nigga don't want to see me. 
This pussy ass nigga don't want to see me. I'm the one that created this whole motherfucking debate lane. All them niggas you go over there and go, go for, nigga, all them niggas was my sons. They was under my channel. They was under my coattail, nigga. And I'm the one who birthed them niggas and motherfucking put the bottle in them niggas' mouths and bred them niggas and built them niggas up, nigga. I got Lamont Lane, he on tape saying, the only reason why I do this is because of Ticket, nigga. And all the rest of them niggas was on my channel, nigga. And I shouted them niggas out and built them niggas up, nigga. So shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Oh, since you want to know what the hold on, since you want to know what the truth is, nigga. I'm the one that laid the whole platform for this debate shit. Go back and check it, nigga. Check the record, nigga. I've been doing Damn. this shit wrong, nigga. Straight up, nigga. In the grind, in the trenches. <laughs> the done. These are facts. So you talking this whole shit. And then secondly, Mars was the one. Mars was the one who came and agreed with me on the debate. And that's how the fuck we got on the same team lately. Mars came and agreed with something I said, nigga. So go do Get the em. research, nigga. Go, hold on. Go do the research. Because I was attacking Mars. And Mars came and agreed with me. So when he agreed with me, the crowd said that. So ain't nobody jumped the lines. And the last thing to answer your question about Dame Dollar. The reason why I'm on Dame Dollar is because he the one running around here saying he ain't ducking the ground. He the one around here, he the one running around here criticizing everybody else and pointing his finger at everybody else for doing what he's trying to do right now, which is duck the grind. He was just doing this two weeks ago. He said he'd rather retire than go play with other all-stars. He said he didn't want his career to be like that. He said that he respected the game and he was raised a different way and, and, and instead of trying to go duck the grind and go make super teams. He the one that got him to go hire Chauncey Billups. He the one that got him to go, go ahead and give Jeremy Grant that big contract, dog. Cut it out. He never wanted them to trade C.J. McCullum all those years. That's why they couldn't get no better assets. Then you want to talk about KD. The reason why we get on KD is because KD's a fraud. That nigga was running around here on burner accounts talking shit to people. Now all of a sudden, since he got caught, he want to poke his chest out and talk shit to low. No, sit your bitch ass down and go back to their burner accounts like you was doing when ain't nobody know who you was. Don't be brave now because you got caught, nigga. And then KD, he double talking, nigga. That's why we cooking his ass. Because he says the, uh, the way we think about shit is whack. But he think about it the same way because if he didn't, he would have took his monkey ass to Golden State. Then he wouldn't have left when Draymond Green called him a bitch to his face and ran him out the organization, went to the Brooklyn Nets, and then when the crybaby ass nigga didn't get his way, ran his ass to Phoenix and formed another super team because his sorry ass couldn't get it done, got walked down and swept by the Boston Celtics. Then he ran to the Phoenix Suns, got his ass whooped by Phoenix. Now he's trying to build another super duper team. Nigga, shut your ass up, nigga. You can't have a debate me, nigga. I lay your ass down, paramedics, pick you up, pussy, nigga. Hey, A30. I doubt it, but no, nah, I want to ask that question. No, I want to ask study. that question. Yeah, go ahead. question. Are you sure this is what y'all want on Saturday? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Ma, ma, listen, ma. listen. What you talking about? I, I, look, I'll give, I'll give Chill the day off. I'll give Ox the day off. I'll give Mars the day off. I'll give Domo the day off. Dub, you're working. So <laughs> Yo, Ron, <laughs> Ron, even at the day off, I still, want my, I still want my bread. Are you sure this is what y'all want? Run and that's a fact. Lee, his bro. boss, hold on. Hey, his, bo his boss, Lamont Lane. His boss, Lamont Lane. The Ron, nigga he Ron, running Ron, under. Ron, his Ron, boss Ron, is a nigga Ron, who said the only reason Ron, why I'm doing it is because Ron, of ticket, nigga. Go Ron, check the history, Ron, nigga. All them Ron, niggas that y'all don't know y'all team, Ron, nigga. Them niggas was cooking with me. I built them niggas yeah. up, shouted them niggas out, pushed them niggas' channels up, the ones who got channels, nigga, and made them niggas relevant, nigga. Cut that shit out, nigga. I've been strong on my own merit, you nigga. Did. I've been out here doing, hold on. I've been out here doing numbers on my own merit, nigga. Shut your bitch ass up. You would know, we would never know about you if you wasn't here on PC, nigga. We know about me from my merit, nigga. We, 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 we just heard of you just because you are you a part of the clan, nigga. And like I said, right. I can't be right. I, over here and chopped it up with my boys Chill Town because I love seeing what him and Floyd was doing and we doubled up. And I came over here and chopped it up with Dub and Mars because I love the, the, what they was doing and we doubled up. I came over here and chopped it up with my nigga Low because I love what he was doing and we tripled up. And we gonna keep tripling up until you bitch ass niggas lay down, nigga. Fuck wrong with you? Sturdy. Hey, man. He, if you getting this the most of the is what it is. For real. You know, that's what I'm trying to get back to it. Um, Because this was never clarified. On on no, 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 that's what, no, no, yeah, no, that's what I'm asking about. Game. Like, if he does, you know, last question about Dan. If he does go to Miami Heat, is that considered really a super team? Yes. I don't, I, I don't, I don't think so. No, no, if he does, if Dane does get traded, I don't if that considered a super team. If he end up, if he ends up in if he ends up in Miami and they still keep Jimmy Jimmy Butler and they still keep Bam, 
I still don't. I, I don't think yeah, it's a you're sellout, bro. In, That's in, a sellout, that. bro. That's no, a sellout, it's not. Bro. No, it is bro, not. Ticket. You got two no, it is stars. not. You got two perennial. Hold on. You got two. You got two. You got two all NBA defenders in their prime. These niggas on damn near been to three NBA finals in four years. Any other person who went and did that, we would say it was a super team. If that doesn't KD mean that they are. Hold on, that hold on. Doesn't mean, it, no, no, no. You hold on. Ticket. I don't think that they're a super team. And the reason why I don't think that they're a super team is because I don't look at Jimmy Butler. Before these couple of years, I don't look at Jimmy Butler the way you do. He's I don't a look at him like that. Is Jimmy a Hall of Famer? Is he a Hall of Famer? Today? Right now, is he a Hall um, of Famer? No, no, I ain't asked you. I asked Kill Town. Yeah, I think you done, nigga. Hold on. You done, nigga. Hold on. You done, nigga. Wrap these niggas up in plastic. No, no, no. Ain't nobody packing up nobody. Because I already already. Hold on, Casket. It's still open. So let's make sure that. Let's make sure we get back to it. Like I said, so, you, you so, just so, said he's so, a Hall so, of Famer. Hold on. So, you just so, said he's a Hall of Famer. Is Bama 20th and All-Star? So, 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 so we doing that. So we doing that. Is Kyle Lowry a Hall of Famer? No, so, I'll ask you, is Bam a 20th ten All-Star right now? No, he didn't make the All-Star team. He did make the All-Star team. Can wait, can and I ask? Ticket. Um, ticket, 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 ticket. Real quick, real quick. In this that era of the NBA. Hold on, hold on. So in this era of the NBA, and I'm going to say post post LeBron going to Miami, when has a team of losers teamed up and became a super team? No, no, no. You're not hearing me. Okay, I'm going to give it to you. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. The Boston, hold, on. The Boston, era, hold on. The Boston Celtics. The, the, the Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns right now. They're a super they team. Won? No, I said, I said, you said a team of guys. You said a team of losers who teamed up, and it's a super team, right? That and became successful. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. I, I misspoke. I misspoke. Right, I'm right. So no. So what I'm saying. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Hold on. My whole point. To, my whole point to my boy Chill Town, and I love going back and forth with Chill. This is my whole point with Chill, bro. Jimmy Butler. Everybody know he's a Hall of Famer right now. He's in his prime right now. Bam out of Bayou is a 20 and 10 big man. That's an All Star right now in his prime. In the beginning of his prime. Dame Dollar just came out the best statistical season of his career. Bro, listen, I just want to keep the same standard. If KD would have went to this team, we'd be torturing KD for going to this team after going to three because, NBA. Not, he's, 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 not, because Miami is, not because of Miami being a super team ticket. We'd be torturing him because of what he's done in the past. Because of what he did when he went to Brooklyn. Because of what no, no, he did no, no, when he went no, to no, Brooklyn. No, 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 no
they were considered a super team from day one just because they had Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, and KG, three dudes that had never won nothing. At the end, at the tail end of their prime. And they called them a super team. And, and that was a justification. That was a justification for LeBron James to leave Cleveland and go to Miami. It was because they, y'all said they built a super reason. team. It hold on, no, get out of Miami. It was the reason. Oh, hold on, right. No, no, I'm saying, no, I'm saying that was, no, I'm saying that's what his fans say was a justification for him going over there. So all I'm saying to Chilltown is this. Bro, listen, if if we all think Jimmy's a Hall of Famer, which pretty much everybody thinks, if we all think no, Bam out of Bayou, I don't know about that. Oh, you don't know? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna right now. If Tim Hardaway is a if Tim Hardaway is a right now, he's a Hall of Famer right now. Hold on, him going to two NBA finals. How long did it take Tim Hardaway to get to the Hall of Fame? We got it. He was out. I want to know who else thinks he's a Hall of Famer. Right. Hold on, that, hold on. How long did it take T Mac to get in, Ron? Ron, T Mac got in first ballot, and and, and Jimmy Butler got Jimmy better. Butler, Jimmy Butler's not T Mac. Hold on, I'm about to hold on. I'm about to prove it to you. Jimmy Butler, I'm about to prove it to you. Hold on, I'm about to prove it to you. I'm about to prove it to you. Jimmy Butler got a better career average. Jimmy Butler got the same amount of All NBAs. Jimmy Butler got more All Defensive NBA teams. So that and Jimmy Butler been to two NBA finals and he was the leader that got the team to the NBA finals. That automatically puts him in the Hall of Fame. That's and cool, T-Mac, he's not T Mac. He, bro, he, no, nobody's yeah. contending that he a better player than T Mac. Nobody's saying that's, that. that, 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 that. His resume, that's, 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 his resume, get him in the hall, bro. That's his, what's resume. Get him in his resume, his that's resume. That's why he's gonna get in. So, nigga, they average twenty. Hold on, how many points does if if since 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 my my headphones just turned all the way up to the max. I want to know how is how is Jimmy just hands down a Hall of Famer? There's a He's lot done. of guys. Okay, I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why again. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna explain it to you. Chill, chill town, chill town just brought up Tim Hardaway. It took Tim Hardaway almost twenty years to get. Hold on, but you not, you're not giving context. Hold on. The only reason why it took Tim Hardaway so long is because he had those comments. He had, he made those comments that made them hold him out of the Hall of Fame. That's why. Let's keep it real, bro. You got to know basketball, Bob, to be on this level oh, at age so 30. So this is how I so cook what, niggas so every what, day. So when you so bring what, your ass, so what is, I'm going to keep cooking you your ass too, nigga. You ain't even cook, man. You, 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 nigga, you, you just said that you believe. Bob, you I'm not talking about he's, believe. He's, 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 he's not in the Hall of Fame because he said this. What the fuck I got to do with basketball? Ask Chilton. Hold on. Ask Chilton. Let's get back. Let's get back. Hold on, Chilton. Because here you go again with this gossip column shit. Am I lying, Chilton? I'm not lying, gossip. I'm not lying, nigga. That's some gossip column shit. Chilton, I'm not lying, bro. I'm not lying. Ask Chilltown. He so, don't okay, okay, but Jimmy, but Jimmy, hold on, ticket, because because Jimmy, Jimmy just said if I get inducted to the Hall of Fame, I might not show up. So they're, mean he they're, Hall not, of they're not going to put it. They're not going to put him in the Hall of Fame because he said he's not going to show up to the Hall to Hall of Fame induction. If you say that, I can say that. T Jimmy, Jimmy, brother, Jimmy, that's different to saying you don't like gay people. I'm not going to lie. Bro, no, that's that's, yeah, that's, that's, you, bro. That, no, that's the reason why. That's the reason you, why. That's the reason why, why man. Right. So, so learn basketball, Bob. For you come what here, what I gotta do with basketball? No, 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 Bob, Bob, Bob. You asked me about Tim Hardaway. You learn, you learn, you learn basketball. You asked about Tim Hardaway, Bob. Bob, you asked me about Tim Hardaway, bro. Bro, you asked me, Bob. You my brother, Bob. You my brother, Tim Hardaway. No, no, no. Brought up Tim Hardaway. I brought up, I brought up, I brought up Tim Hardaway, and I brought up Tim Hardaway because I said again, if Tim Hardaway's in the Hall of Fame, and it did take him a long time, Big Ox. So same why? logic, same, same, and he had. What he about had Kevin? Knowledge. Okay, what about Kevin Johnson? Kevin Johnson, Kevin Johnson should Johnson absolutely be in the Hall of Fame. Kevin Johnson, Johnson. 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 he never did with Jimmy. Everybody, he never did with Jimmy. You think, everybody that you think is supposed to be in the Hall of Fame. He never did what Jimmy did though. Jimmy was five times All NBA. But he did what but he did what Tim Hardaway did. So no, 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 no. But I'm saying no, no. But hold on. But we chill time. This is my whole answer to Bob, and you know this is true. Tim Hardaway would have already been in the Hall of Fame, and he would have never made those comments. That's why he had to apologize just so he can get in the Hall of Fame. He had to come back recently and apologize for those comments just so they can induct him in the Hall of Fame. He should have already been in. This is the same thing in football with T.O. This Johnson. is the same reason why, hold on, this is the same reason why they waited so long to put T.O. in the Hall of Fame because of the things that, they, they, that, that Skip Bayless and them pushed out that's, that's that he cool. did in his career. had nothing to do with his, his performance the on the field. So hold on, my whole thing to you is this, Bob. The reason why Jimmy Butler is a Hall of Famer is because he meets the criteria. He has averaged 20 points per game for almost a 10-year stretch. He's a five-time All-NBA performer. He's an All-NBA defensive performer four times over. That right there, plus the two NBA Finals appearances and the All-Star appearances, that's a, that's a Hall of Fame resume, right? His resume is better than T-Max right now. Okay, okay. so what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, 
Jimmy Butler is going to be in the Hall of Fame. But what I what I said before this all started, what I said is there ain't no guarantee. Why 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 is why is Jimmy Butler just a shoe in for the Hall of Fame? That's because what I, I just told you. Because resume. I just told you. Because his criteria meets the meets the first ballot Hall of Fame criteria. If you learn the first ballot Hall of Fame, that's first ballot. I don't know if you're a first ballot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chill, chill, chill. You might be a first ballot. Chill, You might be a first ballot. T Mac got in first ballot based on I don't agree with that. Oh, I, wait, I, wait, hold on, but chill out, but chill out, but chill out. T-Mac got in, T-Mac got in, hold on, hold on. Stop comparing Jimmy to T-Mac. Stop comparing No, no, big guys, big guys. No, no, did that be understood? Hold on, real quick, 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 real the reason why well, then, Tim well, Hardy had to waste so much. The Hall, the Hall of Fame is tainted, then, bro. The Hall of Fame is tainted. No, it, it is. It is. But when it's tainted, when it's tainted to that, to that, uh, when it's tainted that much study, then, then, then being in the Hall of Fame means nothing, bro. No, but Bob, but Bob, the point is this: me personally, I got to kiss ass think... to the media to get here. Then who cares about it? No, no, but but Bob, my thing is, you don't have to kiss ass. You have a good relationship with the media. But like, my my point is this: um. I don't think Jimmy's the guy that's questioned to be a Hall of Famer. I think Bam needs more time to build his case to be a Hall of Famer. That's the guy's in question. I agree, I agree with that. I agree with Ace Thirty just said that's that, that's true. But what I'm saying is, is right now Bam is a 20 and 10 guy. He's an All Star and he's an All NBA defensive performer. Wasn't he a first team All NBA defense this season? He was first, he was second or first. I, I think he was second. I think he was second team. Oh, second. He was second. Yeah, he was second. He was second. Okay, yeah. So he's an all NBA defender. He's an all star and he's a 20 and 10 big man in the league. And then let me ask you this question. Here's the last question that seals it everything. Is Jimmy Butler a top 20 player in the game right now? He's top 15. I think I right? think he's yeah. top 10. Is Bam out of buy you, is Bam out of buy you a top 25 player in the league right now? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Is 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 Dame Dollar a top 15 player in the world? Top team. Yeah. Super team. Yeah. Top that's a super team. team. That's a super team. That's a super team. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to combat that. Like I don't want to combat that it's a super team. I'm not. I'm not here to do that. It, it, it could be a super team. That's fine with me. I mm. just don't care. I, I think Dame has every right to go to. No, no, no. I'm with you, Bob. That's, Bob. That's no my whole I, Bob. I, my I, whole I, point. Bob. My whole point of bringing this up to everybody, and y'all know I love chill. I love all y'all. But my point of bringing this up to y'all is that this. This is the first time we've ever had this real conversation about Dame's whole career. Think about this. We we go at everybody else, but Dame has been able to skate under the radar because he plays in Portland. He has been a, a, a he has been hidden from all of this energy. And think about this. With, with no championship. Hold on, 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 Bob, hold on Bob. I want you to think about this, Bob. The same thing happened to Russ. He was winning MVPs in OKC. He got no criticism going to DC when that didn't work. He got minimal criticism when he went to the Rockets, and that didn't work. As soon as he went to the big lights, and he and it didn't work, and he got benched. Now he got just de- all his fans turned on. He got demolished. All I'm saying is the reason why it came so hard on him is because early in his career, when he was doing that dumb shit, nobody called him out on it. So why we ain't calling out Dame? Because if Dame goes to the big stage. And he chokes. Everybody in his channel is going to bring up all, and the whole media is going to bring up all these years he choked, and they're going to crucify this dude. So I'm saying it's we should be holding him for the same. It's a little different, bro. It's a little different. It's, it's the, it's reason hard, why, like, ticket, he, never, the reason why like, ticket, like, the they, reason they why never, they never had a championship level team in Portland. He never had Kevin Durant. That, he never, he that never and also, any of that, bro. Bob, that and also, even though Dame, bro, oh, ticket, ticket, hold on, look quick. Dame, look quick. Even though, even though Dame is a superstar ticket, even even your tag team partner Mars said it. There's levels to being a superstar. So the reason why people don't hold him to the same standard as a KD, as LeBron, or as some of the guys you mentioned, because they were simply better players. The guys you were putting above him were top five players in the league. Dame was never that. He was still a superstar, but this team doesn't him. He's been top two. But but hold on, anybody that's a top ten player in the league is supposed to elevate. I'm gonna give you the top ten players. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Are we saying? Hold on. Is everybody in this chat room? Hold on. Is everybody in this chat room right now saying? The top 10 players in the league ain't supposed to elevate. Let's look at it right now. So Joel and B's not a top 10 player. No, 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 no. Listen, but he's supposed to be held. Hold on. 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 Hold on.
there's a reason where there's there's a reason why there's a separation. So for example, Giannis, for example, Giannis has won the NBA championship. Giannis has been a two-time league MVP. He's been a defensive player of the year. We don't put Giannis on the same page as Dame. We no, don't. We not, I'm not field town, but I'm yes, we, if you we putting Dame top 10, he's in that lore. No, if he's he, not. He's not on the same page with Joe. Be, hold on, he's not town. on the same you page with Steph Curry. He's not on the chill, same chill. page with Giannis. So we don't chill. talk about him like that. We but have no, no, these chill. guys. There's a reason why we hold these guys in a higher regard. There's a reason why we have first team all NBA and second team all NBA and third team all NBA. There's a reason why we have first team all league defenders. Didn't they make first team a few years? Didn't they have these guys first team. in a higher regard in a higher Didn't regard first than these other guys? So when we got Didn't a guy like Damian, first team? When, we got, when we got a guy Damian's like always been a borderline top 10 player. He has been. He has been. 100 But we still hold him to that pitch, Hill. We don't hold him to that regard. The reason why? Because these guys did more. So we expect more from them. So, 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 chill town. I, 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 I'm gonna say this to you, right? Is it because he's miniature, or is it just because There's nothing to do with he, him being small? Okay, Steph okay. So hold on. So hold on. So nothing so, to do with like him being small. So stay right there. Stay right there. So since he, since it has nothing to do with his size, then when you say LeBron James had worse rosters with the Cavs, he did more with. LeBron James. Uh oh. Uh oh. I got myself a gun, but really, I don't need the heat. Your heart pump project Kool Aid is sweet. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Mars, I only got a scratch on me. You think ticks off? Rick, tick off, man. I'm only worth over a hundred million. Look, I got beef with like a hundred children. Can we, can we get brothers in pink suits? There you go. You said it wasn't about size. So if it wasn't about size, didn't LeBron James have worse rosters that he took to the NBA finals and deep in the playoffs? Are you saying? Are, are you? Are, are we sitting here saying? Well, that it was a 2018 Raptor. Whoa, 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 whoa! Are we sitting here saying that Damian Lillard? Because it's not about size. Are we putting Damian Lillard on the same page with LeBron James? Even he's with the worst him? roster, is that what we're saying? No, I'm saying was he's Damian not, no, Lillard. He's oh, and, 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 and I'm glad. You, and I'm glad you brought that point up that he's top ten. Has Damian Lillard ever been considered the best player in the game? I'm not listening. I'm that's not. That's the point. Arguing. That no, 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 no. I agree with you. Hold on. I agree with you. Has Damian Lillard ever been the best player in the game? Bill, I agree with you. Your brain on the top was short like leprechauns. No, no. So called Willie's thugs and rap for dawn. Get in that ass, quick fast like Ramadan. It's the rap phenomenon. But chill. But chill. Hey, chill. I love you, boy. Hey, chill. But why? Hey, chill. But answer this question, though. Answer this question, though, my brother. Why wasn't he though? It was on. He didn't elevate. If Dane would have elevated or maybe in I those moments, no, no. That? But I'm saying, right, 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 hold on, chill, but chill, hold on, chill. So right. So now, all I'm saying to y'all is, since he, since he wasn't good enough, what makes us think that if he just gets sent to a contender, now he's good enough to get them over the hump? I mean, we had that same logic going on, ticket. I mean, you was around during this time. We had that same logic going on with Drex. I mean, Drex, they just weren't good enough to get it done. But when Drex went to Houston. It was a different energy, but they were losing. So, yo, we got to win this thing. Otherwise, this is going to be Drex's fault because we won it the year before. But that doesn't diminish Drex that he so was dude, still in. He still was in Portland and they weren't good enough. So, so, we talk, so, our thing is, so, so when we talking about Drex, I mean, Drex was never considered the best so player if in, we, the league, if we but, top 10 in the league. If we top 10 in the league, chill town. If we top 10 in the league, now we can't have those expectations from the top 10 players in the world. They shouldn't be able to elevate. Is, am I right or wrong, Mars? One hundred percent. I'm not that part. Of, oh, okay. So I, will not, saying, I, I will not argue that point. So that's what, a all, fact. I'm, all I'm saying to you, is, chill down. All I'm saying to you is this respectfully, bro. So since we said that, and since you said it wasn't about the size, y'all complain about Dame's rosters. Didn't LeBron James do more with worse rosters? He's a better player, ticket. Right, no, okay. So hold on. Player. Hold on. Right. Hold on. Right. That's my. Hold on. That's my point. That's well, my point is. Hold on. 10, my point. Hold on. My hold on, listen to what I'm saying though. My point is though, mm -hmm. is that we still hold Dame in a top 10 category when he shouldn't be there because he doesn't have a top 10 game. Because every That's other player nice. in the top 10 is expected to elevate. Giannis, yeah, Jokic, AD, mm -hmm. LeBron, Steph, uh 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 uh, uh Luca, all these right. other dudes in the top 10 is expected to elevate. Right. The only dude we is to expect not to elevate is is Dame. Come no, on, bro. No, nobody's saying that. No, uh-uh. Ticket. That, and and Luca went to the true. Western Conference Finals too with the same type of roster Dame had. But he let's had not one. Let's, 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 let's not misconstrue. Let's not misconstrue yeah. Damian Lillard not being able to, to, to elevate because that's not the case. If you're a boxer ticket and I'm the number one contender or the number two contender, there's a separator between the number two contender and the number eight guy. 
The number eight guy and the number two guy are not the same. No, my chill chill, hold on. Y'all, y'all, misunderstanding. No, I'm not misunderstanding. You're no, no, my point is this. You're trying to tell me that you that as no, if no, you're no, a top no. ten player, I expect you to elevate like yeah. everybody else in the top ten does. Well, yeah, no, which chill. is true. Only except the guys in the in the first half of the top ten. The okay, number so one, chill. the number two, and the number three player. There's a separation between uh, uh, that those three guys and the number eight, nine, uh, and okay, ten player. I'm gonna ask you a question that's gonna destroy everything, and Doug can't answer this question either. Since y'all said that he never had the help to get over the hump, what, who could they have gotten Dame? I want y'all to think about this now. Who oh could they have God. gotten Dame? Hold on. Who could they have gotten Dame in Portland in y'all's mind that would have beaten LeBron? Would have beaten KD in them teams? Would have beaten Jokic in them teams? Who who could they have put around him in Portland that he legitimately still could have won a championship as that dude? Or would I he have been a second option? Or would he have been a second option? Even, even, even. Let's just say for the sake of sake, sake of argument, we stand on him being the first option. I think they could have done a better job of getting him some low post scoring. I think they could have. I, I definitely that, no, no. I, I agree. I think they could have done a better job. My question to you and Doug after, is: after, the, after Doug. the 19 season, when they when they got swept by one of the main reasons why they lost because they didn't really have in, they didn't really have anything going on in the post. Yeah. They and needed, they, okay, they, so, they, okay, they relied so primarily on. Somebody, somebody, and don't get me wrong. You are and supposed it, to rely not, on your bed. Yeah, yeah, my no, bad, Joe. It, it's not even just what you're saying, though. Like, they, it, it's not even just one piece that they fucking needed. They had a terrible crew, like, constructed to build a team to win. Now, could that team be good enough to, like, win games in the regular season? Sure. But they needed some low post scoring. They need some low post defending. They need some okay. defending. Well, they need they never, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They needed, Think wait, about wait, this. Wait, 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 wait. They needed a better second option because I don't give a fuck what y'all say. CJ McCollum is not a second option to a championship unit. Okay, so they hold on. But let me but that's okay, on, let me that's on the game. So, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So they never, hold on, hold on. So they would have kept CJ and they would have never lost Albridge, who was a 20 and 10 guy, and they would have stayed together. Would they have been good enough to beat the Warriors? We don't know that, it but I, I do. I, 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 hold on. Do you think? Hold on, Mars. Do you think they could beat the Warriors, Ron? Uh -huh. Do you think the Marcus Aldridge and Damon them could have beat the Golden State Warriors with KD on the roster? I'm oh, with or without him. I'm talking no. about the same no. team that got swept. <laughs> Fuck no. Nah, they're right. not so hold on, hold on. I'm giving you a 20 and 10 big man that can score in the post, and Bob is saying, hell no, he still couldn't have won. Without KD, that's because it's KD and Steph. It's not, that's nothing to do with Dame. Bro, that's, that's a KD top five Steph. team of all time. Dame never lost to the Warriors with KD. It has to, hold on. I didn't say that, Mars. That was Ticket's question. No, no, Mars, that was Ticket's question. I'm answering that particular question, Mars. But Mars, it has to do, Mars, check it out, Mars. It has to do, it has to do with Dame because guess what? If wow. you were to put if you were to put LeBron and KD there, them niggas wouldn't have said the same thing. Bro, and KD where? bro they're way it's better. better bro, it's, hold on, if you were to put LeBron James with LaMarcus Aldridge, you wouldn't have been asked. You wouldn't have been saying it. Oh, it's because of Stephen well, Clay. You would have been saying that. Damn it, LeBron James. That's LeBron James. That's what I'm saying. Hold on, hold on. That's hold on, Bob. That's my Bob. Listen, Bob. Listen, what I'm saying. Y'all, listen, what I'm coming from. That's my point. My my whole point is this. So it really didn't matter. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let, let, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. All about. Let, 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 no, this is what I'm saying. My point is this. this it really is. didn't matter. Hold on. My point is this. It really didn't matter who you had put around Dame at that time. He still wasn't going to be good enough, in my opinion, to beat the Warriors. Mm -hmm. He wasn't going to be good enough to beat LeBron James in the Miami Heat when they went to the finals. Right. So he so still wasn't going to so, still so, wasn't so, be able so, to win a trip. Which is fair, Ticket. So with that being said... Why are we slandering a dude who just ain't good enough? Because he, he enough. hold on, because he calling other dudes bums and chumps and saying you ain't doing it my way. That's like if I come here every day and talk shit about you because of how you do it, Chill Town, and then yeah. I start doing it the you same way do you do it. Hey, hold on, ticket, hold on. We we I, I we gotta stop this, bro. We can't we can't we can't get well, mad at Dame. We, can, we, can, we can't get mad at mad at Dame because a couple a couple days it's three hundred sixty five days in the year. We can't get mad at Dame because three days of those years he got a little Twitter fingers. You so know so let me ask you a question, okay, Bob. Let me ask you a question. For a couple let days. me ask you a question, Bob. Like, you, cut, man, Bob, I can, I, Bob, I can tell you every day. That you that you you a piece of shit for robbing banks and all this other stuff, and then tomorrow you I go, go rob a bank and it's not cool. No, I'm just saying. No, 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 I'm just saying. Ticket, you you you've already said you've already said an analogy. You, you told you told you told me you told me like right. the porn star analogy and stuff, which I'm not gonna stop doing. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> let me stay focused, but I stay focused. So you you once again you said that if I come in here every day, but what 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 Dame what Dame said was not egregious. Ticket, he a, he made a couple statements. Yeah, he shouldn't have said he he shouldn't have said that. 
whatever he said it. But but Dame Dame Damon's earned it, bro. Dame Damon's Damon's earned the right to. I don't to think he's earned it. Bro. I don't I think mean, he's you don't, you don't, you you don't think he has ticket, but once again, like, 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 like I've said before, this ain't overseas. You want you want you want you want you want a guy you want a guy to suffer for eighty percent of his career. Hold on, no, no, no. I'm asking a question. No, hold on. How was he? Hold on, Ron. Let me ask you a question, Ron. How was Dame suffering when he collecting two hundred million dollar checks? He still when he got money. Hold on, hold on. I'm not finished yet. Hold on, I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet. Hold on, hold on. I'm not finished yet. Hold on. I wasn't finished. Hold on. I wasn't finished either. No, all I'm saying is this. All I'm saying is this. If Dane didn't just come to this conclusion, he'd been there 11 years. He had, he known two years ago when Dane had an option to opt out and leave, he took the money and stayed. Okay. Yo, fellas, we got to move on. Let's I'm get it, run. End on this point. The Blazers out of pocket and Dane out of pocket. Facts. They both put themselves in, a, in this position. Keep it 100, Ron. They asses whooped. Keep it 100, Ron. And that's that. This could get, this could get ugly. Now, now, hey, respect that. Hold on. I can respect what he just said. It's on both sides. But everybody just saying it's Portland side? No. -uh. Because we seen Portland have championship rosters, and we can't say they're a trash organization. That was 30 and I forgot, years ago, I, tell, I forgot to tell you about when they had Rasheed, Scotty, and all them other dudes. That I was a championship that. roster. I did, I did not forget that. It was in the Western Conference That was almost 20 years I'm not whipped down. I was in the almost 20 years ago. I was in the fifth grade, Chilton. I was in the fifth no, I'm saying, no, no, but I'm saying I'm not with tearing down reputable organizations because, I, like I told Chilltown, they've shown us over every single decade that they have put together championship-level rosters. They did it with Bill Walton. Then they came back and did it with Clyde Drexler. Then they came back and did it with Rasheed Wallace, and, and, when they, and they went and, and acquired Scotty Pippen. they dropped Spotty the ball Pippen. with Dame. And hold on, hold on. Dropped no. the ball with Dame. Who dropped the ball? They, they, they did it for 50 years, and then Dame came around, and they just forgot how to do it. No, no, they, they didn't. Come on, they didn't. Hold on. They, hold on. They didn't. Hold on. They didn't they do didn't. it with Dame. Because, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because, when, hold on. They drafted. Hold on. Evan Turner. They drafted. No, no, you're not hearing me. Oh, you're not hearing me. They, they drafted. Hey, they drafted. Hill, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Because hey, he was balling. Look it up. Based, hold on. Based on the they drafted. Cooking Golden State. Hey, hold on. They right. Oh, hold on, Doug. Doug. They drafted bad Dame. Bad they drafted Dame to play with Lamarcus Aldridge. That was supposed to be the next duo after Let Brandon Lamarcus Roy got hurt. He ran Aldridge off. Hold on, but chill, Damn. chill. No, he didn't run. He didn't run Lamarcus Aldridge off. No, he didn't. He didn't. He did. He did. Chill, chill. Lamarcus Aldridge came out instead. Chill. Lamarcus Aldridge came out instead. No quality. No quality organization would have let that go down. They did. Like, hold on, he was an unrestricted free agent. To let him just walk out the front door like that. He walked um, here. Remember, Lou, 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 Lou told me to tell you remember, guys the that late, he agrees the late with Tiki. Remember, the late break Kobe was in Brian and them. They were trying to get a hold of the late. Say that again, Mars. Legend of losing is on Tiki. Hold up, hold up. Mars has an important message. Say it. Start from the top, Legend. The legend of losing is on Ticket's side of this whole conversation. He told me to. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I mean, Ticket and Low. Ticket and Low can be wrong at the same time. Y'all trying to fight against Mars, Ticket and Low? Man, that ain't gonna happen. Oh, hey, Chill Town putting up a good fight. I ain't gonna lie. To you, but, but, and, and Dub, he Dub, my boy, man. Man, bro, call the dude accountable, bro, because you're gonna do it in Miami. As soon as he don't come up big in Miami, he's gonna be on here with Mars, gonna open the him, him the and down. That's the thing. That's the thing, right? In a scenario where I don't even expect him to get it done, and Mars lied about some stats earlier. We'll talk about it later when the Super Never said any stats, so that's what you uh, uh, Not stats, but just the concept. Um, mm -hmm. When. If Damian Lillard, and I do agree with you with this sense where there's no excuse. There is no excuse if Dame does not perform well with the Miami Heat. And he's put that standard on himself. And if he does not perform to what I think he should be performing, we need to hold him to that standard 100%. But you're penalizing him being on a shit crew, on a shit unit, on the Portland Trailblazers. It's like, come on, bro. Like, How's it, hold on. How was his shit? They always winning 50 games. They were one of the better teams in the Western Conference every year. You hold on, you acting like hold on, hold on, hold on one second, Doug. You I acting like hold on, Doug. You're acting, Doug. You're acting like they were Sacramento Kings for the last 15 years. Hold on, you had the Sacramento Kings for the last 15 years. They were, a team, they were a team. They were a team that could sit here and compete in the regular season, but in the postseason because their defense was so fucking shit every and year. Who was the leader? Who was the leader in that? I think it was like bottom five. Who was the leader in that? Dave, Dave. No, no, Dame. So, oh, so you said you said CJ all first, right? You said CJ first, right? Dame, CJ, Nurkic, they yeah. were all not great right, defenders. Dame. All none of them were. They were all getting cooked. Who was it? Hold on, <laughs> Doug. Who was the great defenders with LeBron in 2018? Who was the great defenders with LeBron James when he went to the finals when he was a kid? Look, Dame's not LeBron. Dame is not LeBron. I'm sorry. You want to hold that standard to get a gotcha moment? Dame is not LeBron. No, I'm saying Dame I'm holding. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Doug. The reason why I'm saying that is because when LeBron James took that team to the finals. He wasn't the number one player in the world. He was Dame top 10. He's not he was, LeBron. 
You're not hearing me, bro. No, you're Dave not hearing me. I got to scream it louder for you so maybe you can hear some more. Dave <laughs> is not LeBron. Is he top 10? He's top 10. He's not. Does every, hold on. Let me hold on, hold on. Hold on one second. Does every other player in the top 10 elevate their teams? Luka does the most part. Hold on, right. Hold on. See? Now that's when you're gonna get your ass destroyed, messing with oh me. Every God. other hold on, hold on, hold on, Ron. We hold every other player in the top ten in the world right now to the responsibility of carrying their team. Giannis gotta carry his. Jokic gotta do that. They're Mar all uh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh LeBron gotta do that. Steph They're Curry. All better. They're all, all better. Dudes, all the top ten. No, no, I'm saying, but we, so Dame shouldn't be in the top ten then. Fellas, fellas. Go ahead, Ron. We must move on. I, ha I have an assortment of super chats that turn I gotta get down. to. Turn your mic look. down. Uh, turn my mic down. No, not you. Dub turned his mic down. I'm sorry. Yeah, it keeps it keeps How adjusting you, because you. I'm yelling. I Go gotta ahead, take Ron, that I'm setting sorry. off. Go ahead, Ron. I'm sorry. Dub, you good? Stop yelling. Just stop yelling. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah, good advice. Good advice. All right, as you saying, right, Ron, right, right from the top. You, you you know how we gonna do it. Kawhi the God. Where's Mookie when you need him? He said, when is Ticket TV going to criticize Jimmy for taking part in recruiting Dame and wanting the team up? <laughs> Just like he went hard on Curry for helping recruit KD, he is very selective. No, I'm not. If you was here last show, which I'm sure you weren't, I was. I talked about that last show, Janet Jackass. I talked about how I don't rock with Jimmy no more because of what he did. Himbo Slice. Now shut your stupid ass up, nigga, and go check the tape from yesterday. I told I told Chill Town that. I said, yo, chill. I ain't rocking with Jimmy no more because of that. Period. Those That's the first thing I said when I came in. Those were his exact words. He said Stop lying, exact nigga. Y'all niggas some hoes, but thanks for the $20, you bum ass nigga. Now let's keep going. Yo, you ain't got to violate him like that. He violated me? <laughs> <laughs> That's violation? Uh, shout yeah, out you lost somebody. That's a violation, H30. Shout out to Paul <laughs> Nierin Kendi. Just say Paul. Just say Paul. Just say Shout Paul. Out Paul. Yeah. Welcome to the show, brother. It get a little. It get ugly around here from time to time. So, Huncho Dre said Dame averaged thirty one and eight that series. Garbage time point. By the way, garbage yeah, time point. are just same points in a series. Right. They just say anything. They they ain't watch the game. Uh uh uh. Ron, it's garbage time points. <laughs> So why 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 y'all why y'all two all, always allowed to yell out stats when somebody no, else? We, no, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, what is what is this? Is is this players' choice or players' stats? That's what I'm saying. I've been hearing nothing but numbers, and when somebody else brings up some numbers, y'all talking about y'all want to add context to it. And I haven't said the number the whole time. I haven't said the right. number the whole time. So. Sorry, Bob. Right. Tell them why you mad, Bob. Why am I mad? Because, 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 because this, this is this is that I would have loved to have gotten back to. Unfortunately, you weren't able to because it got ugly. That's why. You said you said tell him why I'm mad. You said you said you said tell him why I'm mad. I'm mad because I'm mad because we've gone on four days of hating on Demi and Lillard. He was hating on Paul George. Dream League corner. He was hating on Paul George. Hating on hating on Demi. Hating on hating on Demi and Lillard. Hating on hating on Demi and Lillard is a bad look. It's a bad look. So chill. Okay, I take that. It's bad that I'm hating on Dame, right? But when Dame was hate when Dame was hating on LeBron, talking about how they did Russ dirty. Dame ain't nobody got nothing to say about that. When he was hating on KD, saying he was a clown for going to the Warriors, ain't nobody ain't nobody mad about that. When he was hating on Paul George for leaving, huh? He was a clown. He didn't. He didn't. No, no, he didn't hate on Paul George. He responded to Paul George. He responded. He called Paul George. Hold on, right? He called Paul George. No, no, and he told him to. He told him to. He did that. He did that only because only because Paul George comments on his shot. When Paul George sent them dudes home, Paul George thought the whole summer was saying that was a bad shot. He was he responded to that. Right, hold on. You're right. Which, and he said, which it was. Which, it was. which I mean, said, if we're going to hey, 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 chill, was. chill. I heard you, chill. chill. I heard you say multiple times. It's a bad. If it goes in, it can't be that much of a bad shot. Right. <laughs> no. Right. That was it was. So. Hey, you heard me wrong. You was right about that. I, I watched that the other day, but that, that, he was actually playing pretty pretty solid. He did step up. I was wrong the whole time. Who? Paul George on that last shot. Remember, remember you and Mike was was telling me he was oh, all over he, him. Oh yeah. I was like, yeah. Remember, I, remember, I was like, why was he so far back? Because Dame could have attacked him, and y'all was like, he no. stepped up. I was like, nah, hell no, nah, he didn't. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 was, it was a terrible. He did. He did. Like, it was Paul a George. Paul George. I, Paul I, George. I, I can't, I can't say the terrible. I can't say the terrible shot when he was shooting forty percent from that distance in that series. I can't say the terrible shot when he went in. You know what's thirty? I'm happy you brought that up because I didn't. I didn't even remember that. That's how all that started. And if you to bring it up, that's you right. That was just the response. So here we go again with this gossip column shit, bro. 
Not guys, that's what he said. Size thirty three from thirty seven. Hey Bob, break, let that hate shine out your heart, brother. That's not guys. So that's what he said. Hey, if he if he misses that shot, not just that shot in that particular situation, he had shots like that during the series. But 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 he didn't make a bunch of shots like that. You know, you know what I mean? But he Hill, didn't, he didn't make many, a bunch of shots like that. But, but he, Hill, missed many, more, many, he missed more shots like that than he made. It's just so happy. Yeah, every, 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 made, every great player does. Right? Every great player it, does. It, but it I'm so asking you, Chill. That shot that he made, it went in for the series. That's why it looked a lot better. No, but Chill, I'm asking you, how many how many game-winning shots that you've seen great players take they don't typically make? Kobe hit a game with a one set, a, a game with a three-point floater above weight. Like, come on, bro. Do um, Leo, your boy LeBron James sent the Wizards in an overtime with a fadeaway sideline three. Like it just happened. No, you have, yeah, a, the one you that have great moments. Yeah, that's not a good shot either. I mean, hey, no, hey, it's a bad choice. You still point. get credit for making it. One hundred percent. Yeah, that's the point. You, he, he gets the credit for making it. No one's saying take away the thirty. Doesn't take away bad choice. I don't care if it's Steph. I don't care if it's Jesus Shuttlesworth. I don't give a damn if it's Michael Jordan from Space Jam. That was a dumbass shot, <laughs> but he made it. <laughs> and Curry did make a shot like that. But not it went in. So, hey, hey, actually, what shot was crazier? That shot from Dame or the game winner from Steph against OKC? Dame. Dame. Hey, uh, no, I remember that. No, I remember the OKC yeah. game. The OKC game was going back hey, and forth. I don't hey, know. First, first and hey, foremost, Ron. Hey. First and foremost, Ron. Golden State was on a run at that point, right? Go yeah. Oklahoma City was falling apart. KD Dame and Lillard. Out. Not not only did he foul out, Steph Curry was in rhythm. Right, so that was in transition, which is where Steph Curry is awesome, and the clock was running out. That wasn't a terrible shot for him. Mm. Damian Lillard, on the other hand, I'll take that shot over Steph. I'll take that shot from Steph Curry over Damian Lillard every day. Chill. I don't know if that's a testament to to, um, to Steph greatness when you say a, tra a transition three from half court is in rhythm. That's great. Well, it, first of all, it wasn't half court. It was two steps above half court. It was it, it, it was around thirty five feet, but the <laughs> clock was running out. And hey, Bob. That's who. That's who Steph Curry is. He's shooting from thirty feet. That it is. So to five feet back, that's two steps. That's Curry, and that's stuff that he practices anyway. Hey, so but, hey, but, I'm, but, this is my last question. Real quick, real, real quick, ticket. But for 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 Damian Lillard to at that point, if I'm not mistaken, to have a first team All League defender on you, who 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 you got, you got a considerable height, who has a considerable height advantage over you, and to make that shot, I mean, to take that shot. As opposed to Steph Curry in transition, and nobody picked him up. By the way, he basically walked up the sideline and cracked the three because nobody expected him to shoot that and make it. Damian Lillard, on the other hand, going up against Paul George, who at six foot nine and is an All League defender, all over you to win the game. I'm going with Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. And on hey. top of that, ticket. And, and, and on top of that, I just never. And, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna end how I feel about this. I never thought that Cur I, I never thought I never held Damian Lillard in that regard. As but good on, as he that was, was my, that's my I hold on. That's my question. Hold on, that but that's regard. my question to you and Bob. My question to you and Bob is: Is this? Is that? Is that the reason why y'all think that we shouldn't criticize Dame as much? As far as, for example, how how Giannis put up thirty eight and whatever, and he got slammed for losing to Miami. He missed half the series, and he got slammed. They, I mean, lo I mean, Dub came in here too, cooking on Giannis and them boys. And, and and Giannis only played half the series, mm -hmm. so I, I'm just saying. So and he and he balled. He had a triple double the first game, and then the next game came back and had 38 and 20, and they they destroyed this dude, right? And we all pretty much knew he wasn't the reason why they lost, but they put the meal on him. The same thing with Jokic. All those years Jokic was losing when Murray was hurt. Jokic was losing the first round. Jokic was balling right or wrong. Correct. Jokic. Jokic got all the criticism. All I'm saying is to y'all, Dane didn't never get that criticism. And so my question to Bob is this. So if Bob got a player right over there right now on his favorite team, the Sacramento King, and his name is De'Aaron Fox. Well, De'Aaron Fox has been in the league for, what, six years now, right, Bob? Six, yeah. seven years, right? Yeah. Now, all of, now, up until now, this was his best team. Do you think it's a championship roster team he got on him? Not yet, no. So if he, hold on. So if he walks away in four, in four or five years after they have – Tried to put this team around him because you saying this team ain't even no championship roster team, even though you thought know. before the playoffs they were. Even if I never, before I the never playoffs, said that. I swear I never said. No, that. You said y'all was going to the finals. You did say that. You said y'all was going to the finals. I don't. I don't think this is a championship level team. I've said no, I'm saying, but you said, no. I'm saying. Hold on. But this is facts. You said before the playoffs we going to the finals. We are going to beat the Warriors. We going to the finals. That's what you said before the playoffs. Okay, but I've never. I never thought this was a championship level. Team. So you said. Oh, so you no, was just no. trolling. You was trolling. You was trolling. 
not troll, not really trolling, but I'm just I was I was trying to find angles for a way that my team could make it. Yeah, yeah I was I was definitely. Oh, okay, okay, that's okay. No, no, I didn't know. Hold on, I didn't know if you were serious or not. So you I don't know. I was I'm, I'm, I was serious. I'm never trolling. I was just saying that. Okay. I, I think I think we could pull it out. I, I think. We so you hold on. So you right, right, hold on. So you really hold on. So you hold on. So you hold on. So think about this, chill town. You really thought that De'Aaron Fox, who is three or four levels uh, below Dame Dollar, you really yeah, thought that him with this team? Hold on. Yes, hold on. Yes, he is. Okay, you really ahead, thought De'Aaron? Fo hold on. You really thought De'Aaron Fox with this team, who you say won a championship level team, you still thought y'all could win it? I, and you critic, hold on, and you criticize. I never, I, there was no, hold on, 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 hold and so still dropped 31 of them games. And he talked all that shit about, and he held De'Aaron Fox accountable for them losing and said he didn't show up and all that other shit, right? I, but I, said, said, I, said, said, that last, I said that last possession against the Warriors was weak as We heard Mars. We heard what he said, He should have been in attack mode instead of, so, instead so, of relying so, on Harrison Barnes to make so, that so, shit. So, this is Mars. This is Mars. I mean, I'll mean, do this with you. I'll do this with you. No, 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 no. I'm saying Bob, Bob, Bob. This is why. I know what I said. I know what I mean. This is why I say. But Bob, you my Bob. As my brother, this is why I say y'all hypocrites. Hold on. get up in the field position. You just said you thought they could win the chip with this team. But you said you never said that ticket. You said before the playoffs, you said y'all was going all the way. All right, bro. Did, did he not say that, uh, uh, Mars? Did he not say what that I the said, what I, was going all what the way? I, what I said, what I said from the jump, I said, I, I said, be when the season, when the when the uh, series, the season was going on, I said we could get to the to the six seed. Then I said we could get to the three seed. <laughs> then yeah, I was I was hyping it like, yo, we we could win the Western Conference Finals. It, we we can get to the Western Conference Finals if this happens. This happens. We play this team, and these are the reasons why I'm like, yo, we could pull it out. Yeah, I did that. I I, I sat up here with y'all and talked hoop like we do. I'm like, there there is a way it could happen. But did, did do I think we're ready to win a championship? I've said Ooh. over ten times, no. No, right, so your you opinion changed team. after the playoffs. Okay, cool, no problem. Oh man, where is Ron? He's such where a. Where what, what happened yo, to Ron? Yo, what are Dub, we doing? Dub, just, Dub, just, just read some super. <laughs> yes, get up, get up yes, yes. Host, no, what we got, Dub? Uh, uh, Dub caught so many L hosts that he went members only. We can't hear you. Yeah, Mike, bro. This is why you get the L hosts. You no, you got you got to talk in the front of it, Dub. It keeps it keeps it keeps lowering the volume, bro. This shit is annoying. Y'all hear me now? I'm just saying, my man, my man Preston said, if you talk on the side of it, it's gonna do that. You got to talk into it. A word like this. Yeah, like to the front. Oh, oh, like this. Yeah, yes. I know. I know. It's, you know, yeah. pause or whatever. But you know, yeah. oh, okay, speaking to the speaking to the mic, man. Dub <laughs> that he went. No, bro. Dub, do you want me to read super chat? Mars, you read. You read that shit. You read that shit. Big Zubba yeah. said, "Dub caught so many L hosts that he went members only." The Adam Twenty Two of PC. That's crazy. The funny thing is, like, I don't make any of those decisions. We can't hit Dub. I'm just gonna read the super chats. We can't. I don't make. Hey, Dub, rubbing the. Hey, Dub, why are you rubbing the mic like? <laughs> hey, ticket, chill out, yo. You wow. <laughs> ticket, <laughs> wow, right <laughs> now. Yeah, just, you know, Dub, That's how he you... is caressing. He is caressing the mic. What are we doing, yo? <laughs> yeah, what are we doing right now? That's how you turn up the volume. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. W, good. So do you still need me? I don't want to tell you. Jesus Christ. Mars, take care of that, bro. Yeah, we can't hit Dub. So, um, yes. you hear me now? Y'all hear me now? Yeah, 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 for a couple of seconds. Okay. No, no, I'm not reading. I just gotta address that chat. Never mind. Uh, oh, no, oh my god. Hell Shout man. out to Muddy Man three times for becoming a member. Shout out to you. Welcome to the party, brother. Welcome to the party. Um Ruger Reds came back and not about Lenny Cook this time. He said McDice was better than Zebo and Elton Brands. No, he Ooh. wasn't. Yeah, I don't agree with that either. Um, J Dot said, Who do you guys think are the greatest players that may not have many accolades but have just straight talent? I'm thinking of someone like Kyrie. So, who's Jamal the most Murray? players of all time? Mm -hmm. Jamal Murray, Jamal Murray, just, just, just strictly off like this dude, he, he got game, like he just Jamal nice. Murray. You're, Murray. Going, to, Jamal, you're, going, you're going to a park, you're going to a park, yeah, no NBA game. Who's your first pick, Murray? T Mac. I'm talking about a dude that can break you down. He can do everything. Murray is nasty, bro. 
Murray got just, all the hand one moves. He got the handles, chill town. He got the pull up. He got the hezzy. He got the step back. He got, all he got the spins. Hey, Mur hey, yo, chill. We don't give Murray enough credit for how nasty his game is, chill. And chill, he was doing this back in the bubble when he was, remember when he was giving giving it to, um. Towards, towards the up, he was on his way. He was on his yo, way to doing something yo, 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 chill, He was giving it to, um, who, who was that? Uh, Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell. Yeah, oh, Donovan he was Mitchell. serving. Bro, he put, put Donovan on Mitchell on him. Bro. I think he put 50 twice on him. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, he Murray put 50 nasty, twice bro. on him. 100% that, he did. That, that's crazy, bro. He, yeah, he, he put 50 twice on him. Um, Tracy McGrady. Uh, just, just guys that's just nice, right? Like, you look at this dude and you be like, yo, this this dude game is nice. Tracy no, but he McGrady said don't got the those. accolades. He said don't got the accolades. But I don't mm. think it means just have no accolades. I think it's just right. take, acc take accolades off the table. Who are the Which most I skilled hate, players the ever? Just I, who are the I, most I, skilled I, players? I, 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 Kobe, I, I, yes, Boris uh, Diaw, Brian. Oh, oh, okay. We talking like Brian. that. Y'all know what it is. Yeah, Patino, Brian. Patino Mobley, Kyrie. Uh, uh, I'm gonna tell y'all somebody, else who, was nasty. I'm gonna tell somebody else who was nasty who we never got to see. Ginobili. We never right, really got to see the real. Preach, we never got to see the real Ginobili because Pop kind of held. Hey, Ginobili was. Disgusting. You think he held him? You think he held him back? Oh, the the, oh, the, oh, the crossovers with Ginobili. They clapped it once. When I say he was a top five shooting guard, you talked about me like a dog. Bro, you said it all time. You said it all time, and I disagreed <laughs> with that. But I have him borderline top ten. Hey, hey, in the hey, top 10 hey, the hey field town. The trickery, everything's in Because Pop even said Ginobili could have went and been a starter, been like a 24, 25 point per game guy in the league, and went on to get all those accolades. But he asked him to come off the bench. Ginobili I was think, a I think monster, Ginobili bro. was the third best shooting guard in the league for a stretch. It was Kobe, bro, Wade, was and then Ginobili, in my opinion. It was a, there was a there was a conversation if you, if we guys remember in the Olympics where you know who's the best shooting guard in the league Ginobili is he better than Dwayne Wade Dwayne Wade put a rest he put that he put that to rest but that was a conversation and he had and, and he had bunnies remember he was on the dunk video oh, he'll punch it on you he'll punch it on you he'll punch remember, it on you 100%. did you watch a, did you watch a dunks uh, DVD back in the day chill. I did. Yes, I did. No, he was on that. He was on that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he was. Y'all can, can, can say what y'all want. There was, there was there was a few. There was a year or two in there where I'll take Ginobili over D Wade. Y'all can say mm. what y'all want. I don't know about D Wade, but other than D Wade and Kobe, give me Ginobili. I'm not gonna go that far. Ray but there was, there was, I, I, there was I, I, maybe I, I, a year or two. I see myself taking Manu. I will say this. You don't think he was I mean, we no, no, no. That's what I was about to say. I want to make sure we clear. Ginobili headed the Argentina national team. To the gold medal, I want to make sure we clear on that. They won a the gold his medal. Accomplishment. That's his greatest just, accomplishment. Just so you guys know, this is when this is when USA was 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 in transition. They won the gold medal with Ginobili as their best player. That's where this mm. whole conversation came from. So it wasn't like Ginobili was just good. Nah, he was awesome. Now he was playing starter minutes. And he and, and and Pop had to turn him loose in that system. Don't get me. It wasn't like he was just holding the ball over his head, throwing the ball to Tim Duncan. No, they were looking for him in transition. They were running plays for him throughout that offense. There's a reason why he was as awesome as he was, because he fit that system. We might not know what Ginobili looked like if he played for the Nets or for Toronto. He might he might have just been like a dude who was superiorly who was superiorly talented. But in terms of his 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 team accomplishments, I think he fit perfect with that San Antonio. Hey, was Louis Scola on that team? Louis Scola was Louis on that He was nasty too, bro. Mm -hmm. Louis Scola was on that unit too. Mm -hmm. yeah, Do y'all hear me now? Yeah. And people yeah, discount, and, and a lot of people discount, which another advantage that Ginobili had, which James Harden has too, people discount how difficult it is to cover dudes that's left-handed. And and, yeah, and guys, guys like Katino Mobley were like that as well. Like yes, like Nick Van Exel will just be a yes. Nasty. I mean yes, very crafty, and it's very difficult to cover a dude left-handed because as a right-hander, as a right-hander, we got to do everything the opposite way, and that's hard to do. And Steve Ginobili was a hard cover too, chill. See the franchise. Was very left. Ginobili was very left-handed. Very. That's what that's what we call it in basketball. Very left-handed. No, the ball didn't really touch his right hand a lot. But he was able to get by guys. He had a really good mid-range game. Could knock down the long ball. Ginobili was absolutely that dude. I, I, need, I need you to have a final MVP. Y'all ain't rock with the franchise, rock with the franchise Bob? Hell yeah. I, nah, I did. That's why I, 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 I said shout out franchise. Uh, I, I, I heard kill. you. That's why I said that. He was the only dude I know that could cross through up for like five minutes and then still go get a bucket in the same possession. <laughs> hey, <laughs> do y'all hear me now? Yeah, you remember that chill town? Like chill town, he'll break you down, bing, 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 and then throw an alley oop to Catino or something like that. Was crazy, bro. Or throw an alley oop to himself, throwing the ball off the glass. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, yeah, he was. That was crazy. Mars, you, hold on for a second, Ron. Mars, you, you, you think Ginobili should have won that Finals MVP in 07? 05, 05, no. 07. You think he should have won it in 05 yes. over Duncan? 
Yes. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Yes. Absolutely. I think. I. I, I think yes. Duncan going up against that. Genovely changed that series. They, the the Detroit Pistons defense couldn't do anything with Ginobili. They were they were very regimented half court style right. defense. Ginobili broke that apart. He was the game changer in that series. I think so, game game two of that series where Ginobili mm-hmm. just closed it down the stretch. Right. Mars, is, 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 is it fair to say? Is it fair to say that Manu, um, yeah, Manu could potentially, or in an alternate universe, should have two Finals MVPs then, five and seven. Oh seven. I mean, I think it's hard to say Manu Ginobili deserved oh seven because I think Tony Parker in that series was a difference maker, yeah. and also Tim Duncan defensively in that series was key. But oh five to me. The fact that he didn't win it, going back mm-hmm. and watching it, to me, he was the biggest game changer in this series. Because I can appreciate your Tim logic. Duncan was Tim Duncan was dealing with. I think he had plantar fasciitis at that time. His his foot was on hundred. Yes, he was. Mm-hmm. He just came back from injury in the regular season. He wasn't hundred percent at all. So mm-hmm. Rashid Wallace and Ben Wallace were doing a good job on him. He wasn't scoring at a great level. Defensively, right. he was still good protecting the rim, mm-hmm. but offensively, Manu Ginobili is the one who changed that series. They could not handle him in the half court in transition. Mm-hmm. His playmaking, being able to beat guys like Tayshawn Prince off the dribble, collapse the defense. Manu Ginobili was different in that series. That, at that and, point, and, it was Kobe, <clears throat> Manu Ginobili, in my opinion. which is which, which is fair. But if you remember, if you remember, Mars, as 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 beat up as Tim Duncan was, and as tough as that defense was. Tim Duncan still led the series in scoring and rebounding. And defensively, he was the difference in what they were doing. Because if you consider how collectively that Detroit Pistons team scored, Ginobili, not, G- Ginobili he wasn't, I don't think, I don't think Ginobili was a liability on defense. But that team defensively was anchored by Tim Duncan. By Tim Duncan, 100%. He, it was anchored, and particularly in the NBA Finals, where we have 79 to 73 games. where we, And it's not just because... Richard Hamilton isn't hitting his shots because Tim Duncan almost it's almost like Deion Sanders as a as a cornerback. Tim Duncan basically cut the floor in half. Like whatever's going on in here ain't going on here. And that made it really difficult for them to score. So when you talk about the finals MVP, I can appreciate your logic about uh Ginobili being a difference maker, but the ultimate difference maker, specifically on the defensive end of the floor, mm-hmm. was Tim Duncan. That's why he won, that's why he won the, the finals MVP. I understand why he won it. And I'm not like saying, oh, it was a robbery, it's a travesty. Right. But when I'm when I'm watching back that series, Tim Duncan, the, the offense still ran through Tim Duncan. He still right. got the most shots. It was still inside out. Ginobili was playing off Tim Duncan 100. But I think Tim Duncan was taking way more shots a game than Ginobili was. Ginobili mm-hmm. was second in the team in scoring. He probably had the most assists per game on the team as well. Mm-hmm. Um, his efficiency was much better than Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan wasn't really efficient in that series due to the fact that he had guys like Ben Wallace and Rasheed Wallace on him, and it made it difficult. Mm-hmm. But Manu Ginobili had Tayshawn Prince on him in his own right. That He was the guy who got Which Tayshawn Prince, cover. who Which was one of the best perimeter defenders in the league yes. at that time. And Manu Ginobili, respectfully to Tayshawn Prince, was cooking him. Tayshawn Prince could not deal with Manu Ginobili. He could Which not is- deal with him. Which is also strange to me too, Mars, because he got a lot of one-on-one coverage with Tayshawn Prince. Meanwhile, Duncan, on the other hand, was getting doubled. Mm-hmm. As much as as good as Ben Wallace was as a defender, as good as Rasheed Wallace was as a defender, they made a concerted effort to jump Tim Duncan when he got on the block or when he got into his when he got into his spots. I didn't understand why Detroit, particularly in transition, were not trying to get we're not trying to get Ginobili slowed down like the pickup points weren't weren't quicker because when, once he got ahead of steam like when he got in front of when, once he got in front of Tayshawn Prince he was blowing his doors off I'm thinking to myself are you going to pick this guy up sooner cuz once he got past half court he was gone Larry at that point Larry, Larry had to feel like you know what if, if Manu has to beat us I'm not going to let Tim take take over had to that type of mindset to, to Manu in transition Manu in transition at that time oh my there wasn't anything you could do. If you cut him off, he has counters. Euro, like. And maybe I overreacted when I said he was the second best to Kobe in 05. Maybe. maybe. But no, you didn't overreact. Oh, no, 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 It was a, it was yeah, was a legit man. conversation, Mo. It, 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 it was a legit... Because we're talking about Dwayne Wade in 05 at that point. He was only in a year in league. He was only in, in, in year two. And and I think Ginobili, who was also playing professionally, and I believe in South America, he was a little bit more polished at that point as a pro. So yeah, it was a conversation. Was remember, yes. the Miami could have made the finals in 05 if D. They should have made the finals. Wade got hurt in game so, five. I mean, he got hurt. I'm 2A, 2B. Manager Nobi and D. Wade, were the, after Kobe, it was them two. And I'm 100% yeah. certain of that. So That's I will fair. say that. Maybe I did overreach a little bit saying he was just number two. But Manager Nobi was the number three or 2B. Well, I'll, I'll overreach for you then, Mars. Manu was number two. 
Can can you guys hear me now or no? You hot. You hot. Hello, dog. I got to address, address that fucking idiot in the super chat that said about the Adam 22 shit. Number one, oh my God. I'm on the panel. I'm not even a host. Ron is the host. And the show's I host is not members only. So you pulling up that dumb shit, you just show that you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, number one. And yeah, that's not even my decision. I'll make decisions like that, like members only. But salute to Go ahead. You. Hey, Ron, your mic, uh, Doug. Oh, Look, nice. bro. Oh, nice. My mic is wrong again. Hell, Mike. Hey, oh, no, stop dude. pressing that mic like that, bro. <laughs> that, that's, 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 that's the volume. Dub, just change the angle of it. Face it towards you. You hear me now? <laughs> Man, you might as well just. I, I don't think it's gonna make a difference. I'm not gonna. You might as well just put it. You might as well just put it in your mouth, Dub. Pause. No comment. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> to answer that, to answer that super chat, yes, it, it was it was a it was a real it was a legit conversation that Manu Ginobili was better than Ray Allen. Yes. Yeah, Manu, I'm taking Manu in his prime over Ray Allen. It was a like, real at, conversation at that time. So like Manu's prime, like 05 to like you could go to mm -hmm. 2012, but like the Mars, late 2000s, know, I'm taking right. Manu. Ginobili. I don't know, Mars. I gotta stop right there. I don't know. That's kind of tight. Ray Allen in his prime. No, G no, 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 no. no, I'm not saying, I, I'm not saying, saying Ray Allen in his prime. I'm saying Manu Ginobili when he was in his prime and Ray Allen during those years. So like 05 to like Oh, oh, right. okay. No, 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 no. no, 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 no
Because it's mm. not hard to shoot 12 yeah, Okay, yeah, like, but, so hey, anyone hey, can, Ron, anyone hey, can you, get hey, behind Ron, three right, Buddy Hill shoots in the game, bro. Well, no Buddy Hill shoots in the game. So what do you... What are you talking I'm about, Mark? I'm trying to figure the out ability, the ability to get yourself twelve good looks from three in a game is Ray not can do easy it. to do. Steph doesn't get it's twelve good looks though. Steph, Steph shoots the test of threes. They're only good looks for You'll be surprised how many of his threes are open. But a lot of that's due to the offense though, too. A lot of that's due to his ability to move. A lot of that's due to Draymond. A lot of that was due to Andre Iguodala's ability to play make. A lot of that was due to. It's Ray Thompson, his ability to how, how Chill just said, when you have another right. guy that can right. Mars, the floor and, as well. And, and, and Ray, Ray did that great too, Mars, moving without the he ball. He did, 100%. That's so what I'm saying is 12. Ray would get people attempts people up don't... in this era. I'm just saying, there's a reason people no don't... one else other than James Harden is matching Steph Curry's attempts because it's because, not easy because, to get that because many threes. Because, Mars, Mars, you're oh, not, right. they're not shooting 12 threes a game because it's hard to shoot 12, 12 13 threes it's a game. It's hard to get yourself they're not, 12 they're not, shoot, they're not shooting that many threes just because who would do that? Like, who, who would a run lot around of, shooting, a lot of who would run around shooting good, 13 though. threes a game? Yeah, that's the point because you can't you can't get 12 just good looks. for. You're not going to get 12 wide open uh, Matisse five Mars, but you're not going to be able to get that. Get wide open looks. That's my point. The, oh my god, you're not going to be able to get twelve wide open looks in a game. You can't right. do that. That's not possible. Right. For three. But Steph, Steph Curry, Curry is able to generate looks. looks that are beneficial for him that he is allowed to take because he makes them all at such a high clip. Mars, that's right. why what you're saying. So many. But but that's also just also what I'm trying to say is it's never a bad three for Steph ever. That's and why is that though? And why is no that? There's no such Ron? thing as a bad because shot for Steph. That's the point. And, and, and why is that, Ron? Because the reason it's Steph why Curry. It's, right. Ooh, well, not, not just I'm because it's Steph Curry, because of the shots that he oh, hits. Oh, you're saying, oh, I get it now. You're saying that somebody having the green light to take 12 threes a fucking game is insane. Well, here's the thing though, Dub. How yes, do you get the green light? To, you ain't being able everybody to doesn't have the green light. No one can do that. Right. Okay. Everybody oh, in the league doesn't you, have a green light. I thought you meant that. I thought, I thought you, you meant like it's not easy to be able to justify the stuff Steph is doing. You can't. Uh, I, I, like, the way you he, can't just say put someone uh, in this uh, era. Uh, they're taking uh, as many uh, as Steph. I understand that. Not, I, I no one's. That, no one is made. No one's justifying the shot Steph takes. No one in NBA history is going to be allowed to do the things that he does because no one can do what he does. You can't justify Ray Allen getting behind his back four times off balance shooting threes. No one can justify that. Only right. Steph is able to get this many attempts because he's the only one who can take these dumb shots. He's the only can, one. Can you justify Dame? Dame doesn't have this volume. He's at about oh, ten. Well, and he Dame, had yeah, eleven Dame's this the season. Dame's the closest it. thing to it. Dame is the closest yeah. thing to it. And then James Harden was taking a bunch, but he's dominating the ball like no one else. That's my it. Thing Dame, too, my, my Dame, thing too. And Steph. That's it. My thing too, though, Morris is. The different the different abilities of the game, like Ray could do other stuff. So I, I also I also do think some some of those shots that that Ray could have shot that he didn't was more so like uh, this I could I could get this off, but I'm gonna go to the rack. Like it's easier for me to get in here and you know dunk it. So, so I, I look at that too as other reasons why maybe Ray didn't shoot a lot a lot more shots too. Oh, so you it was Ray, it was just 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 a, this, to freeze more often. just just a different style of game, different style, different style of uh, play, different era. So I'm not saying yeah. Ray wouldn't go up like a double digit threes in this era. He 100 percent would. I'm just saying it's not just like oh any shoots is just gonna triple no. that volume. No, no, you have not, to justify not, not the shots you take. Yeah. Not any yeah. like Ray, Ray, Reggie, Steve Nash would probably get about eight or nine in this game. Mark Price would probably get about seven or eight. Larry Bird would probably take about six. You're Del saying Edison even in Del this, Del you're Del saying Del even in this era, even the double digit threes forward, doesn't just it come doesn't to matter. Everyone. It yeah, doesn't yeah. just that's not what happens unless Which you're like what? James Harden or Luka Doncic. Where no, you have that's a, a lot of shots. Possession. Be at the long ball line. Be that's you can't a lot like of not shot. anyone can generate that many good looks and justify the shots they're taking from threes. That's a lot Coaches of shots. Tell you at the long ball line. Threes if you're shooting a game, you're not Steph Curry. The game is played so fast. That's why the shots will come. They will come in regularity because how fast the game is played. The up and down. So you're, I mean, if he played for Mike D'Antoni, man, he getting that shit up. That's yeah. Ray, yeah Ray if he Mike does D'Antoni's play for Mike D'Antoni, yeah. about nine, 10 if he plays for Mike D'Antoni, no, he, he, might, he, he, might, he, he may, he may take twelve. He may take. Yeah, he pushing twelve in the late two thousands. Yeah, I don't care what era. I don't care no, what I don't era. Know about 12 I thought, and I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. I'm talking about oh, today's era. game. One hundred percent. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, Ray yeah. would get about twelve. Ray would get about twelve. Okay, he would still yeah. would shoot as well as Steph, but I think Ray could match Steph. I disagree. I disagree. 
he ain't, he ain't better stuff. <laughs> Yeah, man, I don't know. I don't, hey, Mars, they got a movie after this nigga, man. I don't know. <laughs> they got still. They, they, no way. He got game. No they put, he got game after that day. That nigga was cold. Ray Allen was the dude. That was a good ass movie. Bro. Shit. It was all right. Huh? The, act, the, act, the, acting, the acting from Ray, Ray Allen. Don't get sucked into this. Yeah, now. Ray Allen cannot act. The, the, Ray Allen cannot act. The acting from Ray is subpar. Ray was a terrible actor. Great movie. Great movie, but, oh, yeah, but Ray Allen I'm acting. like, God, Ray, you Ray took, 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 he, he could he could have took a couple acting classes, bro. Like, hey, <laughs> oh, that's a good that's a good question right there on the screen, Ron. Uncle Ruckus with the super chat said, "Question for Chill: Would you rather have P? Would you rather? Would you rather have you PG have? Would you rather Steph? have your point guard have Steph shooting or your Fire. big man have a Kings defense?" <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, Rob. I feel you, Rob. Because I'm looking at it, I'm like, what the fuck is this guy? Talking? I know what Chill gonna say too. I know what Chill gonna say. Chill like Chill, Chill. Y'all know it. Hey, Mars, you know good. what Chill gonna say. He say it every show. Okay. Chill versus the big man. Chill versus the big man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, 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 so who was, who, who, who's better? Who's better at that? Is is that's the best shooter that the team is a defender. Let me ask you. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Chill, Chad. I'm with you on that. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know about. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck right mm -hmm. here. I think I'm gonna go with the key, but I'm stuck. Mars, Mars, I, I think as good as Steph was at stretching the game, right? As good as Steph was was expanding the game during the game, right? And, and, and in terms of creating double teams and things like that, Hakeem Olajuwon completely yeah. shut your defense down, and he didn't just yes. shut your he, he didn't just shut your offense down in the half court. He shut your offense down in transition. Him specifically, the big man chasing point guards off the long ball line, chasing point guards off the free throw line in transition to slow down your transition game, covering guys like Robert Ory who who get beat. Lajuan's at the rim, covering guys like Mario Ellie, bodying up against guys like David Robinson and dealing with these guys. And we're talking about a guy in David Robinson who led the league in scoring. The next year, David Robinson held him to 22 a game. This is the league leading scorer who has 70 points in a game to secure the, 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 the scoring championship. The next year, he held him to 22 points. Right, this is the league MVP that he did this to. Now, when I think about a guy like Steph Curry, his ability to expand the game—I mean, expand your defense, shooting at the long ball line—I'm also thinking about another guy that he was running with, Lajuan. On the other hand, I'm the dude on defense. There's nobody else like me, and because there's nobody else like me, these guys rely solely on me, and I do my job. There's a reason why I was the defensive player of the year. There's a reason why I'm in that conversation every year while i'm while, while me while I'm, I'm able to get otis thorpe to get rebounds because everybody's focusing their attention on me there's a reason why i'm able to rebound the basketball because everybody's focusing their attention on me and i'm still doing it so when i think about steph curry as an offensive player or as a long ball shooter i think that it, i i think you can have a conversation but hakeem olajuwon who i think is the best defensive player in nba history mm -hmm. i'm taking hakeem olajuwon over steph curry I just, I just want to clarify. I would rather my big man have Hakeem's defense than my point guard have Steph shooting. I'm just clarifying mm -hmm. that. The issue, the not issue, the thing I'm saying is Steph's shooting ability mm -hmm. to me is so much better than Ray Allen, who everyone here has number two or number one. It's so much better than the second place compared to Hakeem's defense compared to whoever's second to Hakeem. That gap is closer to me than Steph. Steph is so far ahead of everyone else as a shooter that mm -hmm. his shooting is better than Hakeem's defense in that regard. But there's no one adding, close to Steph as you're a adding, shooter you're adding versus other Hakeem's people. defense. You're That's adding, what I mean. Rel rel it's relativity. That's what it is. It's relativity. Mm -hmm. Steph's shooting relative to everyone else in NBA history is better than Hakeem's defense relative to everyone else. Because first of all, I think Bill Russell is the best defender ever. So Hakeem's right. number one team. So Hakeem is already number two. So that would already explain why I think Steph is a better shooter than Hakeem is right. a defender. But then even then, if I did say Hakeem of the modern era is number one, Tim Duncan or KG or David Robinson, who's number two, whoever, is closer to Hakeem defensively than Ray Allen or Reggie Miller or Steve Nash or KD or Larry Bird is to Steph as a shooter. That's what I'm saying. Steph is so much further ahead of everyone as a shooter than Hakeem is as a defender. But if I got to pick, I'm taking a big with Hakeem's defense 
right. every day of the week over a team of over a point guard of Steph shoots. But again, they're two different questions. I'm just letting yeah. Them. But the question was asked on well, which would Chill rather have, and which one in his mind would be more impactful. Not relative. And I and, no, and I agree with him. Yeah, I said so, I'd rather my big have. Yeah, yeah, but you, yeah, but you saying. But that, then I, like, but then I also said in a separate comment, Steph mm -hmm. shooting is better than Hakeem's defense. Steph's a better shooter than Hakeem is a defender to me. When I, now and, and, that's I the topic I, we're discussing now. Now, if you guys disagree, right, that's right. perfectly fine. I'm just saying that doesn't change right. the fact I'm choosing the big with Hakeem's defense. Right. So anyone who says, "Oh, Mars, why are you picking?" But wouldn't that wouldn't I'm that mean that Hakeem's defense, defense for you is better so, than shooting? I think a big man with that level of defense is going to be more valuable than my point guard shooting that well. So but that, Steph right. is still a better shooter than Hakeem is a defender. And even the value is a different conversation. But who's better? Steph shooting isn't, val isn't I, that well, being better than something is value. Well, that's what I'm saying, Mars. Well, skill. that's what I'm saying. Okay, so because because what Mars's logic is is what Mars's lo what Mars's logic has always been. I don't know if you listen to him, Dub, when you when you when you sit next to him. Mars's logic is I'm better at basketball than you, and Mars's logic has always been like with Steph Curry, this skill is better than this skill. So Steph Curry's skill as a shooter is better than than Hakeem Olajuwon's skill as a defender, which I disagree with because when I think about Steph Curry's ability to shoot the basketball and then I think about in the aspect of winning, right? When I think about it in the aspect of winning, I think about how good Steph Curry was and I think about the other guys that was running with him. When I think about Hakeem Olajuwon and I think about his skill as a defender, he was the anchor of their defense when they were winning NBA championships. They're not winning without his defense solely. Steph Curry, on the other hand, his ability to shoot the basketball, he did have another guy who was comparable to him shooting the basketball. He wasn't as good. No question about that. I don't, I, I don't, think, I don't think he was better. But there was a conversation about Steph Curry and Klay Thompson in terms of shooters. There was no conversation defensively with anybody else on Hakeem Olajuwon's unit with Hakeem Olajuwon defensively. That's fine. So you That's saying, hold on. So you saying without without Clay, we don't look at Steph as great of a shooter as we do now. <laughs> I do think it's different. Ma. I do think it's different, Ticket. Yeah, because mm, I think that's, a, I, that's I, a great. I, hey, that's a great one right there, Ron. Because a lot of people go, a lot of people gonna speak about that. If it's just Steph well, out there having to shoot that thing, well, and don't the reason why the reason the, wow. the, the, the reason why Ticket is because I feel like when you got a guy out there that he might not be as good as you at this, but it's comparable. Like you say, what what you do is you make the you make the game so much more so, so much less difficult for that person. So Steph Curry, his ability to shoot the basketball, uncanny. But I got a dude that's six foot seven. I mean, he has sixty points in the game on twelve dribbles. So if I got to deal with him plus Steph Curry, <clears throat> excuse me, if I got to deal with him plus Steph Curry, my 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 degree of difficulty has gone through the roof. As opposed to, I got <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, I got something in my throat. I got to deal with somebody in Hakeem Olajuwon defensively. That makes my job so much more difficult because now we got to focus our offense solely on this guy who's incredible defensively. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I, I think I just think Steph's a... I might be higher on Steph shooting than a lot of people because the gap I think Steph has to whoever's number two as a shooter is astronomical. And that's how I feel, Mars. Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel the same way you feel about Steph as a shooter. I feel the same way as Lajuan as a defender. I think I think Lajuan is the best defensive player in NBA history. I think it's Lajuan and then I think it's and then I think it's everybody else. That's I how I feel about Lajuan. Yeah, that's as a probably defender. where the disconnect. Is. <clears throat> I, I just think it's kind of weird. No disrespect to Hakeem, though. I'm not trying to disrespect. Mm -hmm. I just think I just think it's weird when we're sitting here asking like <coughs> if LeBron's finishing is better than like Steph's shooting, right? I'm asking that from LeBron and Steph. I'm not going to include other factors like LeBron and MJ and Shaq being top three, and then there's a gap with Steph and then everyone else. Now, in terms of like who dominated that, who dominated their specific like attribute better, then I think that's what Mars is like alluding to. But when I'm just simply trying to be like, all right, what's more valuable in the game of basketball? Uh, Hakeem's defense or Steph shooting or LeBron's finishing or Steph shooting. Like, I'm just going to keep it as those two, including all these other players into my equation. I just, I don't, I don't see the point in that at all. I I always think the quality is relative to what is, uh, <clears throat> I think that's, that's to me how I'll judge it. And I think it comes down to the best way I could explain it. If you, if you had a bunch of people running on a hundred meter sprint, and you run it at 9.8 seconds, but second place and third place are at 9.82. So it's very close. 
But then you have another 100 meter sprint, like 50 years previously, where the world record was 9.9, .9, and you ran it at 9.884, and everyone mm -hmm. else was at 9.96. Relatively, the one who ran it at 9.84 is a better sprinter because they were so much better than the rest <clears> of the field. Do you get what I'm saying? Even though technically the 9.8 is faster. Yeah, that's where the that's 9. where the, that, four, that's where the like, disconnect you're so is. So much better than the rest of the competition. Mm. And that, and that's where that's, the disconnect is. And that and that's why I say dominating his category, sure, but that's where the disconnect is, because that's how I don't rank it like that. Yeah, because you, you don't do relative to error. And exactly. I, so yeah, if we understand if, why we yeah. disagree. Yeah. So if if the person's nine point eight and the motherfucker's nine point eight, it's still nine point eight to me. I don't give a damn. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, so, I, I mean it. it's just it's just more valuable in my eyes. Yeah, that's fine. But yeah, Steph. Where is the L host? What happened to the L? Yeah, let, 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 let me get into some more super chats. Let me get into some more super chats, <laughs> bro. Um, shout out to Ladarius Munford for becoming a, a YouTube Welcome member. To the show, we appreciate brother. you. Um, Kel said, um, "Ticket hates stacking the deck, but you stated before Dame requested a trade that a, that a good fit for him was Milwaukee. Is that not a so-called super team by your logic? No, because I'm trading him for the key guy. I'm trading him for another star. I'm not putting him with those other two all stars. So I'm trading him for the key guy. That's what I said." You're, they want to trade Dame to Miami and not give up one of the key guys. No, -uh, that's not going to work. Uh, thank you. Shout out to Robert Carr for becoming a member. Um, King Shotter 442 said, if the NBA announced the two new expansion teams today, which players from each roster would you guys expect to be given up? Also, Boston lost their chance to trade for Dame by giving up Smart. Hold on. They had to, hold on. They had to give up two teams for it? Yeah, two players. You got. You got. Yeah, you got they, they, they'll have, they'll have team, team, teams protect about the six players, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. everyone yeah, else gets eight. eligible for that. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you'll everyone see, else you'll see, eight players. Yeah, so you'll see a bunch of guys uh, from rosters that are just trash that nobody wants, or if there's a player like Kyle Lowry who's just making way more money than maybe they want a team wants to pay him, they'll dangle that guy out there to see if someone will take it and take that salary off their hands because with the new NBA CBA, you have to spend. 90% of the salary cap. In the past, if you only spent, let's say, 80%, they took the other 10% that you were short and distributed among the players on your team. That's not an option anymore. You have to spend to 90%. So some teams might take a guy like that on a short one or two year deal just so that they get to that 90%. So so a guy like Bo Bo wouldn't make no sense for you. I don't know why he's a free agent. I would, for me- Because he's not good. That is not true, Tom. That is not true. Yes, Tom. it is. No, are you yeah. serious? I'm with Tom, hold on, Tom, Tom. Why are you saying that, Tom? That because if true. a player is good, teams don't just release him for no reason. If he's a, if he is good and he will help a team, and he's not an issue in the locker room, and if he has potential and isn't asking for crazy demands, mm -hmm. teams don't just cut good, talented, especially bad teams. Saw. They don't well, just cut you, good, talented uh, players hold, hold often. There's always a reason. Always I'm glad you reason. brought that. I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you brought that up, Tom. Because just so you know, before he got to Minnesota, Chauncey Billups was on four different teams. He got cut by Orlando. They weren't even interested in him, right? He got cut by them, and it was, was flips on. Who actually, was he good? Yeah, he was. Yes, he was good, and he wasn't given an opportunity. You don't just become good, Tom, overnight. No. There's an opportunity that you get, and once you get that opportunity, you take advantage of it. I don't think Bowl Bowl has actually gotten an opportunity like he did in Orlando because he was really good in Orlando. He was up for most improved, as good as he was. But the problem is, is that Bowl Bowl has what people are talking about, his motor, quote unquote. His motor isn't there. It's not the fact that he's not good. He's a damn good player. I'm not going to say that. So, and, and so what's not his motor do, mean? Expand on what you mean by his motor. Well, his his motor doesn't have anything to do with his his motor doesn't have anything to do with his talent. His motor well, means I that maybe he, he wasn't talented. Ma maybe the, maybe he doesn't play talented. hard. Maybe he doesn't play hard all the time. Mm. So that that's his motor. That doesn't mean that he isn't good. That has nothing to do with his game. Maybe he doesn't play hard all the time. But that doesn't mean that he's not good. It 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 does mean he's not. It might no. It doesn't mean he's not talented. It means that he's not good. And maybe our definitions of the two words is the problem because talented doesn't mean that you're good. Kyle Lowry was talented in Memphis, gone. Talented in Houston, gone. Not until he went to Toronto and changed his attitude did people go, oh, he's a pretty good player. So Bull Bull not having a motor, your words, not mine, still doesn't mean he's not talented. He's talented, but is he good enough to be in a rotation in the NBA without that? And the answer so far is no. 
So you will have to change something to get minutes. Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Kyle Lowry played five years in Memphis. You don't play five years in Memphis and you're not good. He was damn good in Memphis. He had an attitude yeah, issue. That's all the problem. Yeah. But that exactly. doesn't mean he wasn't there's, good. That's, he still that's was good. my point of there's something stopping him from getting what the opportunity, right? That's mm-hmm. my point. I'm not saying anything about Bobo's talent. I'm saying there's something that's and I'm stopping not, teams and, and, from saying, hey, he's going like to He just around. rolled out of bed. He wild as hell right now. This is what we do. <laughs> <laughs> this dude looks like J-Rob. J-Rob looks like he just rolled out of bed. He left. I got to play. Rob looked like he just straight bro. rolled out of bed. You know Literally. why? I was watching. I was watching PC Unleashed last night, so he was probably. He that was, was my. Probably that was my shit look like that. this? That was a great show. Look shit at these. Look at these two. Yeah, what is going on in the what, what, are we, hey, Dub, what are we doing, Dub? <laughs> hey, Dub. What's what, what's what's happening right now? You know what? It's, I'm glad you asked me that because I we do have to transition to the title of the video. What the hell is happening? I'm ranking the the best 20 scores in the NBA right now. Oh my goodness! I'm glad that you asked me what we're doing. What are we doing? It's been two hours and we haven't gotten to the title of the video. So let's, let, 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 let's get to that. I'm down. Let's get 100%. to it. Chat, yeah. chat, give us an order of how y'all want us to do this. We are going to rank the best 20 scores in the NBA right now. Right? It's oh, we're doing, we're, we're, yeah, we're, doing a, we're doing a combined list again. Oh, my God. I love these. These are the best ones. They are the best ones. They are. Fluent. It's not fluent. No way you're using a mechanical pencil. What's this, middle school? I love this pencil. <laughs> Flo, give your kids that give your kids they uh their their, their school it supplies it back. Absolutely. It is, no, they're, they're done Dad, school, I need I got, my pencil. Ah, what are you doing, Dad? I, I, need like, my you pencil. Know, I like to I like to draw. Y'all know that. Yeah, from, no the, doubt. from Potato Man, Hoodie Stewie Griffin and Coked Out Kendra Perkins team him up wasn't on my PC bingo card. I assume I'm the Hoodie Stewie Griffin. Yes, and you are. Out who? And, I still, and, I, and I assume your mama is the other one. Oh, it's <laughs> All, right. All right, so we got Ox, Chill, Dub, Mars, Ticket, Fluent, and that will be the order. Good looking, Gabe. By the time I get to go first. Word. Now, I don't have... Oh, my. Oh, Dub. Oh, I can make it. God. Let me make it real quick. I'll make it yeah, real quick. Hurry Give up, me a Dub. Second. Hurry up, Dub. Let me read Super Chats. Read Super do, Chats. Yeah. I'll make it real quick. Hey, look, Dub, look, you about look, to let, you about to let your beard get like Cali, Dub? You about to let it go? Like, get oh, I'm let, letting it loose, baby. Oh, that's okay, what's up, yeah. bro. I was, I, I can't, I can't grow one like that, bro. Yeah, it was looking bad for a little bit, but now it's actually coming together fine. So I'm actually happy for it. I see, weak as hell, bro. Don't worry, that's bro. Right. Thanks for the beard chronicles. Now can't uh, always be like me, man. <laughs> Shout out to Big Fan Breezy for becoming a show? member. Big Shout Fan Breezy is that dude. Yeah. Shout out to Dylan Braidling for becoming a member. Welcome, um, brothers. Uncle Shay's burner said, "LeBron is the only player fans give credit to for almost winning. That's nasty to me." <laughs> um, I'm, Alan Iverson gets credit for almost winning. <clears throat> yes, he does. Yes, I, I, I sold as Jason Kidd uh, before and Jim, the Dallas and, Jim, and, and Jimmy Butler too. And Jimmy Butler. So yes, there are players who do that. Um, yeah. Tokway White said, "2019 first round, 30, 33, six and four, and two steals on 46, 48, 85." Second round, 25, 6, and 5 on 40, 29, 79. Western Conference Finals, 22, 8.5, and 5 on 37, 36, 85. Acting like Dame wasn't bad, that Denver series is crazy. After the first round, Nobody's saying that. You said that CJ was better, and CJ wasn't even that great. Then you lied about CJ the wasn't defense. that great. CJ and, then, and then you lied about the defense. The because because I actually started watching the game again <laughs> over. Does, CJ, CJ was getting cooked on one-on-one opportunities, on off-ball actions as well. I think they had uh, they have 14 shot attempts on him, and they shot 44% on him, mm-hmm. relatively the same as Dame. Opponent field goal percentage is crazy. Bro. And then, and then, like the reason why Dame was in those actions because they wanted CJ in the corner because they wanted Dame up there guarding, and the lineups were like Seth Curry, CJ, and Rodney Hood out there. It was like, no, we can't put any of those guys on there but Dame. So. It's just a nasty concept. Yeah, so Dame was in the action. Right. Okay, definitely. but you're not gonna say like Drew Hot, like Grayson Allen had a better defensive series than Drew Holiday because Drew Holiday got cooked by Jimmy Butler. No, because Drew Holiday, Drew Holiday wasn't at fault for that. It was Coach Bud playing drop coverage with and Bud. leaving Drew Holiday on an island by himself. And you and I and I grew Terry Stott's defensive coach all the time. <coughs> oh, okay, no, okay, okay, I okay. grew him. He's a he's a clown. So yeah, but let's 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 not don't do use that, that in your barometer of like Dame. Terry Stotts is also yeah. is also in Milwaukee as well, so maybe that's the problem over there. But um, the no WK said Dub yeah. acting like he's a tough guy is the funniest thing ever. A role player mm. acting like a superstar. I like the new tag team. Let's go, Ticket and Mars. 
Oh, shut up, W. You wish you How about this. Hey, hold on, this ain't new. You wish, you wish, you wish, you wish you could be like me, brother. But thank you for five dollars. Me and Mars been tag team partners for a minute. We went into Long Chill and flew on the flew on the Chill Show. Y'all make sure y'all I check lost. out this. Show. Hey, what y'all got coming up this week? Uh, Cap and Cap a lot on the Chill and Flew Show. What y'all what y'all got coming up? This come week? come through and find out. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna watch the show. I'm just saying, what y'all, what y'all cook? If you want, if you want to know what's coming, you got to talk to host Haley. She's the one that sets the uh, mm-hmm. the agenda. Mm-hmm. H boogie. Oh, okay. I, I, I thought you were still in the tap floor. Nah. Do you remember the order? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm fix it on the screens right now. We got Ox, Chill, Me, You, Ticket and Fluent. There we go. That's okay. the order right there. All right, so Ox, I need to know who is the best scorer in the NBA right now. Please don't spoke, say Sabonis. You spoke scorers wrong, Doug. Just putting up oh. a bar in there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, I don't shit. know what you're talking about. There we go. Thank you, Dub. Thank Yo, you, Dub. Dub. <laughs> oh, oh, my bad. Dub, I, I, I resent that, that you would that you would think I would put the Monte Sabonis number one. That's that's crazy. I'm not no troll. <laughs> so go. I'm going to put De'Aaron Fox. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just playing, but... Uh, let me think though. I think I might have to go. Okay, so what do I got? I got Luca, Dame, Steph, Giannis, Joel. Um, no way. I guess I gotta go Luca number one. Say it with your chest. Ch- say it with your chest, big ox. Don't 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 hold yeah, man. Who yeah, you think yeah, the yeah. best? Let me, let me, let me go, the best scorer ahead, in the let game. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and just go go Steph. Let me go Steph. Mm-hmm. Steph. Go. Steph, 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 mm-hmm. uh, Steph, Steph Curry. Curry. Shout out, shout out to uh, the mm. chef. Steph. Because what he, what that that game seven was, it just, it just reminded me like, yo, this is really him. That's really that dude. Mm. So let me, let me so I think this. about your, I, I, I think about your bag. I think about your production. I think, I think about when you did it. I think about how you did it. Um, I think about who you did it against. And when I think about scoring the basketball, and I feel like. He's a, he, he's basically what Tracy McGrady should have been despite the injuries, and that's Jason Tatum. Oh man, this list is already in shambles. Jesus, I am hurting. Cheers, dub, is on, dub is on you. Get you already right know. You already know what I'm doing, baby. Okay, as he tween family, finally, bro. Finally, K mm-hmm. Kevin Frick. I can get with KD. Way. Sure, I can get with KD. Except for, except for in the playoffs when it's time. You know, when you're in a shit scenario, it's just hard for people to, you know. Um, Dub, go ahead and put Kawhi Leonard for me. <laughs> Leonard. 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 Hey, you guys are disgusting. I got Come somebody that's a score in both of those games. Go ahead and put Kawhi. <laughs> I can get with Kawhi. I, I can get with Kawhi, yeah, Kawhi Leonard. Cool. I can get with that, that. Greek, that Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo, that's one of the best scores in the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm happy and with that. And, and, and don't even need a jump shot. I'm cool with that. Dub, mm-hmm. go ahead and spell Antetokounmpo for us, Dub. Oh. <laughs> go ahead. A N T E T. Nope. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. There's a, there's an N in there. That's for sure. Oh, an N. There's a U in there. There's a U in there. Right here, right here. N M. I believe that looks about right. That looks about right. Is it right, chat? Chat. Is it right? A N T N T A N T N T O K O U N M P O. Hey, he should. Hey, realistically, he should be over everybody on that list. Giannis is the right best scorer there's in the a, game. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, yeah, right there. Oh, there is a, hold on, hold on, yeah, right hold on, right, hey, right, hold on, chill down, chill down, chill down, right now, and for the mm-hmm. last few years, yes, only one person you could say that was literally scoring more than him, and that was Joel Embiid. Giannis mm-hmm. is not a better scorer than Steph Curry. Okay, but he's hold on, but he's put he puts up more better numbers the produ- on a high order. The the production matters. Matters. Yeah, the production matters. Yeah, I care production, about, I, I production care about does production. matter, but there's there's also versatility how yeah. teams can but how, does, what, but Mars, how does he keep outscoring all those dudes every year he doesn't keep outscoring Steph Curry that's not true he, he I, just did this year in the he regular season year? sure in the regular season sure in the playoffs Steph Curry's a better scorer than Giannis easily I disagree and Kawhi Leonard is definitely wait 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 He's you got team. you got Giannis over Jokic I just whoa as a score yes oh Jokic ain't no big time scorer like that. It's a difference, though, between the scorer and an offensive player. Yeah, and I already, had to, I, I already had to. I already had to walk my. Uh, I already. I already had to walk my claim back, and I, right. I, I did that already. And we're not gonna get into that again, Mars. Because did, did I somehow <laughs> fall to laugh? Yeah, fluent. It's on you now. No way. <laughs> I guess I'm last. 
Uh, I'm going to go with your guy's favorite players. I feel like you spent the first two hours talking about him. Uh, <laughs> Damian Lillard, 32 mm-hmm. points per game, 46%, 37 from three, 91.4% from free throw. Come on, pure score. Dame, baby. Mm. Damn, I just realized Dub's still on Bing. Oh, my God. Okay. Hey. Bing. <laughs> you, watch, you watch your whore mouth. Oh, oh, no shut problem. your whore mouth, Mars. <laughs> <laughs> but before before we go back to Ox, can I read some more super chats? Yes, yeah, please. yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's that's cool. cool. See, w, w host over here, like this is what we do. Okay, so we have Doe with the super <clears> chat. <throat> People act like Dames had early Cavs, LeBron James levels of help. LOL. He's had decent help. Jeremy Grant, Anthony Simons, Nurkic this season are not bums. It's not Tatum level help, but it's not bad. No, he had LeBron. Had, he had more help than LeBron did. Definitely with the, some of those teams LeBron had. That's, that's not the hey, same hey, thing. No, that's hey, that's ticket. LeBron James. Hey, ticket. Damian Lillard. Hey, ticket. What up? You see? Did you see? Did you see the present uh, Jay sent me? Man, you you, you discussed it, right? <laughs> First of all, his son gave him that. That's not <laughs> so let's get the story straight, ticket. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's ticket the note. Boxes, the note man. said, "Put up a picture of the goat," and he sent yeah, me that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, his little dude. His little dude gave him that. So it's crazy, man. Mm-hmm. Um, a couple, a couple more before we get back to it. Key yep. said, "I don't, I don't know, bruh. The market, Mars and Ticket, looking unstoppable. Market is actually mm, a market." Heat. <clears throat> we got to get the uh, uh, before we go any further. We got to get the bra started. We got to get that figured bruh. out. Okay, so bruh. it's pronounced bra, which is short for bruh. brother. Okay, bra. <laughs> that's that's what that's what the chicks wear to hold up the tits. That's and James that, Harden wears it. Too. And James Harden. Too. Okay, so let, let, let's get this. Let's get this. Let's get this. This thing figured what about out. Okay. Once again, that, it's thanks for the education, brother. So we the good. Chill. There you go. Uh, Miss- chill, chill. Is bro is is bro acceptable? Bro, which is short for brother. Yeah, what about bro? bro? We need what to use bro? our slang terms bro, correctly. Bro, guys. which hey, is short on, for brother. Hold on, but Mars, Mars, since he's from the UK, he has to do it like the dude on the Jamie Foxx show did. He has to say bro ham. Bro hamster. Bro ham. <laughs> what about bro? <laughs> y'all, y'all remember the guy on the Jamie Foxx show? Chill time. He yeah. said bro yeah. ham. <laughs> he came and said bro hamster. <laughs> chill, yes. chill. You ever heard of Brody? Yes. That's Russell Westbrook. Word. And Brody. he got he, he he got Brody from The Wire, which is Bodie. Mm. That's what he See, got. Educa- education with Cho. Thank you very much. Anyway, Mr. That's, Goodbar that's, that's Carter. Saying, Mars, props to everyone. Props to everyone on Players Choice. Respect to Ticket. Can't believe FYF and his boys tried to bully Dub for why he voted for Ticket. That was nasty. There we go. Um, Dub, you can get back to it now. And we'll get back in some more super chats later on. Mm-hmm. W host Mars and Dub. By the way, this we get on Open Gym. Oh, your super chat's being read. This is what you got. Check word, y'all out. Word. All right, so we got Dame at six. So now, Bobby, it's up to you, brother. Okay. Um, I'm surprised none of y'all said Luca. I thought y'all loved Luca. Mm-hmm. You I said Luca first. So I'm a yeah, but then him. he changed it to Steph. So now okay. Luca hasn't been said. Free throws are part of scoring, though, Ox, and at 74%. Hey, we got Giannis at five. So, yeah. Fair. Yeah, fair. So mm-hmm. I would do the right thing here. And put Devin Booker, and you still haven't said Luca. Okay, mm-hmm. I don't plan on saying Luca. You were thinking Bruh. about him at one. I said, I said like five people though. I said, hey, I, said, I even said Joel. Y'all, y'all ain't got Joel up there yet. That's crazy. That's where I was going. That's where I was going. We got the league. I think the league leading scorer should be on here, number eight. Mm, Joel. I'm I'm doing right Bob's by the list. I got Steph and Devin Booker. Oh, the host yeah, is back. Phil, Phil, his playoff drop off is so bad. Wow, Ron is Ron is here. The host, the host is already here. Dub, Dub and Mars. It yeah. is ticket and You're kind of redundant I'm, now, Ron. It is so. It, it, it's a bit of a. We don't need you, Ron. It's a bit of a contradiction for what I'm saying because I care about what you did and when you did it, right? So it is a bit of a contradiction what I'm saying, but I'm just having a difficult time with the league leading scorer. Mm-hmm. The last two years not being a top 10 scorer in the game. Ah, uh, Mars. Mars, um, can, can we make a deal? No, it's my turn. Can we oh. make a deal? What's the deal? <laughs> I want to pick two players right now. You want I me want... to pick the other one? Yes. No, nah, no. Nah, how, you, how you get to pick two players? Because you, you might pick, take one. Whichever player you pick, I'll see if I get the next one correct. We'll see if we're, whichever one I do. Because uh, I got uh, one in my mind right now. You know what? I'll do this just for you. 
and hopefully you'll know what the other one is from me. Oh, well, I want I want Luca next. Ah, there we go. Yep, I like it. That's I was, good. That's good. I, I was All right, gonna, who you got, Doug? You was going to pick, you was gonna pick Jokic anyway? Yeah. All right, perfect, perfect. We was on the same I got page. somebody better than Jokic. Y'all still you can, put, you can put Luca above Jokic if you want. No, I, I got that. somebody better than Jokic. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Doug, Ooh. you can bro. I got somebody better than Jokic, bro. As a score? Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, Ooh. ticket. Who, ticket you got? Donovan Mitchell, nigga. Oh, you ain't got him. No, 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 no,
Uh, I did. No, he's up there. He's up there. Okay, my bad. Okay, but yeah, but to, hold on. But to me, Giannis's production. To me, even though y'all yeah. say he don't got a jump shot, this he is the best scorer in the league, in my opinion. Because when we look from regular season to postseason, man, we already know every single night. You know, it's thirty and ten or, or ten. But yeah. You know. But you you care about the efficiency with Dame. His efficiency isn't that great. Who Giannis? It's not. Man, you on some type of drugs. Dog, he had a stretch. Dog, he, dog, Giannis, yeah, right. yeah, I was about to say Giannis had a stretch when he. I think he was averaging like like uh, thirty five. Yeah, but but and he was dropping like twenty seven percent like from three, sixty four percent from the free throw line. Like that has to bring you down. It brings it him down. <laughs> how, hold on, hold on. Especially in the, po- the especially in the postseason how when, he faces, is, when he faces how good defense has, and it drops. But hold on, how would it still have such a positive effect on your team when your team was still the number one team in the whole NBA? Comparing because when you're comparing scoring. And two of the most important things, especially in today's leagues, are three-point shooting and free throw percentage and free throws for a top player, right? The number one player on your team, the guy who's going to get fouled in, in crucial moments in the fourth quarter. You right. can't be ten points below the average NBA player. But isn't that and what Steph is. Curry? Well, hold on, isn't that what Steph Curry was against the Lakers? In one series, maybe. Oh, okay. I, I yeah, 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 but you talking about? Hold on, you talking about Giannis in one series? So, so let's no, I'm talking about Giannis for the season. No, I'm talking about Giannis for the season. Yeah, season wise, he wasn't Gian, that great. Giannis for the season. And your efficiency is going to go down. Ten percent below the league averages. Even Shit. if that's true, Tony. Hey, you're, hey, Giannis, you're, you're, go, ahead, hey Giannis, go ahead and tweet. Go ahead and tweet at Fluent. Your, your <laughs> Greek brother. Go ahead. Go ahead and get this dude. Tweet, tweet at him. Dub, you're, 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 you're doing it again. Facts are facts. He always going against your countrymen, man. Oh, hey, man. Oh, that's very, that's very unpatriotic. Fire, that but uh, Dub, you 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 were mentioning that efficiency goes down. Well, of course, that's going to happen in the playoffs because you're playing against better defenses. And when you advance in later rounds, you're playing against even better defenses. So, of course, your of course your your field goal percentage is going to go down. Now, I expect you to be you, better. In are the- you? Yes, but to, you are. But to, but you're yeah. playing against Remember, better defenses every round. But fluent, but fluent. Wait, hold you're on. Playing hold against on. better but teams. But you, what has, what has, what has, defense. what has Ticket been preaching? Like I understand, you understand that concept. But what has Ticket been preaching this whole entire time about Damian Lillard? Especially when you're going to try to call him the best scorer in NBA history. I expect you to overcome that. I don't expect you for your uh, shooting percentages to go down. I expect you against good defense when the moments get brightest. Well, when he does face up against good defenses, according to Ticket. He's folding against the moment against defenses that can, are actually capable of defending him, so he can't call him the best. He can't. Hold on, when did he fold? His when did he fold? His efficiency wasn't great against Miami this year. But no, I'm saying, but when did he fold? He gave Miami a 28 point triple double. Okay. He gave him a 38 and 20 game, and before he got hurt, he had, he had 11 in the first quarter. Okay, you you acknowledge thir- uh, Dame's 30 points per game, uh, 30 points in game. No, one no, but I'm saying, no, I'm no, saying, no, 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 you're not hearing me. You're not hearing me. You're not hearing That's me, bro. Efficiency. No, 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 you're not hearing me. Listen, his efficiency wasn't great in that game where he dropped 30, or the efficiency wasn't great in game four as well. It just wasn't. No, 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 Giannis, hold on. Giannis's efficiency shooting from the field when he dropped the 38 and 20 was great. That's yeah, not efficient. Ticket, he missed like 26 free throws. Oh, now you add that in. That's different. I'm talking about him. Yeah, okay, no, 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 that's a, that's a fact when it comes because free right. No, no, no. Okay, no. I, hold on. I, I give you that part. That part you got me. I ain't gonna say nothing. But I, I'm thinking he's talking about just his efficiency then, going the ball. Nah, even then, like he's shooting fifty. He shot fifty one percent. Like if this, I'm sorry. If that's just mainly running dunks. That's not mainly fuck? dunks. Hold on. That's a lie right there. The that's fuck? a lie right there. What? Especially against <laughs> Miami. Hold on. Especially against Miami. A lie. You ain't watched the ticket. I did watch. <laughs> you ain't watch the game, ticket. Now you're lying. Now you, you ain't watched the fucking game. Bro, I watched the game, bro. Euro, Euro, through traffic and throw the bitch up. Oh, hold on, that's, that's not impressive. Even, hold on, that's, that's not impressive. Not that's not easy. Like that's hard. Like that's not. That's hard. harder to do. It's that's harder to do. I'm not. Don't, but don't say it wasn't all that. It was. A, no, no, you know, you said easy. No, you said easy layups and dunks. That's harder to go through a whole squad. No, and get a I, said, I said. I said layups and dunks. I said layups and dunks. I said if the majority is layups and dunks, he's shooting fifty-one percent. I'm not gonna evaluate it like that. I'm sorry, you shouldn't. All right, let me get my pick off real quick, Dub. Go ahead, go ahead, go. It's ahead. back on. It's back on me, right? Yeah, we just went from. F- Wait, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. What the? Okay, hell? yeah, give me now. Now it's about that time. Give me De'Aaron Fox. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Yeah, the, the list is already in. China. <laughs> That's not Horrible. crazy. What's wrong with that? He he was he let. Oh, come on, but do I got to defend this for real? It's a bit. It's a bit high for De'Aaron Fox. It's a bit high. 
Why I mean, what about he, 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 was clutch, he was a clutch? He was a clutch. He was a clutch score. Uh, clutch, clutch player of the, of the uh, league, he whatever was, they call was. it. And then don't forget how he just takes over fourth quarters. I think the way he takes over fourth quarter effortlessly deserves deserves a nod. Do it in the playoffs. He did. He, do broke, it in the his, he broke his finger. He broke his finger. That's not an excuse, Morris. Not a little that little bone in his finger. He key all right. Mm. And I don't. You know what? I'm tired of that. Oh, the playoff. This playoff. That. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not. I'm not gonna break down a whole series based on from from what's the minimum? The minimum is four games. So. From from four to about twenty games, like that doesn't just tell the tale of what you did the whole season. Mm-hmm. De'Aaron is not top three. Oh, facts, facts, kill them. Yeah. Facts. Hey, chill, chill. Who you got after De'Aaron Fox? Irv. Okay, interesting. Irv. Kyrie. Oh, Kyrie. 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 Mm, Kyrie Irving. Who should I put here? I know. You I'm know too. what? Since we're since we're just fucking around. Screw it. Because <laughs> oh, we're just doing it. I, let's do it. Let's just. Let's Who's do just it fucking now. around, Dub? How is this? De'Aaron Fox is a, is a much better scorer than Jimmy Butler. So, not in the postseason. <sighs> All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let me get. Let me get Shay, please. Let me get Shay. Shay. Ah uh, man, you took mine. Is Luca on here? Luca's on here. Not, not Hold on. It's, it's on me. I got one. I got one better than. If it's on me, John Moran. Jump in the line. John no, no, no. It's Ticket's turn. It's Ticket's turn. Yeah, it's on Ticket. It's on Ticket. John Moran. <laughs> he, he's, a better, he's a better scorer than, than Darren Fox. You know what? Since nobody picked him, I'm going to pick my real answer here. I'll pick. I'll pick Trey. Trey Young with a Shea. Oh, my God. You picked Shea already, so what, what the hell am I supposed to do? No, but if you want Shea, we can move Shea up. You want to and do I'll that? We can reverse else. it because Trey Young is not above Shea as a scorer. Ain't no way. Well, wait. Who would you pick? Man, make your pick and stand on it, man. Nah, mm-hmm. well, if Doc, on, Doc, man. if Doc said Jimmy, but- if Doc said Jimmy Butler was a troll pick, would you have picked Shea if Trey if he was available? Possibly. I forgot about him though. I'm not going. Oh, then no. Him. Just leave it how it is. Leave it. Yeah. Uh, eighteen. Who's uh? You guys are. Home? You guys are. Crazy right now. I'm sorry, Dub Dub. I know you forgot about him, so please put Devin Booker instead of Trey Young. Devin Booker said already Devin Booker. He's already on the Devin, list. I'll say, I'll oh, say Devin Booker. Oh, my second. Said, long said, time my, bad, my bad. My bad. My bad. Because <laughs> I, I was seeing this list go down. I was like, "There's no way Devin Booker's in the set." Okay, my fault. My fault. My fault. You good? Uh, uh Floyd, you're number eighteen. Mm-hmm. Oh, you guys are gonna love this one. I'm gonna go with Zach Levine. That's not bad. I like that actually. It's a, it's a bit high, but we forget it. about him because he's I'm, I'm plays with uh, I'm Mars' team. favorite player. So at 19. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I'll t- you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll take Cat. What? No. Cat? No. Cat's a good Cat's Cat's a very good scorer. <sighs> hmm. Wow. Oh. Then I should have. Then I should have taken who I. Oh. You should you should have just picked who you wanted to pick. I should have gone, gone with Pascal doing. Siakam. You're right. Because he's L- better than Cat. Lounds, so, not so, Towns. So if Paul if, 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 if Carl Anthony, <laughs> Anthony Towns isn't uh, a top 20 score, then what is he in the NBA for? What does he do? Uh, how is exactly. Kyle, 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 Shoot, what, what does he do? Shoot. What does he do? He's not the best score how on his team. How, how has then you should exactly. how how he's is how is he stuck? How is team. how is he in the NBA? How is he in the NBA if he's not one of the top because he can because he can shoot. is a better can shoot. is a better scorer than him. He's not even the best scorer yeah, on his team. Yeah, but yeah, he's not even the best scorer on his team. So I don't know how this has happened. I think Carl Anthony. I think Carl Anthony. I would have been happier if he said Sabonis. Scorer. I don't. I don't think Sabonis is a better scorer than Carl Anthony. I would have no. I would have at least understood why you said Sabonis though. Anthony Why? Edwards. That doesn't make any sense. Anthony Edwards would have been a better pick. Yes, agreed. You could Anthony, you could have put yeah, you could have picked Anthony Edwards over Trey Young. Don't worry about my pick. You should have picked Anthony Edwards. <laughs> That's I'm true. just trying that to help you true. be more fluent. You know what? That is true. But hey, I picked Trey Young. In in the same in the same for you, Fluent. You could have picked Anthony Edwards over Zach Levine. But you I decided to pick Zach Levine. I don't got nothing to do with me. Crazy picks. Damn. Who's on so 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 wait, so wait, all these guys. From 15 down are all better scores than Carl Anthony Towns. 
Yeah, so y'all be y'all be y'all be on that bias. Y'all be on that bias. Y'all don't like somebody yes, for some reason. We're on that, we're on that scoring sudden, bias, gotta... Ox. We are. We're well, my pick was Shea, it. and Shea's it's not scoring. By... Be Carl Anthony Towns scores the basketball. He That's shoots. all he can do. He shoots. Chill. I had uh, it was a, it was a tough one between these last two, but I'm gonna go with Ant. It was between Ant and Jalen Brown, and I'm gonna go with Ant. Good one. Mars, Mars picks Kawhi Leonard at number four, and nobody bats an eye. Because Kawhi Leonard oh, is yes, one of the did. five best scorers in the league. Now, Kawhi if you're his health, yeah. sure. We I'm not it. about to we argue with you about health. But when Kawhi Leonard saying is about playing health. basketball, he's no, I'm saying if that's the argument against Kawhi, sure. <clears throat> but if you're I, telling I, me I Kawhi Leonard when he's healthy argument. isn't a top five scorer in the NBA, you're lying. That dude was dropping. Uh, How I, much? They ain't five best scorers Kawhi over Giannis, Devin, Joel. That's cool. I, I mean, that's that's my guy. That's my guy. Money I'm, mid range, money here, mid range game, speak, yeah. clutch. I'm, I'm not here to talk about what you're talking about. What you do in the playoffs? Kawhi Lens in the playoffs is top three. I never Word. even brought up the playoffs. I don't. I don't. No, bring, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. There's no the way. Playoffs. The Kawhi Lens is a top five scorer. You're arguing against play. him. So. There's 82 games before the playoffs. I'm not going to break down your whole season just to the playoffs. No, I'm saying that's a part of it. He's top five when it comes to the playoffs, undoubtedly. And in the regular season, he's still one of the best scorers in the league. Okay. No you doubt. just you just put a guy top twenty who who I think was what like thirty fifth in points per game. You put up similar numbers scoring to Jordan Clarkson, dude. You put him top twenty. You put him top. Who 20. talking about? Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah. Carl Anthony Towns is a is a is this a really season. good scorer, bro. He's he's a great scorer. Okay. We're talking about oh, now. Right. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna reread the list for everybody. For everybody in the chat or everybody listening, right? We have Steph Curry, number one, as the best score. JT's two. KD, second. Kawhi Leonard, fourth. Yacht, whoa. I said KD, second. KD's third. Kawhi Leonard, fourth. Giannis Antetokounmpo, fifth. Damian Lillard, sixth. Devin Booker, seventh. Joel Embiid, eighth. Luka Doncic, nine. Jokic, ten. Donovan Mitchell, eleven. LeBron, Raymond, James, Goat. Number 12, the Aaron Phonics, 13, <laughs> Kyrie Irving, 14, Trey Young, 15, Shea Gilgis Alexander, 16, John Morant, 17, Zach Levine, 18, Carl Anthony Lowndes, 19, and Anthony Edwards. Whoa. And that Surprise, is surprised to not see Jalen Brown. Very surprising. surprising. That is Jaylen our Brown. top 20. And no one said James Harden. We get a oh, no one, oh, no one oh. said Jalen Green. Like, I'm I'm perplexed. Hard, Harden could stay he's out of just, it. He's just out of there, Mars. Just out of the top. Yeah, place. if I got one more pick, let's believe Jalen Green was making it. But I, I figured. Considering what James Harden used to be, as opposed to what he is now, yeah, I, I I think it's I think it's fair to have him out the out the top twenty. I mean, we're talking about a guy who just four or five years ago he was averaging thirty five a game, thirty four a game, and then averaging thirty six a game, and then now he's down to twenty a game. So I think it's it's obvious that his production has dipped. So I'm cool with I'm cool with not having him as a top twenty player, as a top twenty scorer. I'm cool with that. I just think guys just got better, you know. Like with him the the de- de- with him regressing, right? Guys are ascending, like a- Anthony Edwards, especially what Anthony Edwards did in the postseason. Like a dude was just balling out. So I saw dudes pass other dudes. And yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. We get we get wrapped up in what what a dude did in the past and not recognizing what this guy is doing right now. We get Word. we 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 get completely wrapped up in that. So we just gotta let go, man. You wanna get into some more super chats? Yeah, we'll we'll do this one first since uh Jersey Love put the 20 ball on his pause. What's up, y'all? Random question. Which NBA team had a chance to be good, but someone was always getting hurt or didn't meet expectations? For example, the Pelicans team had AD, Tyreek Evans, Eric Gordon, Drew Holiday, and Ryan Anderson. I think that's the Pelicans unit, but with uh, DeMarcus Cousins. I think they could Is he really recently or all time? Portland. All time. With Daniel Lillard. All time. Portland. 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 Portland with Dame Lillard. Portland with Dame Lillard. Yo, take it, stop. <laughs> <laughs> they did have, hold on. They did have a chance to be good. He got he got hurt all these, all those times. He went. They went to the Western Conference Finals. What happened? He got hurt. He did not pay twenty dollars to get a joke. He wants a real answer. I'm dead. Say, hold on. I'm dead serious. He broke his ribs last year. Not this season that just passed, but the year before that. Yeah, he had a, he had an abdominal injury. He was I'm out about, in the Western Conference yeah. Finals. That was their year. He got in hurt. That's I'm not lying. Yeah, he, he did have a broken rib. Oh, something. what about that Spurs team when uh, that dude cheap cheap stepped under Kawhi and 
twisted his ankle and then they no, lose to the Warriors. Yeah, that, that's but they were, but the, but the difference is that they were good. They won 67 games that year. So they were good. The 2018 no, he, Celtics, if they, they could have been better, no, if he, they went further. The 2018 Celtics. That was in the Western won. Conference Championship, Tom. Yeah. Wouldn't they have been better if they won a chip? Wasn't Lakers, with Andrew, what, Lakers what, with what? Andrew Bynum the first year they lost to the Celtics. Yeah. The Celtics oh, are, the Celtics with Kendrick Perkins when they lost to the Lakers. Lakers, Lakers with Dwight, Lakers, Lakers with Dwight Howard when Kobe gets hurt and can't play in the playoffs. Oh, but um, yeah, let's with an uh, ancient Steve Nash. Yes. Yeah, he was an ancient man. Been, that's, hey, a, that's, a that's a league MVP. That's a league MVP. They're better with Kobe. Steve, <laughs> that's that's, that's all the answers. MVP. That's all the answers we got. Yeah, that, that, we got we got enough answers. Christ said, "Dub, didn't you say Jamal Murray played better than Jokic in the Sun series?" That was real talk. He was caping for that. I, I didn't agree. <laughs> Maybe I did it like what in the spur of the moment just to fuck around with y'all, but Jokic had a better series. Mm, he was trolling. He was trolling. Hey, kill the Lakers could have won a chip that year if Kobe didn't get hurt again. They they would have beat San Antonio in the first round with Dwight. Hmm. I don't think I don't think Kobe and Dwight were on the same page. I think that those two guys were definitely like oil and water. Dwight had a Kobe bad back that year as well. On, on not only did he yeah, have a bad back, Kobe expected him to be a lot tougher than what he was, and he wasn't. Hey, he just was so, not. So so imagine as good as Bryant was, was playing, because basically it. Bryant, up until that point, because he got hurt right before the playoffs, he basically carried them to that point. They weren't that good. As good as Gasol was, right? As good as Dwight Howard was as a player, they weren't that good. Bryant was doing most Bryant was doing most of the heavy. But they lifting. were dealing with injuries. And the question was if they weren't hurt. So if they were all healthy. Well, why were they dealing with injuries, Tone? So Tony Park, uh, uh, Steve Nash was ancient at that point. Yeah, Howard uh, is back. Co Co Kobe Bruce Bryant was also ancient at that point. Um, ancient? Yes, he was in year 16. He only played three more years after that. It wasn't like he played Sorry. five or six more years. He played three more seasons, and he was so He was all NBA but first had, team, 27 points per game, and one of the best players in the world at that time. Yeah. He still was 100%, but he still, but at that point, he still was on the other side of who he used to be. And that, that's why he got hurt because he was basically doing all the heavy lifting, which he shouldn't have had to. That's what they brought Dwight Howard over there for. And that's what I'm saying. If they're all healthy, he maybe he doesn't have to take on that much of, he doesn't have to take such a big load. Hey, <laughs> All right. I want to give you guys my pick right here. The team that should have dethroned the uh, 2018 Golden State Warriors to uh, ruin KD and uh, Stephen Curry's legacy, man. If CP3 ain't get hurt, bro, we still would have won. Sad to see. I'll say um, the Kings this year, if De'Aaron wouldn't have hurt his finger. Mm. <laughs> That's awesome. Mars, you got some more Super Chats? Yeah. Papia Stacks. 2G paper stacks, my fault. Paper stacks 2G. The Heat would be a super team. The Heat would be a super team. Super teams don't always win. There's plenty of examples of super teams failing. True. Yeah, I, I agree with that. There's plenty of super teams gotcha. that do fail. Mm -hmm. Donovan Samuels. Um, due to my work schedule, I haven't been able to watch a live show in a minute. I'm just checking in with you guys. Salute. Salute to Thanks, you for always support. What up, brother. Donovan? Um, Big Don Rich, you guys are overrating Jimmy Butler. The man played horrible in the finals, especially in game five. No way they should have been the eighth seed. He's not a top five player. Talk to him. I, I mean, only ticket as in top five, to be fair. So yeah, I don't I don't have a me. I tried, I tried, I can't do it. <laughs> Blake Bass said there's levels in the top ten. Players on the lower end are supposed to elevate, but not to the levels of a Yanis or a Steph. Mm -hmm. That's why. That's why there's top ten players and number two is not the same as number tiers. eight. Yeah, it's like I, expecting. I prefer tiers. Yeah, it's like expecting like Dr. J to play like MJ or LeBron. Like you just don't expect that. It's just different. And Doc players. as a number one, as good as Doc was as a number one, he just wasn't good enough. He couldn't exactly. get past the Lakers. He just wasn't. That doesn't mean Doc was whack. Or Bill Doc couldn't get past Bill Walton either. That's not fantastic. Couldn't get past Bill Walton. Right. The greatest Portland Trailblazer. Um, Big Don Rich. AD got no slander until he got to LA. Dame never had a team that was expected to win a championship. When I said that uh, in the 19, in the 18, 19 season after they lost in the Western Conference Championship, that was their opportunity to improve. I meant that, one, Dame could have played better, which he didn't. But they could have got some low – in terms of them improving – their low post presence, that just wasn't there. And I thought that that was an opportunity for them to improve. Because other teams did, like the Lakers, when they got Anthony Davis. Mm. Yeah, they just, uh, they just, uh, they were a team that kept the same, like, continuity of players for 
seven years. Like six call it call it years. what it is, though. They was just running it back. You know, like it's like why, <laughs> why doing? the same thing back. over and over and run over again. You'll get wings that don't play defense like that. They're just shooting threes with like a mellow and crab in them. It's like what the hell they got? They brought Seth Curry. Like the fuck? Well, what Hawkless. do you expect? Uh, Evan Evan right. Turner Evan, Evan Turner, Turner. Hey, like, Evan Turner's Turner. a top two pick Evan Turner's a top two pick what are we doing it doesn't matter oh, where you get picked what, what, what's the definition of insanity uh, chill to just continue. keep doing the same mistake thing. over and over over and over again that's and what and expecting different and expecting different no results. Dub I want to I want to say something about that low I'm down in the house the he's here day. just to talk... crucify the list that we made that's what, what up low down but Dub Dub real quick I want to I want to ask you this Dub because they say that what they say when, when somebody's talking to themselves, right? They're like, it's crazy only if you respond to yourself. I want to combat that and say that you should respond to yourself. I think it's crazy to ignore yourself. Mm. Mm. That's a word right there, boy. Philosopher. What? Yeah. I'm saying, low. I'm saying, low. If, if, I'm, if I'm talking to myself and I'm, I, and I'm ignoring myself, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. crazy. Talk back. You talk back. To that's crazy. You need, you need to hold yourself accountable, man. Y'all don't, talk, y'all, y'all, don't, y'all don't talk to yourself? I talk. I do I, all the time. But I'm I, I talk back. Myself. I have a conversation. I have a dialogue as opposed to a monologue. I, I'm doing it right now so I don't have to listen to this conversation. Yeah, this is ridiculous. This is by <laughs> far that was one of the worst <laughs> lists I have ever seen. Oh my god! Why are you? So what's your, what's, what's, your list, down, what's your what list? What are we though? talking about? Oh, I held Jay, it down, bro. I remember Jay your top twenty two. list, though. That's these are scores, correct? Yeah, oh, scores. yeah. yeah scores. <laughs> Putting Tatum two is insane. That is that. Come on, like what are we doing right we now? We all agree bro? with that. Yeah, that, that, that was Chotan made that decision. We don't agree with the decision, but it, it got made. So we have to move and prosper. Giannis is also just not a better scorer than Jokic. How Jokic got to 10 does not make any sense. He and was nearly I, at 11. Tiki wanted to yeah. go to Detroit. Yeah, how, Yo, how, Yo, how Jokic made it As to 10. As a pure scorer, where do you have Jokic, though? We know top you're five. high on he's him a, a playmaker. He's a, top, he's a top five scorer in this association. So top what would your top five, five be? What would your top five be? Yeah, yeah. What is your top five? Either Steph, KD, one or two, Kawhi, three, uh, and Bead, four. If you want to penalize and Bead because of playoff translation, fine. But that means that Jokic is four and Embiid is five. So Luka's not top five. Why? Um, this year the, the if I what I didn't know how bad his efficiency was either last year either. He had back to back seasons where it's like, like subpar. Like it's above the league average, but it's not that bad. It's not that crazy. Playoff translation, though, man. Yeah, play, play, playoff. Does it? It translate. Yeah. Yes. For for what? I mean, we can't use this season because he didn't make the playoffs. Last last year, la, last year, what it was against Utah and Phoenix, it definitely translated. <laughs> because Golden let's State. Honest. Let's let's be honest. Let's be honest. There's no way honest. you're laughing like that. There's no way you're <laughs> let's, fucking let's, laughing let's, like let's that. Respect Ooh, the Phoenix laughs like that. Let's <laughs> That's some weird shit. Yeah, Gian, Giannis, Giannis against the Phoenix Suns defense translated. So I mean, I mean, this is what we're doing, I guess. He had fifty-seven percent true shooting. Who? Uh, Luca in the postseason. Yeah, I know. Uh, and, that's, and then he went up against a real defense, and then okay, all right. That's... Well, he went, he faced the Clippers the year before. Yeah, if we gotta go that far back. Then I mean, I guess that's uh, it's three years. We're definitely going that far back to have Kawhi at number three, sir. So. Exactly. No, I mean, I saw the Kawhi didn't play this season. Oh, oh, geez, geez. Geez. I guess it's top five score. I want him to be in the top 10 in points per game at minimum, dude. Like, why Why isn't he scoring? Like, stop passing, score the ball. Was Dirk, well, not, was, what, was Dirk, was Dirk a play. top five? Ten, was he not a top 10 score? Top five score? Jokic? No, he wasn't. I said Dirk. Was Dirk not a top five score? Uh, ever or what year? What are you talking about? Yeah. There's years in his career, ever? He's like no, barely. Man. No, but there's years in his career who's barely top ten in scoring. So, like, does that would that have removed him from a top? I, I think Kendrick Perkins said at 07, he was like joint. 10, yeah, I think it, it, it like, depends. So it depends in 07, the, what the rest of the league looks like. So in 07, you thought that there's just Dirk a lot of really a... great scorers right now. He he might he may have been. We can pick the year and go look at it. I mean, but I'm I saying if before, you're like if you're before, just yeah. barely top twenty. You're just barely top 20. You're barely above average three-point shooter for the league. If you're 
you know, all of these things, how you make him top five. That's what I'm trying to understand. Because he's like 10% better than the rest of the league in mid range. He's like 10% better than the rest of the league at, at the basket. He's like 10% better in the league on, on post ups. Like he's like noticeably better in every, at everybody else in every other aspect outside, I guess, three point shooting. And even and the like, five of the and, guys and, and in, in, in the playoffs, you just need yeah. someone to be buckets. You just need someone to be buckets. Do nothing else. You're picking. You're not. You're, there's not five guys better than Jokic. If no. I tell Jokic all I need to do, is, all I need him to do is score. Yeah, there's not five. There's I'm not a fucking there's not. cooker, but there's no one to defend him right now. Yeah, I'm no. not gonna lie. He's just especially yeah. in a playoff setting. Especially Who and when he's and when he scores, he only scores because the other guys don't have it going. Which means that like I can get it going whenever I feel like it. If yeah. these guys don't get it going, I can get it going. Okay. You know how crazy I just want to score these more. dudes. Chill, you know how crazy it is how you dictate to get, dictate the game so much. It's like, all right, y'all ain't making it. Let me just I can do get, it. Let me get a quick 10 right here. Yeah, I'll, yeah, do I'll, 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 I'll get us that. going. Yeah, I'll get us going. I think Dirk, Why? if I'm not mistaken, low, I think Dirk in uh the year before he won the league MVP in 06, I think he was in the top five in scoring that year. I think he averaged 27 a game. Yeah. But what I'm saying is there's these years yeah, there where he's go. not. There's years where he's not, though. There's right. years there's where there's, 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 there's years. Scores, exactly. There's, there's years where Jokic is top 10 in scoring. So, right. like, we we under we cannot comprehend that. I don't know why we're having this. But we're talking about right now. Right. Okay, yeah, right okay. Now. So, in the years in which Dirk was not a top 10 scorer in terms mm -hmm. of volume, did that automatically remove him or play move him? No, it depends, the on, it no, depends it on other not. things. It depends on his efficiency mm -hmm. and all those, and, and well, like I said, other deep. players in the league. Uh, his efficiency, no, well, is efficiency I, I don't know off the top of my head. That's why Jokic is the most even, 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 even off the top yeah. of my head, I'm not taking Dirk out during that time from oh, I don't know, let's say oh two to oh nine as a top five scorer in the game. No. Even okay. if he ain't in the was, top ten, that, but was there was there was there fifteen guys averaging over twenty five a game? Was there five guys averaging over thirty a game back then? So that's why I say those things go into effect too. Yeah, when we're just talking about right now, in 07, Dirk was eleventh in scoring. In what, about 2011? what about twenty eleven? What about wait, 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 and the reason why I bring up 07 is because that's also the year he shot 50 40 90. So there's that change. There you go. Yeah, yeah, so, right so there you go. So okay, but, 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 but this but this year Jokic was the most efficient volume scorer in the NBA. And he was not only in this season, but historically speaking, he was arguably the most efficient volume scorer the league has ever seen. So that for so whatever because reason, of his efficiency, you're putting him top five. That's why I'm asking you questions. But then I'm asking the same thing about Dirk. So when Dirk in 07, when he was 11th, did that take him out of the top five in scoring for you? No. No, like I said, because because of, okay. of those other factors you brought up. Yeah. So what I'm just asking gonna... you questions, Lo. It's okay. not a debate. I'm just. I know. I get questions. that. But what would be the? So what's the reason? So the that reason time, for, fellas, I gotta bounce. But the reason for. Yes, sir, all right, all right. All right. All right. So the reason you for the big questions, I'm just. No, 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 no. The re, the re, what's oh. the reason why Jokic would not be a top five scorer at that point then? Because no, if you I never said he wasn't. I'm asking you. You literally said he needs to score more points. I said, why doesn't he score more points? Oh, I'm because, just asking, why doesn't he score more points? I'm I'm asking. Okay, let me let's go back. Okay. I'm asking you. You have Jokic top five in scoring. I'm asking mm -hmm. you why. What's your criteria? What are you looking at? Because we're looking at a guy who's like fairly top twenty in points per game. We're looking at a guy who's not exceptionally good. Like he's above average. Three point shooter, eighty uh, percent from the free throw line. I'm asking you what your criteria is and why you have him top five. And in a league where there's fifteen guys are averaging over twenty five a game, five guys averaging over thirty a game, why are you? I'm just asking you why are you picking him to be a top five scorer in a league where there's so many really good scores? He's like leaps and bounds more efficient than everybody else. Leaps and bounds. Okay. Outside of Curry and, and KD, but he's like leaps and bounds. And somebody said I'm lying about the efficiency. Um, um, I believe 20... you. If the, if you're no, lying no, no, about, no. I'm not double checking. I believe you. I'm talking about the Luca one. In 2021, Luca had, uh, if you want to use true shooting, a true shooting of 58.7. The league average is 57.2. So about 1%. And, and true, 2020. True shooting's flawed, but okay, we can use it. Even if we use effective, if we use effective field percentage, yeah. it just actually works. <laughs> it's worse. No, but if it, 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 in, well, I mean, every stat is flawed. Every stat is flawed. That, well, exactly. Like, every exactly. Is that is my point. And, yes. And, 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 and how do we? In, in twenty twenty two, he had a league average. He was fifty seven percent true shooting. League average of fifty six point six. So again, he was slightly above average. And this year, he was sixty one. The league average of fifty eight. Um, what two, two to three? So this year, two to three is great. But there's like other players who are doing the same volume who is more than just two or three percent. So I'm not lying. Y'all are just emotional about Luka Doncic. I don't know why, but it, it is because the volume is so. Yeah, I don't think he's efficient. Yeah, That's the vol the volume is great, but the, I mean, if it's if the two for the two to three percent in um, higher than league average, 
versus like somebody we're talking about players who are like eight, nine, 10, 12, 13 percent about like that's just noticeably different. But the the Jason Tatum, Jesus, Tatum is yeah, that was yeah, I don't know yeah, what chills. I, I, I don't know what chill. Cool. What what what's your beef yeah. with yeah. Yeah. true shooting? Because every stat like yeah, yeah, it yeah, holds free for is in a higher regard. Just, it's here's hey. here's my here's 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 my issue with true shooting. One, mm-hmm. people use it, not you guys, people use it incorrectly. And they say if you have a higher true shooting percentage, you're a better scorer or a better shooter. shooter that, and it's not. It's it's about efficiency. The other problem with it is because it's flawed, you can't use it alone. You have to add pieces. And let me give you an example why it's flawed. So the whole concept is scoring more points with less shots, right? So mm-hmm. if you shoot a three-pointer, it's it's worth 150% true shooting versus a two-pointer because you get 150% more points. Correct? Correct. Here's the issue. If I go uh, and... and go to shoot and I get fouled and I shoot two free throws and I make both of those free throws. I get two points on two shots and it's considered 113.4 true shooting percentage. But if on that same shot, because the field goal doesn't count because I was fouled on that same shot, if I get fouled and it goes in, I'm one for one for the field from the field. I then go and take my free throw and I'm one for one from the free throw line. So now I have three points on two shots. My efficiency is 104%. How is scoring three points on two shots and getting a foul less efficient than scoring two points on two shots? And the answer is it's not. Therefore, it is flawed in its mathematical equation. They apply a weird coefficient. It overvalues free free throws in layman's terms. And the reason it's overvalued (laughs) is because they try and adjust for like technical fouls and stuff and those free throws that don't end possessions. So they apply the coefficient to free throws that make it unbalanced which, which, and on a exactly. small sample and they they assume as you ex- extend the sample out that it balances itself out basically that's the idea but if you just have a like but if a an equation is flawed size, it's it's yes. flawed right if it's not true for everything yeah. it's not true for nothing when so it comes that's to that's that's why they've done it like that so the now larger the, the sample have, is the less flawed it is but yeah it's yeah. it's the best we have so we use it but i it's flawed <laughs> Well, I mean, if it, everything everything is flawed, so if it is the best that we have, I mean, it's I don't. We, we got to we got to do better. My, we got to do better. But we nothing nothing mathematically wise is going to be a hundred percent. Like that's perfect. why you have to that's, watch the game of your. And eye. that's why and that's why I say don't use the one stat. Use the stat with context. Other Mars, stats. That's, what you, to that's your stat, together. not mine. I don't use that shit. Yeah, yeah I, I use true shooting, but I acknowledge that free throws are a bit unbalanced, but it's still the best efficiency measure. And I'm gonna the, pe- the, the people in the chat who are saying Dirk was eighth in 07, I'm assuming that you're removing players like Ray Allen and, and Michael Red, who only played like 50 some games. Play enough games, yeah. Like, there has to be a well, game. I, well, qualifier. And, Jokic, and Jokic being 18th is the same thing, it's taking out players exactly. to qualify. Exactly. So he's actually not even top twenty in points per game. Exactly. So the the way that way that in the conversation we're having, the way that Jokic is being ranked is also taking into consideration the exact same standard. Yeah. But if you want to remove certain players, that's that's I guess that would be fine. It still doesn't really, it still doesn't knock the the premise of the conversation that we're talking about. Y'all are wasting time in the in the comment section, and without understanding the context that we're referring to right now, I guess. But hi, word. Let's get some more super chats off. Ron, are you reading or because your mic sounds crazy? Uh, you can hear me. I could. Hear oh, it you, sounds better now. Everything. Yeah, I can hear that's everything. Cool. Hey, are y'all up here chatting? Yeah. I just, that's the only thing, reason I came in here just to ask you guys that question. About what? Uh, I mean, they're in the comment section, they're asking like, they're, they're, first off, they're saying you're you're just up here lying, Lo. Speak, hey, Lo. So hold on a second. Lo, where do you, where do you have Giannis? I think Giannis is like sub five. I don't think it's Giannis. I'm not as high on Giannis as like. He's sub five because he's obviously a higher volume scorer um, than Jokic. And mm-hmm. of the guys who are volume scorers, the only one who has a better true shooting percentage, so is more efficient, is Kevin Durant and Jokic. Did Giannis have that high of a true shooting this year? If he did, Steph, that was Steph, he sure did. Steph's not 63%. higher. Sixty-three percent. No, he is not. Steph is high. Steph does have a higher true shooting this season. No, I'm looking at it right now. Now, I'm Steph gonna take you. I'm gonna take your wife because I played enough games. Yeah, he well, K, if KD oh, qualified, oh, Steph had to qualify because he didn't oh, play enough games. Well, if KD qualified, Steph would have had to qualify. Oh, because KD Steph's played less there. than Steph. Steph's not in the top 15. Now, this is showing everybody, but yeah, but 
It's because the game's played, though. Because the game, I'm gonna say because the game's played. Because Steph, Steph shot, Steph shot. How many did he play? How many games did Steph play? Steph shot like Steph 54. 50, Steph played like 56. KD played yeah. 47. That wouldn't make sense. No, he actually did this is a trivia. Games. Steph had like a 64 percent true shooting. Yeah, Steph. Mm. Was... Yeah, I know Steph had a higher true shooting than Giannis. I well, I know yeah, Steph had like a 65 or something. But if KD made the cut, Steph should have made the cut because KD played just Steph. Yeah, it was just a cut yeah. off. At They're in a point. different spot. Yeah. But yeah, I, I know Giannis' season wasn't as uh, a. <laughs> Nicole Jokic is one though. All right, I, I see what you're saying. We're good. We're yeah, good. and and, and, Gian, and Giannis's yeah. true shooting issue was sixty was right at sixty percent. Oh, Steph, is like... there it is. I put in. Okay, I changed the the thing. So yeah, Steph is above him now. Yeah, yeah. you're right. It was because the games played. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's all. Yeah, this this year in particular wasn't the most favorable for for Giannis. It, yeah. just, it was. But last, but last year, back. last year you would have had him top five. Uh, I have to go back and see. I might. I, I definitely would have been more receptive to it than this year. This year was just not. He would have. He would have. I know he would have. This is what Lo <laughs> yeah, does. No, yeah, this was the good. We seen I'm, get, I'm getting hate. I'm getting hate mail because I I slandered Giannis, so I gotta say something nice about him now. Oh, okay. Uh, Jason. <laughs> And Bob, you my guy, bro, but cut that out. Manu doesn't even get to sit at the same dinner table as D- as Wade, let alone eat in the same crib. What is that about? <laughs> Question for oh, uh, uh, we did this one already. Oh, you skipped some super chats. L Mars, second in the league in scoring, and the best playoff score is in the top five score. Y'all need to be fired. That's dub. That super chat is very far down the list. I was going from top to bottom, dub. Yeah, you go hey, top. The hey, top is the oldest. Hey, bottom is the hey, 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 Dub. Dub. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm from the. I'm from the top. I'm from the top. Dub. dub. I've, I've, I've I, I got this. Dub. I, 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 I yeah, let Ron, let Ron be the host. Oh, oh, be, oh, wait. You got to read them because you was reading them while I was doing some shit. I forgot about that. Exactly. Look at look at Dub. Oh yeah yeah you right. My I, bad. My you bad. got to read that. Yeah yeah. My bad. My bad. First off, shout out big fan Breezy with the Brooklyn Nets vlog. For becoming a he, member, he got a double shout out because I already shouted him out earlier. Uh, well, sorry, well, he the man then today. Mm. NLF said, "Don't like this new Mars and Ticket bromance." Low, are you a fan? It feels a little one sided. Uh, yeah, I, I agreed with what they were arguing with them. So, but but hold on, no, <laughs> yo, <laughs> Ticket, who's or, uh fluent? Who's carrying? Oh, clearly it's Ticket. Oh, oh <laughs> Mars, you're getting I'm going by per word. Per, per word, word is ticket. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Mars, it's nothing wrong with being Clay. It's nothing wrong with being Kyrie. It's I ain't say anything. Being... I, I ain't complaining. I ain't say anything. Oh, man. <laughs> Mars just hits the shots that matters, man. That's right. Chase Richards said Mars and Ticket LeBron, is like Batman and Joker teaming. Oh, I get it. It's it's tickets Dane, and then Mars is CJ for bailing him out of the Nuggets. Yo, <laughs> that's no, what it is. Man, man. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer the LeBron Booby Gibson, Gibson, but okay. Damn, is CJ crazy? Damn, is Ruger. CJ is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mars, you really shouldn't take that for real. Like, I'm being no. Serious. It wasn't for Mars. Like, it wasn't for Mars. It was for you. You didn't hear what Ticket was saying <sighs> about how CJ was carrying Dane. That was nasty, bro. Now that was nasty. Uh, Ruger Red said, "Why are we not talking about McDice? That's the real." Uh, okay. Yo, Ruger Red, why are you losing? Well, you guys are having McDice a conversation though? about Brian McKnight. I mean, no, no, then you cook to Antonio McDice. That's crazy. Antonio McDice, yeah, yeah, Antonio McDice. Go look at him and go look at Brian McKnight. Oh wow, he's separated <laughs> at birth, bro. <laughs> I.M. am Stephen Allen said, "Chill, I want that debate." Might have to set it up, Stephen Allen. Who is he? Somebody don't want to smoke with chill. Mm. You know what, Stephen Allen? Just pull up to chill with chill. Mm. Yeah, pull up to Fluent and chill. We we've been we've been letting people come up and try to cook. Uh, when tomorrow <laughs> Thursday at night. Mm. And tomorrow's Thursday already. Jesus. Yep. Whoa, mood that. on it. It's became a member. Shout out, bro. Appreciate appreciate you. you. Drink more water said if Dame goes to Miami, is it still Butler's team? It's Pat Riley's team. Right. It's Eric's and team. It will, and it will team. always be Pat Riley. It will always be Pat Riley. And it will always be Pat Riley's team. You always yes. eating, yeah. 
you know, come on now. Don't look at me while you're eating like that. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> he did the slow look. About wait for it to go on my tongue. You nasty, yo. You nasty. <laughs> Eli the Misfit said Mars is cooking. Yes. What are you making? Beans on toast. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that is nasty. That sounds gross. Sultana Dub said Giannis, Giannis had knee and back injury. Healthy 34 going to be different. Can't wait to see what Giannis so. does next season. Shoot 25% from the mid-range. Can't wait. I'm about to say, I don't know why y'all y'all be fighting things that as if like we, there's not like a larger sample size just this season. Giannis is a mid-range shooter and scorer and post scorer. He's been struggling for the past two seasons now. I don't know why y'all are fighting that, but whatever. Let's debate basketball set. That looks nothing like him. And then I think he threw a tomato at whoever he was talking to. He was about Sam Cassell when he said he said Sam Cassell looked like ticket. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I know. Sam Cassell looked more like E.T. <laughs> man. Bring back 21, to be honest. Oh, man. <laughs> Jake, Boy, just where the whole league gets injured. Yep, facts. The, the league, the league, the league, the league is be finished. Oh man. Yeah, the league would all be injured, and then Giannis can win again. Yeah, yeah you're right. That, that's really what happened. Don't bring really back, play. bring back a healthy James. How do you like Dylan Brooks, Mars? Let's read some super chats. Yeah, that's what I thought. Dude. Yeah, that's that's mm. what I thought. Oh yeah, yeah he's on Houston. <laughs> and Fred Van Vliet. Mm, man. He probably loves that Fred Van Vliet deal. Yeah, yeah that right. Fred Van Vliet deal. Oh, that's man. the right money. Yes, sir. Love, love when role players get max. <laughs> do you know? Do you know? Do you know Fred Van Vliet? His, do you know Fred Van Vliet? In year one, his rookie deal was five hundred forty thousand dollars a year. Houston is now paying him five hundred twenty-five thousand a game. That's crazy. Jeez. Shout out to Fred. He came a long way. Yeah, man. good for him. Shout out to Fred. Undrafted, undrafted, undrafted got his to max. Man, to, more, to, more, to more than Kyrie. <laughs> wow. Let's you know what? More, more than Kyrie, <laughs> more than Kyrie in the same offseason. Love to see you, man. Let's Let read some. Shout out to chat. shout out to my brother. My brother, my brother just got recognized for Fred Van Dub Van Fleet. I see your boy. Hey. Nah, I'm Dub Martin. I'm Dub Martin. Yeah, uh, Dub Martin. That's me, man. Man, I can't wait to see Jalen Green's progress next to Fred, man. Let's <laughs> get to some super chats. Don't get any shots up. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait to see a meme come off the bench for Dylan I, and Brooks. I bet and I bet you Fred about to just <laughs> Fred, Fred for his whole contract, he's just gonna be chilling. He's probably gonna chill the whole oh he's gonna be contract. chilling. Oh hell yeah. If he get hurt, he milking that injury. He Let's get to some <laughs> super chats. Jesus, Mars, Mars, I think it's topic Rockets, valid. You know what? Hey, hey look, I think I think he's starting he's starting his retirement the, already, bro. You oh, guys never want to talk no. about Houston until Fred now. Only plays well. Fred only plays well when his when his wife's having a baby. So they got three. You just get better hope he's going for five. That that's mm. that's your only hope is if he has a couple more kids. I mean, Houston well, be all right. fluid. He's in a situation where things can possibly happen outside. He can of definitely place. afford them now. He, he, got a, he, he can got afford. A, he can afford five big years now. Raise, and he, he got a big raise, and he moved. He moved to a state that has no state tax. Being in yeah. Toronto, he was getting taxed fifty three percent. How the cost of living is half of what it is in Toronto. He's got Yo. all the money in the world right now. He's laughing. Fluent. He's playing with Jalen Green and Emma Udoka. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. All I'm saying. That's all I'm Let's saying. Let's read some. Fred, Fred, is, right, Fred is done. He right, is chilling. Right, right, he don't Mars. give a damn about the world. Man. Jay does it 15 said, Ron, stop letting lame sturdy on here, man. Damn. Mm. Why you got to be lame, though? What is, is going that Jay on? Rob in the Wait, back? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Wait, no, Yo, man, you gotta get your toes on. Yeah, you can't be having those man. toes. Yo, why is he laying down like that? No, right, man. no way. No way. Yeah. He lay with his stomach on the bottom. That's crazy. I'm seeing J- Jalen Green and Josh Christopher flashbacks are right Whoa. here. Yo, you're over here getting us roasted. Mars over here talking about. <laughs> Hey, I'm just in some flashbacks. This is nasty. Yo, chat. I, I, that, that's worse, that is worse than, than, than I don't... Naked Van Vliet that we Where's had a couple weeks ago. Oh, that's man. crazy. Man. Laying on a bed like that is crazy. Word. <laughs> like texting. <laughs> like yeah, more super chats, right? 
no, no, no. It is topic. No, it's a good topic right here. He like, he <laughs> like Ron. First, he no, like Ron. Crazy. He like Ron. Oh, he like Ron. I really had a good night with you last night, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy thing is. I had don't a good night last me. night, but I can't no, 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 he, he definitely did. He definitely uh, did. And he ate that sauce did, did, it, did it have anything to do? Did it have anything to do with that person that uh, held you up by the hot dog stand there in Seattle during uh, uh, PC Unleashed? There, Ron. Oh, oh maybe I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Ron, J. Robin, oh, hot dogs. Man. Yo. <laughs> Yeah. Jesus. I don't know what y'all talking about. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, you should go watch not, PC Unleashed. Everybody go love, watch PC not Unleashed. I love some glizzies, huh? Yeah. A lot of glizzies, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, start bench cut from Eli to Misfits. <laughs> Pine Wall, Baron Davis, Darren Williams. Please. Oh, man. That's. Mm. Well, I think Baron's getting uh, cut. Too familiar. Yeah, Baron is getting cut, and then like Prime Darren, Wall. I missed, the, I missed the last one. It was what? Darren, Wall? Darren Williams is starting. Oh. Prime was off the bench, and then Baron Davis getting yeah. cut. You haven't seen B Will yeah. play defense, okay? I have. I've seen him play defense. I've seen John Wall be the most overrated point guard defender of the last decade. Yeah, but he's still a better defender though than he is. He's better. He's better than Darren Williams. I've though. seen. I've seen Darren Williams, Darren Williams get a well-respected coach and Jerry Sloan out of this, so I, I want no part of Darren Williams. Mm. This is really a mid off. I'm not gonna lie. It is. I'm gonna start a man Thompson. Though. I'm gonna start a man Thompson. I, I'm, I'm mm. kind of Are they gonna start him in in Houston? No. See him at Willie said, Face down, <laughs> legs up. Please stop. Don't do wow. that. See <laughs> <laughs> if Willie said we just witnessed a big V Pac of basketball. I think you meant to say big Tupac of basketball. No, big versus, versus Pac, Pac of basketball. Ah, I don't oh know. Oh my saying. god! <laughs> <laughs> Why is he moving like that? Why? He's still drunk. No way! He's, he's, he's in some sort of pain. <laughs> Yo, why are you walking he like that, Ron? That man is happy. Robot. Yo, no, 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 happy. Right. <laughs> Yo, Jesus! Oh, that man, man said. He happy as hell. Oh man. Jeez. Wrong. Uh in the words of Mars, pop your stacks two G's mm -hmm. with the blank super chat. Appreciate you, bro. Shout out to Pitch Wayne Go Crazy said, Was the Cavs Bron Kyrie K Love a super team? Yes. So some people no yeah. such thing as a super team. Mm. Got it. I'm gonna tell you. Shout out Derek Lamar, became a YouTube member. Shout out Avery B. Shout out Anthony Espejo. Espejo. Shout out TC the Dog. There's, no There's no such thing as a J sound when it's a J. Come on, let's be honest with ourselves. Espejo. 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 Jesus. Espejo. Let's go. Ruger Red said McDice, a Hall of Famer. He is adamant about this. No, he's not. He went from Lenny no. Cook to... Sure, why not? Put everybody in the hall. Shout out Moneybag Joe. Appreciate you becoming a member. And shout out Devin. He became PC a member is too. so nasty for this. You guys are disgusting. Devin also said Dub's beard is taped on. <laughs> yeah, I didn't grow this out. I'm a bitch. I got, I got no facial. Join the gang. Join the gang. Bitch gang. Bitch gang. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you Come think on. this is real? Y'all really think this is real? Look, it's fucking waving. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make this sense. Fake. What was the last time y'all seen a beard that's wavy? It's not real. I'm telling y'all. He want real. he wants us just to acknowledge that he has a wavy beard. It's not, like, no, on, let's it's let's, let's not move real. on. Let's oh, move he on. puts a wave cap on. What you got? What you got on your beard? You need to cut that shit because you got patches. <laughs> I mean, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put my beard up to the camera to show everybody it's my fake. wavy it's beard. It's fake though. But, but Jesus, let's Christ. read but some. Now, now, now I'm looking chats. at it. Hold on, wait. Oh now we're gonna look. God. Yo, you got patches where your shit not even connecting. Like, cut it off, bro. Give it up. Give mm. it up. 
Put your neck up. Pause. Pause. Yo, <laughs> all right, man. Whoa. Whoa. Yo, we about to dub. We about to have to end this episode. Yo. This go with the ballistic. All right, come on, come on, come on. And then Jay Rob wants to bring his nasty ass feet in here. Super chats, super chats. Yo, chad. honestly, I should have never came on, y'all. I fucked up the whole. You Ever did, because I, I was planning yeah. on. <laughs> I was planning on ending it like very we're, soon. We're spiraling downhill right now, but on to the next super chat from Eli the Misfit said his dub turning his mic up or on. I, I, I'm getting help today about this shit. Yeah, I would dub mic. I would dub mic. John Wick 1GM said Ginobili. Ginobili. Yes. Isaiah Davis said Michael Jordan in AD versus Stefan Shaq 21. Oh. Um, Jordan AD. Dude, man, that's a man. Yeah, I'm gonna take Jordan and AD. I'm not gonna lie. Yep. I got Stefan Shaq. And today's day? Yeah. Is it in today's day? It's just a two on two. Like, what difference yeah. is, is it? Is it because Jordan's 60? Hand, you man. might pick the other guys if it's today. Jordan, Jordan, am oh. I I'm I'm basically of the belief is that Jordan is gonna be better at his twos than what Shaq is gonna be on his twos. I'm going off the fact that Steph is 6'3 and Jordan 6'6 six, six, and Steph has yeah, no but chance Yeah, but Shaq is in does AD have a chance to guard Shaq? Best defender in the league. Yes. All right, let's move on because he's trolling. All right, so let's let's keep it pushing. Respect to Anthony Davis. Tars has entered the building. Marge, yeah, you so good this episode. Read some super chats. Right, right, right. Roosevelt oh. Robinson said Brandon Roy is another one. I wish mm. we got to see. True. Now I get it. Shout out B Roy. Lamar Thomas said Duncan now shot 41% terrible. Manu shot 50%. Manu MVP series. This oh, it's, more com- it's more complex than that, but I guess. This motherfucker Ron, I text Lars in the chat. He says Tars. And in my head, I was like, oh, I guess we're just putting letters up here. So I, then I put Fars. But then nobody commented back. And it hurt my feelings. I'm not going to lie, Ron. I thought we were going to keep it up. I thought we were going to uh, keep yeah, it up. Yeah, but well, I mean, were we about to just go through the whole alphabet? Yes. Okay. We should go through all the super uh, chats. That's what we should be doing. Yeah. But let's, let's speed up. Sars. I'm a busy man. It's okay, Sars. You're not busy. Stop. Hey, they don't know that. I'm a busy man. <laughs> You're not busy. He got nut. Mars doesn't live. He, he watch his living is watching basketball. Mars right? doesn't read live. the crazy. super chat. <laughs> I'm gonna get a Dylan Briggs jersey. Mars, have you drunk yet? Like gotten drunk. No, that's vodka. He's not old enough. Vodka in there. Yeah, he's you not trying to get him in trouble. He is, he is old enough. Eighteen years old he, in uh, uh, in it's, London. They isn't it nineteen? What what it's, year? What? It's, 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 I think it's like fourteen with parental guidance. Wow. Oh, so you could have been got drunk? Wow. No, it's not. Yeah, in three years. Don't worry. PC weekend's coming soon. I'm not gonna lie. More. He's gonna be in the states. What are you doing, Ron? Why yeah. are you rubbing your hand? Wow! Whoa. Whoa! Fuck! I was I about to co-sign it. Too. I was about to co-sign it. Yeah, you won. Oh. I won. I won. I won. I won. I won. Yo, all all I said was you. PC Week is coming soon. Hey, Lo. I hope you know that you are gonna be fucked up. No, I'm not. I'm telling you. And I, I hey. I'm different. I'm a different breed, bro. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to tell Whoa. you. Whoa! Can we move? I'm on? a different. <laughs> Can we get to the yo, right, yo, yo, this is making me uncut. It's about that time, boy. Jeez. Oh my god! <laughs> tell me to get a different breed. Crazy. All right, all right. For sure. Super chats. Super chats. Jeremiah Smith said, "Y'all say Amano was better than Prime Ray Allen." We talked about this. Appreciate you. Big Zuber said L host and L Mike. Man, dub, you gotta fix up. Yeah, that was a no, bad time. Fix up. L Mike. Bad time, bro. Drink more water said any free agent that you were surprised is still unsigned. Anybody? Anybody? Somebody? Car- Carmelo. Fire. Bull they, they they could work something out to get him signed. I'm not paying uh, attention to free agency now. I don't even know who's av- who's even available. Right? I know you're not. I know okay. you're not. Super chats. I know why you're not, Mars. <laughs> why aren't you, Mars? So we can get to some super chats. That's no. why. You're right. You're right. Uh, new member, Kayla Moore. Sixers or frauds? Ridge, Ridge Raw 7? Hmm, okay. Nice name. Jason the Kid. Appreciate y'all all becoming members. And Eli the Misfit said, is that our host? 
<laughs> Grant Williams is still available, actually. That's, I'm he surprised so, that he is. He sucks. Oh, he fucking sucks. No, I'm I'm still I'm still surprised that he's available. I'm sorry, but go ahead, go. So is so is, so is Io. I'm surprised that he's still available as well. Is he restricted? Yeah, but nobody hasn't even like thrown a bit, like thrown anything at him. Hey, who's yeah. the first name you said? Grant, Grant Williams. Grant Williams. Oh damn. Yeah. I don't care. He's not good. I don't care. Yeah, we don't need to spend time on that. We should spend time on some super chats. I mean, but I mean, though, who would you rather have? Throw money at Grant Williams or? <laughs> Who? Or Who? I was going to say Dylan Brooks. Or Dylan, Dylan Brooks. Brooks. Dylan Brooks. Chat. Actually, Dylan Brooks. But no, not you that, would not but have. Not that, but not that much money. Not that much money. But if so I got Freddie, paid him the same, I, I'm picking Dylan. So for the Super heat, chat. Oh, my. Please. For the, for the heat, you'd rather have Dylan Brooks? Oh, nah, nah, nah. Because we that shooting. Nah, he's too bad shooting-wise, bro. I'm not Nobody would want him. Except for you. Except for you. So, I'm sorry. Except for you. I'm, I'm sorry, Mars. But you know what, Dub? Grant Williams would actually be a good fit on you guys' team. I agree. Yeah, yeah. That's that's why I said Grant Williams in that scenario. But for he's Houston. A, he's, a, he's a fake defender. For for Houston, who would you rather have? <laughs> Dylan, bro. Right. Dylan Brooks. He, he's, a, he's a... He's a Eight. He knows how to get the guys together. So. He's going to get Jalen Green right. <laughs> he's going to get Jalen Green right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, he's he messing with transform. I'm not going to do it. Yo, super oh, chat. Oh, yeah. my God. Get him see, out of here. See, man. this is what happens when you let people just keep talking. Just super chat. Get him out of here, man. Man. Dub is nasty, y'all. You know, we, <laughs> we, try, to, we try to enforce on, rules. On, on, on that note. You're on that note. You're on that note. That's not what's going to happen. But, no, we have to keep talking. Like, on that to... note, man. Yeah. That's wild. Uh, Jaquez Williams became a, a member. Appreciate you. Vig Nish D became a member. Also, Goku Williams became a, million, a member. Goku Williams 23. Appreciate you. The next super chat from Jeremiah Smith said, Luca with his playoff translation should be top five. Kilver said, Jalen Green entering top three scores next year. That's not with Dylan Bruce on his team. <laughs> Slim Jim said Shay exclamation mark question mark exclamation mark question mark exclamation mark question mark I can't believe Shay fell that far too but I can't way. believe that either because that's another name that was just terrible hey so just having one 30 point season that doesn't like automatically catapult you. You got to do it multiple times, or it's just bad. He would have been know. higher if it was my list, but yeah, I he should have just been a bunch of people. And Jokic wasn't said, so I had to say Jokic. And Kawhi's better than Shea, so they were my picks for Shea. Man, all right, Vignesh D on the list. He said Tatum at two is terrible. Luca and Booker are both better players and scores. Tatum relies on a sidestep and step backs. Too much mid range, not consistent. Devin Book is not better than Jason Tam, but they're Booker. both they both fairly inconsistent. Especially, I mean, this year Booker was torching in the postseason, so if you want to put him over because of that, but as a scorer, sure, player, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's a scorer, yeah, but they're both in the same realm for me as a scorer. Does this work? Book clears, yeah. okay. J Rob's burner account. J Rob with the crusty toe said Luca as the ninth best scorer in the league. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Doing cute little nicknames for him is crazy. No J -Rob way. With, J Rob with the crusty toes. Yeah, nah, this is KJ Prolific became a member. I appreciate you, bro. Thanks for tapping in. Thank you for subscribing. We might as well just do a um an open court, bro. Oh nah. Okay. What low nose today? Is that what I'm hearing? Mars, you do low nose with low. I got I got stuff to do after this. I'm I busy. Actually, I said I was I, busy. No, you don't. I actually have things to do. I, not, let's get to some super chats. Y'all okay. don't shit to do. Not a thing. Billy Zambitis said Giannis efficiency dropping in the playoffs is a myth. His field goal percentage and effective field goal percentage remain almost the same. Look it up. We know we we know he can't make free throws and threes. So because you know he's flawed, it, it means his efficiency. No, you're just not. That's just dumb. That's just dumb. Are you, you a just said his efficiency doesn't drop because you know. 
that he has flaws, but no, his efficiency still drops. Are you a tard? <laughs> dub, 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 dub. Super what? Chats. Super chats. Also, the other things that he named, like field goal percentage, isn't is not efficiency. Like if you want to say his field goal percentage stays the same, that's fine, but that's not efficiency. That's that's you know. Man, he's going with layups and dunks. And also, I think his EFG does drop anyway. I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure his EFG drops as well, but I guess. Winston Williams said, "No, Ann Edwards, laughing emojis. Dang, love the show. Flexing emoji. He came in at twenty. Let's true. debate four percent. Jesus Christ, y'all just be chatting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's debate basketball. Said no AD. Oh, he's bad in cat. He's bad. Yeah, AD should have been on that list as well. Yeah, he's bad in cat. I'll say yep. that. AD should have oh, been on that. Who's list. better score, Ant Man or uh, AD? If I were being optimistic about what Ant is going to do, I would say Ant. Ant. I think I think they're close in the same room. Shay. Nothing Shay's Shay. better than what's Trey. Dub stop. If I have to be optimistic about Trey as well, I think that this season was just a kind of you know off season for him. I would still say Trey. So so do you think? So he will be. I think AD is better than Towns. AD is top yeah. twenty, but he. Well, I think we can find somebody else other than AD, right? Jalen Brown. You mean like a score? I'm just um, thinking. In, in my Zion. opinion, Brunson, Brunson should have been brought up. Uh, if you want to say Zion, sure, but Brunson should have got brought up. Well, Brunson and Ingram's about a better score than Cut. Better score than AD. Y'all said Zach Levine. Yeah, Zach, Zach Levine made it. Zach Levine okay. made it. Did he? Yeah, he made it. He made it. He made it. Who's like eighteen? Look at Ron. Wow, you're a hater, Ron. I like let's that. Ju let's I just mean, get through some super chats. But uh, uh, all right. Jeremiah Smith says seeing Embiid fall out the top 20 was an acid trip. He, he was top 20 did he fall out? He was up there. He probably just didn't see him. I don't know. He probably just didn't see him on the list. Yeah. Eli the Misfit said no Brunson. Nope. Brunson should have been up there. Who's jiggling with something in the background? What the hell are you looking listening to, bro? It's like I can hear something like being fiddled with in the background. That's what you like? Jesus. Come on, get some, right, get not hear that? No. <laughs> Dub is so nasty, yo. Mm -hmm. Slim Jim said Jamal Murray is a top 15 scorer, in my opinion. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Drink more water said if efficiency what? matters, marketing that? makes the list. You're what? No. <laughs> Yo, Lo, you good? Go ahead, go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right Y'all, I'm done. I'm done. I can't. I can't. I'm about to leave, bro. I'm about to leave. Y'all just, just rolling, bro. I don't get what's going on right now. I don't get what's going on right now. Dub's just laughing. I'm confused. <laughs> Shout out Patty C for becoming a new member. Jersey Love said to my previous question, what about Bynum? What about when Bynum went to Philly? Yeah, nothing, nothing was gonna happen over there. Oh, I forgot about Bynum going to Philly. What the uh, what the fuck is that? No, 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 no. You don't get to now. <laughs> <what I> <laughs> <bring> <laughs> <on>. <laughs> no, no, no. Are you hearing that? And I know boys heard that. And Ron made a face. I know that's coming from Ron. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know. You at J Rob's house? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why. That's cute. That's cute. Yeah, you spent the night? Some super chats. You spent the night? Nah. Oh, okay. He did. He did. He did. <laughs> nah. He did. I really didn't. I, I mean, I, I I got here like six in the morning, but I'm not going to get into last oh, night. Oh, late night booty. Oh. That's crazy. Oh. That's crazy. Oh. Boy. That's crazy. YSN Money said, I used to pray for times like this to rhyme like this, or I had to grind like that to shine like this in a matter of time I spent on some locked up shh. Appreciate you, YSN Money. Who shirt is that, Ron? This right here? <laughs> yeah, who shirt is that? It's that left field athletics. Oh, oh is that J-Rob shirt? shirt? No. Oh, I thought it was j Rob shirt, my bad. Y'all, hey. That would have been, been very good. It was a good show, y'all. <laughs> we'll see y'all at the same time tomorrow. No, like, I'm serious. This is done. <laughs> I'll see y'all at the same time tomorrow. Serious? No way. I, no, I we're almost like done. We got, like we got 11. We got 11 left. Like that. It was, we was this close, though. J-Rob's burner oh, account said, quit letting low lie about a, a Luca efficiency. We, just, well, we went through that already. 
It's crazy. Why I can't. I can't. I can't. Ladarius Mumford said, Chilltown, to be fair, brother, Stefan 2021 averaged close to his 2016 50, 40, 90. We already have a small a sample size of what Steph can do without clay. Yeah, Mr. Playoffs. Was Chill arguing? Never mind. Wait. Never mind. Never mind. I, Steph, I shooting, Steph shooting looks different without clay. That's what he was saying. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's what he did say. Oh, brother. Did y'all, I know y'all didn't have the who's a better shooter, Steph or Ray Allen conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. We doubled. We doubled. No. How many times, like, I don't get it. Like, how many times are we going to have the same debate over and over again? I don't know, but now we can just get into some super chats, but you want to ask about it again. So let's just move on. Oh, Dub, to answer your question, it's never going to stop. All right, Mars. God damn. <laughs> Drink more water said, does willingness to score matter in this debate? I think it does. Yeah, it could care to elaborate. If I think willing the... to score, I mean, your efficiency and stuff doesn't really matter if you're not trying to score. But that's why the volume is also important. I think that shows your willingness to score. I think which that's... is why Jokic isn't just clearly number one. Yeah, that's why the Jokic argument. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Drink more water with another super chat. He said, I don't I don't agree with comparing true shooting from superstars to league average. The average player in the league isn't being defended the same way as the superstars. KD having 58% true shooting, being the vote, the focal point is better than Michael Porter Jr. shooting 58%. Yeah, but that's where the volume comes into play, where we can assess, like, even though one player has the same true shooting as another one, if the volume is just drastically different, then that's why it'll be more so favorable. It's about skill curves. And also the skill that comes along with it as well. J-Rob tapping in again says, so then low, so then low hasn't beat a top five scorer when he barely above center average for true shooting too. Makes no sense. Center yeah. average is a new one. Center average is a new one, but is he? He actually clears the center averages. I'm about to say, I'm, I'm going to assume so. He, him, him and Steph is top two. Him and Steph and B, are top two. Yeah, but you got to remember, there's bigs like Daniel Gafford who average like eight points. Just on oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you can have goals. But, oh and, B, and B this year amongst all the volume scores was fourth in true shooting. It was it was Jokic, KD, Steph, then Embiid, and then if you want to count Zion because he played twenty nine played twenty nine games, but after that it was Dame. He was he was sixty five percent. Like I don't know how I don't. Again, if you're counting the bigs that put up like eight points, I guess. But I thought we were more intelligent than that. Mm, now you're cooked. Since I damn, uh, I got a a, a, <laughs> a nice list of super chats that. They just are what they are, I guess. Eli yeah, the Misfits not, said, does Mars have legs? Wow. We'll, we'll, we'll see PC Weekend if I show up. We'll see if I have legs or if I'm in a wheelchair and then all you guys jokes. Hmm? How's that going to look? Exactly. What if Mars was in a wheelchair? Yeah, what if I was in a wheelchair? Hmm? That's just the cherries in all the time? You guys, you guys being ableists, saying I can't hoop. Maybe I maybe I was hooping and then I broke my legs and I can't move. If this hmm? motherfucker shows up in the wheelchair, I'm going to Yeah, him. exactly. What if, it was in a, what if it was in a lavish troll too? If he was like just yeah, how you guys gonna feel that? Yeah, how you guys gonna feel that? Exactly. Yeah. No, if Mars has a wheelchair, it's definitely electric. Absolutely. Think, think think before you think before you guys speak. I can tell he's he 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 doesn't wear a wheelchair though. I've seen him step. He's literally moving his feet right now to swing his chair back and forth. Like, what are we doing? Right now? <laughs> Get him, bro. Like you can't even you know you know what lie to say to combat that. He's I have his. maybe I have one working leg. Oh, okay. Yeah? You didn't think about that, did you? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. We can be disabled in different ways. <laughs> we you seen you grab saying? water. We seen you grab your foot water. Remember that? Yeah. We see. So, you I, so I can't. I, I can't. I can't put my feet in water because I'm disabled. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. We seen you get up from your seat to grab the foot water. Oh, that was before. Maybe that was before I became disabled. Maybe it was a recent event. Oh, okay, well, okay. okay. Well. You didn't think about that, did you? <laughs> it happened to anyone at any time. You're not just born this way. Well, you, I would expect you to actually let us know, especially when you would be missing. Why would I let you guys know that? Because you'd be missing working time. I didn't miss any time. I just became disabled and just came to work. Okay, whatever. You got hmm? it. Wow. Exactly. 
That's why I hate talking to you. Sometimes. Super chats. Love the game. Said salute to the panel. Ron, L host, Kobe, the goat. Facts. All facts. Oh my everything God. in there. No way y'all said this. Devin said low salutes food his food before he eats. Do you mm. no, nah, I just eat. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been a whole lot of salute. Oh wow. Shout That's out a joke to SC that Caleb. A lot. That was a joke. Intellectual joke. Mm, mm. Dylan Burch, right? Super chance. I'm buying a Dylan Burch jersey just to troll you every time, too. Yeah, that's great. I'm gonna buy one too. Mm. Hey, Mars, you celebrate Christmas? No. Okay, well, we celebrate Christmas. So for Christmas, I'm gonna send you a Dylan Brooks jersey. Oh, uh, how considerate. What size you wear? Um, well, I might be I might be bigger for Christmas, so just send me an XX. Oh, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Got you, Mars. Nicholas Arroyo with the last super chat of the day said Giannis team shoots horrible every year. Couldn't you also equate that to why his efficiency drops like his team has shot horribly? Yeah, Giannis can't make free throws because his team can't make threes. Facts. Also, his team, oh yeah, his threes, he can't shoot that in the regular season. Also, he struggles with mid-range. These are all things that he struggles with in the regular season and postseason. This is not like I don't know. Y'all are y'all are fighting this as if like. It's just common sense, bro. Like, he, he's proven to have these efficiencies. And then in the playoffs, when teams harp on you further, your deficiency even more, you're going to see even – um you're going to see an even steeper drop-off in those regards as well. So nobody's not debating Giannis as a finisher around the basket, his ability to get to the lane. Nobody's debating that. But when you are struggling on your mid-range shot in the regular season, struggling the free throws, three-point shots in the regular season, anything outside of five feet from the basket in the regular season – yeah, that's just a you thing. That's your problem. I don't know why y'all are arguing that. That's it's a love, weird thing to argue. That you love dick sucking. Damn. That, that was so unnecessary. I know. But we go through the super chats so we can end the show now. Ron. Hey, uh, Mars, before we leave, uh, why is Sim Money wanted you to read this? Uh, I can't read it. No. I have dyslexia. All right. Read what? He wanted me to read the super chat that Ron eloquently rapped, but due I to like my, dysle- due, due to my dyslexia, lie. I can't. I'm not gonna lie. I, I win. I win this game comfortably. I will be both of y'all, even in my wheelchair. I'd still be both of them. I would be both. Like w it, won't, it won't even be hard. Okay, so who comes second, though? Probably low because he's bigger. Oh. How do you know? How do you know Low's bigger than me? If you don't shut your mouth. Is he not? Is he not bigger than you? Stop it! I'm bigger than you. No, you're not. Actually. Whoa! <laughs> Even in my wheelchair. <laughs> no, you're really not. You talking about game of basketball? Dub's like yeah, five yeah, yeah. four. Yeah, yeah. In the game of twenty one. You're short, Dub. You're like five four. What are you talking about? Yeah, Dub. You're like five four. I'm you're strong. the smallest here. I'm strong. Uh-huh. Against five four people, sure. No. Against grown men. Eh. Yes. Against yeah. grown men is crazy. Yeah, grown men like me. You're not. That was me flexing. Yeah. That was me flexing. Hey, no. chat, before we get out of here, drop in the comment section who you think is going to win between Dub, Mars, and Low when they play 21 PC weekend. Oh, Are we really going to play? I can't play. I'm in a wheelchair. Uh, you'll figure it out. I guess. Let us know, chat. I will probably well, beat y'all. No, you wouldn't. That game would take about six hours to complete. No, it wouldn't. Dub, you wouldn't, you wouldn't no, score with me. Not. I can say that. I'm a lockdown defender. No, you're not. I I would honestly, I would love to see this. No, aren't I mean, Mars? Aren't you like five eight? That's in my wheelchair. I'm five eight. When I stand up, I'm like six six. What type of wheelchair are you in? Oh man, the the wheelchair ultra five thousand. All right, um, Ron, let's wrap. Yeah, let's end the show. Let's end the show. We're 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 dragging it right now.